lovely jewellery makers. Thank you, Charlie. I don't know the words. I was I'm waiting. Sorry. I was waiting. I was like, someone's gonna step in in a second. <laughs> oh, we're getting our, our festive on. We are getting our festive on. Oh. It's a festive Friday. Well, I, I don't know about you, Charlie, but I start well and truly Christmas shopping round about this time of year. You're far more organised than most of us, I think. I've done a bit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, a there bit. you go. That's all right. A bit. I've, a bit's good. Have you Have you wrapped? Or no. Do you, oh, okay, right. Okay, no. that's all right. <laughs> Definitely no. The wrapping doesn't happen until December. Well, the thing is, if you wrap them, you forget what's what and who's who, and you're like, Precisely. oh, I forgot about that. Precisely. <laughs> I do need to have a sort out because at the moment, you know, they just get put up uh, in the yeah. loft, and I've, and you forget, don't you? <laughs> You forget what you got. Oh, now, if you're thinking, why is said Christmas tree in the studio, jewelry makers? Because we have got the most, if I just do this, <laughs> there you go. We have got perfect opportunities for all your Christmas gifting. So you can get nice and organized. Because as, as, as jewelry makers, you have to make earlier, don't you? Oh yeah, you have to be on it, especially if you do stalls and fairs and yeah. things like that. Yeah, you need to be on it. So organized. we've got some great kits for that. Perfect kids. It's Charlie, everybody. <laughs> oh, little ray of sunshine. How are you doing, darling? I'm all right. Better than the weather. I know. It is raining cats and dogs, it isn't it? It literally is. Coming yeah. down sideways. Yeah. Yeah. It's not great for the hair, the makeup, no, the clothes. No, no, no. Yeah, literally no. out for two minutes. You're like, <laughs> uh, uh. Um, So stay nice and cozy and warm, everybody. I don't know. Well, yeah, because it's pretty bad up and down the country, yeah, I think, isn't it, I think today? We've all got it. We've got an absolute cracker of a Friday show, jewellery makers. Um, do you want to see what's coming up? Do you want to see? In the eight o'clock hour, it's all locked and loaded onto the website, jewellery makers, so you can start perusing and schmoozing right now. Uh, but remember, they do time out at the top of the hour. Your early bird this morning, and it's not that often we actually have a gemstone early bird. Normally, they're like components, or oh. maybe we had thread the other day, or a cord. We have maybe some little uh, essentials in terms of your findings. Today, it is all about one of our absolute old faithfuls, the beauty that is labradorite. Oh in one of your favorite cuts and sizes. These are four mil. Amazing. Four millimeter rounds. Can you imagine like a, a labradorite tassel? How beautiful that oh, would be. Oh, that'd be lovely. And yeah. back in the day, back in the day, we used to have labradorite pretty much every single show. Mm, I remember. But now <laughs> months can pass between yeah. um, each labradorite offering. Um, quality labradorite too, I need to point out. You've got lovely labradorescence. You can see that lovely shiller that occurs totally natural. Um, naturally, sorry. Um, I will learn to talk. I've, I'm incapable of talking at the moment, so it will come. Um, so shop ahead on those and guarantee your success. I can tell you, jewelry makers, we have 149 offerings, so not that many, given the fact that it's Friday. So I would recommend shopping ahead on those. Um, at nine o'clock today, jewelry makers, oh my goodness me, Charlie, you've got some gorgeous kits. Haven't we just? Oh. I've never I've never worked with pearls like that before, so that was a that was a treat for me. Yeah, you've been you've been spoiled yeah. with some lovely projects there. Very much You're so. You're looking at natural purple baroque pearls, of which of course you get Charlie's amazing uh, project instructions as well, and we do have it in a white colourway as well. If, if that's your preference, or maybe you're thinking about mixing the two together. Oh yes. Yes. That would be amazing. Oh, Charlie, these are beautiful. Oh, thank you. Do you know, it's quite a refreshing change because this, this week I haven't come with loads of heavy tools and all oh, that. Yeah. So this is, these are makes for everybody. Everyone can do them. Which is a good thing, really, because you did come with a dog. Oh, I did, I did come with a dog <laughs> this week as well. Yeah, it's a bit full on this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you've you, 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 you managed to leave the toys, uh, toys, tools behind. <laughs> they're, they're toys for me. They're toys for me. That's okay. <laughs> leave the tools behind, but you've brought Put your dog. dog. Yeah. What's your dog called? Cobra. Cobra. She's named after the bad ape from Planet of the Apes. <laughs> yeah, because the, the bad I bet mom. she's a good doggy, though. Oh, she is. She's lovely. She is really good. Although she was super excited being in a hotel last night, so she got the zoomies. The zoomies. Not great, because she's a big dog, so she's running up the door. Yeah. We're going to get banned. She's excited. She's excited. <laughs> she's got a little trip away. Yeah. yeah I don't blame her getting the zoomies. Um, it's, oh, Cobra. I know. She's yeah. lovely. She um, is where is lovely. she? She should be here. She's, a, she's on a walk, actually. So they've just tried to cross a bridge, a bridge that's flooded. Ah. She's just sent me a video 
of that, so they're going to be a little bit soggy today, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Look, rather them than me. Hot chocolates all round. Yeah. Then 10 o'clock jewellery makers, we have a closeout deal of the day. Mm. So I can't tell you how epic this deal of the day is today. Firstly, whenever, literally whenever we bring you this gemstone, it always sells out. Okay. It is, if I said the word angelic, mm. serene, mm. magical. Okay. Yes, I bet many of you are thinking about the beauty that is natural selenite jewellery makers. We have it in different sizes. We're going to do not just a deal of the day today, it's a close out deal of the day. That is totally natural, pure white. And of course, you get that magical movement of light, chatoyancy mm. that occurs naturally within this gemstone. Um, so that's at 10 o'clock today, an opportunity not for you to miss out on. At 11 o'clock, we're going to be welcoming the wonderful Ross into the studio. I'm excited about that, Ross. We've got some big news about Amos Night or Mozambique Amos Night, particularly this location. So news about Mozambique Amos Night, which by the way, the reason why your producer Ross is coming out, um, he has very much been part of the acquisition. Um, yeah, you were part of the actual buying of this opportunity, weren't you, Roscoe? Uh, and also, if you remember, if you cast your mind back to when Ross launched it first, he was asking you what cuts you'd like. Um, that was the Colorado, but we've brought, we've taken that information and used it with this location as well. So for the first time, jewelry makers, we have bamboo Mozambique Amazonite. Oh, exciting. I know, incredible, absolutely incredible. Also, for the first time, we have Mozambique Amazonite in a rice bead. Oh. Also, oh. we thought we didn't have them because it entirely sold out on the launch when I was in Cape Verde. But there's some special news. We have some of the rounds back in stock. Oh, my goodness me. I miss this. Oh. It was an entire sellout on the launch, but Ross has managed to secure a very, very, very small quantity of each of the rounds again. So if you were one of the people that missed out, here is your second chance. You have a chance today, but it is, uh, just to let you know, just to be clear, um, it is limited. So you will need to be watching it at 11 o'clock for those and not hesitating. Please don't hesitate. So very exciting 11 o'clock hour. Then at 12 o'clock, we have crimp cover packs with our lovely Charlie. Oh, they're fab. What's that all about they're, then, Charlie? They're so cute. You know, they've got, um, they come with like little clamshells and they oh, open. The clocks. Yes, yeah. but they've got no loops. So you can use them as ends for your friendship bracelets oh, and things like that. Clever. Tassel ends. Um, I've used some as charms on a ring, but the little bars, are probably my favorite i didn't know i needed them but when you use your new crimping pliers with them which crimp like butter it's absolutely beautiful um they finish off tail ends but you can also use them as bars there's so many different Decorative. ways you can use, yeah oh that's amazing we're looking at that beautiful really red fun. bracelet love that Thank very you. modern isn't it very on trend yeah definitely friendship bracelets are, are big now especially skinny little yeah, yeah little yeah. nod to um, and they're easy to make as well you know quick easy which is what you want when you're building up your stash for your yeah. fairs and things um, but yeah, lovely components, really like those. Oh, loving, it's gonna be an absolute super Friday, Friday show, jewelry makers, it's gonna be amazing. So your deal of the day, epic, your projects, epic, your early bird, epic, Mozambique, Amazonite, epic. It's, uh, you literally start to finish. Do get your text messages in as well, jewelry makers. We would absolutely love, 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 love to hear from you. It is raining cats and dogs outside, so yeah, just stay snuggly and warm. Stay snuggly and warm, it's horrible, it's horrible weather. Can I just give you a little bit of information, well not information, not really, a bit of news. And I am jumping the gun here because it's not a guarantee. I've put an application in for a dog <laughs> to rescue a doggy. Yes, so can everybody keep their fingers crossed that we get Kevin. Kevin? Your, your friend's dog's called Kevin. Oh, Kevin has got the most adorable little face. If we don't get Kevin, I've told this, told this to my husband, if we don't get Kevin, because he's got quite a bit of interest, we'll get one of the other ones. 
Get one of the other little ones. We're going to rescue a dog. I like Dr. Doolittle. I, I would have all the dogs given the chance. It's my husband that reigns me in. Um, right then, shall we get cracking? Shall we? What shall we start with? Uh, I was going to say. Um, yeah, funny enough, Lauren and I were looking at this this morning, Roscoe. It's an extender chain, but it was also... Yeah, it's an extender chain, but you could also customise it. It turned into a lovely pair of earrings if you multi-bought. You've got a natural garnet there on the bottom, jewellery makers, gold-plated 925 sterling silver, and, of course, your bolt ring clasp. Um, beautiful. Oh, yeah, it is the first auction of the day. Charlie, mm. first auction of the day. Oh, oh. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Graphics oh. alive. Go. Go, 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 go. First auction of the day. Ross is in the hot seat. You know what happens? <laughs> He's a tinker. <laughs> Who wants it? <laughs> <laughs> Have you got quantities? You've got to be quick, though. There's loads of people there. <laughs> loads of you getting involved. Oh, look, there's Christmas presents as well. Love it. Attention to detail oh, here at Jewelry Maker, you know. It's a pound. It's a pound. How is that a pound? Well, it's Ross. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's our first auction of the day. He likes to do these one pound deals. It's that, gold plated yeah. 925 silver, Ross. Keep dialing through, he says. There's lots of you there. Uh, next up, ooh, a gemstone that we, we're not even buying now. We can't buy a location. Obviously, I won't get too much into that. So what Charite we have, and I think this is pretty much it, is is all we'll have for the foreseeable anyway. Um, it's a magical gemstone, Char, right? So you get this really beautiful, deep, ultraviolet purple. Yeah, that's it's, lovely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's amazing. You know what's going to happen? With these wonderful chatoyant feathery like patterns, it forms underneath a frozen lake. It's a pun! Ah, oh, Christmas has come early, you're right, Ads. Yeah. It has. It has. Love it. We're getting Charite. I can't remember the last time I actually saw Charite. No, it's not something I own, actually, in my collection, so I should be on the other side at Tully today. <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. That does happen a lot. Make sure you're checking out, everyone. Um, okay, now your final of those cheeky deals. Mm. I mean, there's cheeky deals from start to finish. Um, a gem that we were only discussing the other day when we were saying, oh, I'd love to see more green onyx. because we don't get it that often. Mm. Um, you're getting a parcel. These would be perfect for you, Charlie, wouldn't oh, they? Oh, I'd love those. Yeah. They're a little bit of you. Yeah, they are a little bit of me. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine the fabulous makes that you would create with these. Is there seven in a pack? There is seven. Amazing. Seven in a pack. I know. Absolutely incredible. Make sure you're checking out nice and early jewellery makers. I mean, surely for the container alone, which is one of those ones. So it protects your, yeah. protects your gemstones nicely. Ross, for the, for the box alone. He says, you ain't got to tell me that, Al. It's not 29 I can tell you that for nothing. I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> it's a very festive colour, isn't it, actually, it Green is. Onyx? Yeah. Matching our graphics beautifully, matching the studio beautifully. A beautiful, genuine gemstone. Um, 11 carats of, and they all the same. Yeah, 9 by 7 Oh, that's good, isn't it? So you could yeah. do, like, that's a calibrated mount. You could literally yep. buy one of our ring mounts. Oh, yeah. Pop it in. Oh, there you go. Pop, yeah, great Christmas make. There you go, and it's we'll cost your pennies. Yeah, exactly. Cost your oh, pennies. So many multi-buyers, lovely jewellery makers. Do get your text messages in as well. Come and say hello to Charlie and I. And our lovely team as well. We've got Mr. Wolf. Hi, Michael. <laughs> Hi, we've got beautiful Lauren. Ooh, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> we, <laughs> we got the man with the deals, Mr. Mr. Roscoe. Oh, hello. <laughs> ah, we've got Hans Adam. Hello. <laughs> yes, morning, everybody. Right, what next? Don't forget your early bird as well, jewellery makers. Shall we do some lobster class? If you like those one pound deals, by the way, by the way, um, just so you know, because this is a relatively new thing, um, if you are an early bird, make sure you check out our website. There's something here to tell you all about it because there's more of those bargains available at your fingertips. Did you know that you can shop for pre-show deals on Jewelry Maker? Head over to jewelrymaker.com every day between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Click on Watch Live. 
Scroll down for brilliant products, last of stock items and amazing deals. But these deals are only available for one hour and once they're gone, they're gone. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. There you go. Amazing deals, below cost deals. I like that. So you bag loads of bargains. So the early bird truly does catch that worm. Um, right, who would like some lovely sterling silver essentials? Uh, these are um, your lobster claw clasps, which we need. Yeah, we, I love these ones. Do you prefer yeah. the lobsters to the more curvy ones? Yes, yeah, definitely. I just find that they're seem more seamless. Yeah, aren't yeah. They? I see what yeah. you mean. I see what you yeah. mean. Um, yeah, and they're lovely and secure as yes. well, aren't they? I mean, that is precious metal. We're not talking about base metal here, and you do get all three of them, jewelry makers, um, as well. So make sure you are checking out those baskets nice and early um, to guarantee your success. They're ten mil, so you're going to be they're large enough to get purchased. Yeah. Yep. I can't be doing with little tiddly fiddly no, clasps. No, definitely not. Not with your beautiful nails. You've got no chance, have you? No chance. No, no but chance. something like that, you could get your hands on, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. easily. Yeah. yeah, I could do these. Yeah. No problem. Um, and at the same time as well, they'd be nice little charm connectors. Now, you get a pack of three, all three of them. How about to kickstart this lovely Friday show? How about £5 per sterling silver clasp? That's not bad, is it, Charlie? Not bad at all. That's not good. That's not fair. That's fair. I think that's a fair price. I don't think you'd be paying five pounds if you were to walk into a jeweler's and ask for a new class. Oh no. Definitely not. No. Definitely no, not. No. So, but I've got a funny feeling. Have we got quantity of these, Roscoe? We got quantity, all right, says Ross. We've got 60 available opportunities, ideal for you to stock up your stashes. We're at five pounds each. How about for three? Instead of five pound each, I see where you're going with this. You get three for five pounds. And how about a 30 second clock, jewelry makers? They are solid sterling silver. We're not talking base metal here. Solid sterling silver, precious metal. And we're at five pounds and going even lower. Are, are you going lower? Yeah. Are you going lower? Yeah. Oh, you legend, Ross. Thank you. I think, oh, there you are, Ross. <laughs> I how appreciate off, it. How often do you get called a legend? <laughs> Ross is saying frequently. Adam is saying not often. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, his parent, you, your parents call you a legend. Your in-laws, really. Your kids. <laughs> Your nieces right, and nephews. Everyone. It's quite a common occurrence, in accor uh, according to Roscoe. So, <laughs> Ross Legend. Or is it Legend Ross? Or just Legend? Legendary. Eh? Legendary. <laughs> right, okay, sorry, get it right. Three pounds and 99 pence only. Loads of multi buyers getting involved. Um, well done. I don't blame you. You stock up your stashes. It is miserable outside. I quite like, do you know, I was listening to the radio yesterday. It was while well, one of the school runs, I can't remember. And um, I like listening to Heart. And Kelly Brook was talking about the fact that she prefers autumn yeah. to summer. Right. I was like, I can get on board with that. Yeah. I do like autumn. Oh, I do, and it's a very colourful time of year yeah, as well, beautiful. isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I, like, we complain about the rain, but I actually don't mind it. No, it's all right. As that's long as you've right. got your brolly and your coat, yeah, it's well, all that's, good. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? As long as you can stay dry in it, you're okay. You're all right, yeah. you're right. So are you pro-autumn or pro-summer? I do like summer, though. I am a summer baby. My favourite season of all is probably spring. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So text in, what's your favourite season? What's your favourite season? Well, you like autumn? Yeah. It's not before. Why not, not this autumn? Because <laughs> it's wet. It's you like wet. a dry autumn. I think they kind of go hand in hand, really, Michael. U uh, UK autumn. Mm. But I do like the coziness. Yeah. I like the coziness yeah. of yeah. autumn Big and winter. Jumpers, yeah. Fluffy socks. Love fluffy yeah. socks. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And you get your slippers on. I wear slippers all year round. Yeah, me too. But yeah. you eat nothing but carbs. Yeah. <laughs> just all eat carbs just at Christmas. Potatoes. Yeah. Um, three ninety nine. Well done, everybody. Yeah, potatoes are an absolute staple, oh, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. In the autumn. That and bread. What what are we oh. having for tea? Spuds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the versatile. <laughs> I might mix it up and put spuds with cheese. <laughs> Delicious. 
delicious, yeah. Um, we can all just get a little bit fluffy. I like that. <laughs> uh, well done, everybody. Brenda, Patricia, Georgina and David, Pamela and Mirtha Tidville, Paula and Jacqueline and Wendy and Cheryl and Mary and Hilda. Hello, Fife and Alison and Helen and Rita and Susan and Claire and Jenny. There's loads of you there this morning. Natalie and Yvonne and Carol and Alison and Surrey and Gillian. Morning, everybody. We're talking about our favourite seasons, by the way. Ross, what's your favourite season? So, yeah. Your summer as well. You never used to be. Why? What's changed your mind? Yeah. Is it an excuse to get out of the house? <laughs> yeah. Barbecues. I don't, yeah. yeah, see, there's definite positives for each season, yeah. I oh, think. Oh, of course there is. Of course there yeah. is. I like winter is definitely Christmas, mm -hmm. isn't it? I love Christmas. Yes. Autumn, it's like, like I said, the colours and just the coziness and yeah. you know, Bonfire night. pumpkin lattes yeah. oh. and things like that. Yeah, love mm. it, love delicious. it. Delicious, delicious. <laughs> Spring, it's all about dafts and new life yeah, and tulips, everything. Tulips, colour. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And love summer that. is just all about really sweat. It's <laughs> 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 I have to say, summer might actually be my least favourite. <laughs> Everything is beautiful in the it summer, is. I do agree, but I don't like it when it's too hot. Yeah, well, when yeah. it's too hot. Yeah. It's Everything cool is down. alive, I agree, and you hear the birds in the trees and yes. Longer days. Uh, longer days, yeah. yeah. Glass of wine more. in the garden. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, anyway, enough of that because we're not that's a long way away. <laughs> um, what would you like me to do next, Roscoe? The I was Sterling's just eyeballing that. Were you? Yeah, I was. This is lovely. Um, and we, I, th I think when we launched something similar, I'm not saying it's this bracelet, but something similar, we were showing designers like, you know, Monica Veneda, Ashley Clark, Tiffany's and Co., all those places that absolutely do solid sterling silver bracelets like this. And they're three figures, aren't oh, they? Oh, easy, yeah. Pan uh, Pandora. Yeah. They're three figures, um, just for the bracelet on its own. So yours is the same 925 sterling silver that you would get in any of those establishments. So you are literally pay, uh, paying for the brand itself, or uh, the name. Yeah, oh, yeah. You? yeah. And maybe a bit of uh, fancy packaging, but don't forget, <laughs> <laughs> we've got that going on today, jewelry makers. We've got some grif Chris Christmas gifting. I will learn to talk <laughs> Sorry. I think it's because I'm a little bit excitable. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's even here at £39.99. That's fantastic. Great price. Very glossy, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful polish. Mm. Pop one of your pearls on that you've oh. got coming up in the, 12 in the 9 o'clock hour. Very high end. Lovely. Yeah. Now, we have 20 of these available, jewellery makers, and we are in the early bird hour. Yeah. Ross is saying I'd wear that. Yeah, because yeah. it's nice, solid, chunky um precious metal you know it's not a dainty one so i think it it would do for for everybody how about 19 pounds and 99 pence there's 20 available in the vault you know that's a lovely christmas gift isn't it oh yeah as we're talking about that yeah definitely as you, i've you... as i've got baubles behind me <laughs> that's christmas baubles i do love our jewelry maker tree and i'm going to out it i'm going to out jewelry maker now do you know our christmas tree is decorated from here up. <laughs> we got no trousers on. <laughs> it, it, it tickles me that we don't bother with the bottom bit because you're not going to see it. You're not going to see it. No, we just put all the baubles at the top. Yeah, don't bother with the bottom bit. You're, te you're telling all telling the all secrets. Telling all the secrets, I know. I know. I know, it's true. Elle's we all got pants on. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm wearing my pajamas underneath. Um, could do. You've been under wiser. <laughs> I'm a slippers. £14.99 pence only yep. for solid sterling silver. 2.6 grams of solid sterling silver. But we're going again. We are going again. They're a bit lovely with just one little pearl, don't you think? Just one oh, little pearl yeah, on there. Oh, definitely. Or you can use just some of your tiny micro faceted and have yeah. them like little tassely bits. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, or just super simple as is. How about oh, some of our Labradorite, our early birds? Ooh, nice. You could put some yeah. of that in there as well. I'd put them, Charlie, on the little links. Oh, okay, In cute. between. I'd put yeah, a couple quite, on the little that'd links. that'd feel nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that would move across your wrist. Lovely. I like that the larger links... You know, it's it's unique, isn't it? Yeah, exaggerated links. And yeah. they're all precious metal. They're, they're solid, not hollow. Wow. Genuinely, I've got to say it. I don't know anywhere else. We'll bring you sterling silver, precious metal at the prices that we do. No. We're, you know, twelve ninety nine. You'd be hard pushed to get like the base metal ones from sort of your new looks for that price. Well, you won't be able to make it for that price. True. 
you know so exactly time to take to make each link and then you're going to solder them and then you've got to polish it which all is that jazz. it's a lot of work oh it's a lot of work a lot yeah. of work you wouldn't be able to go into h&m and get a bracelet for 12.99 i doubt it anyway yeah I'm and you know and, and of course that's that is literally costume jewelry i was just gonna say yeah costume yeah. jewelry i was in h&m the other day because uh tiggy needs some little sweaters for nursery and they get covered in paint oh, yeah they get absolutely covered in paint yeah. so it's like cheap and cheerful um for nursery sure enough she wore one of them comes back covered in paint <laughs> um anyway and she's like oh mummy look at all this lovely jewelry she was like can i have? and i'm will i was like no because they forget I work for jewellery making, no, they, they get forget. precious metal, <laughs> well, they get precious metal for that price. Uh, North Yorkshire, Laura, well done, Robert, Cheryl, Anna, um, Anne, Kay, Fife, there's multi-buyers, well done. You ticking some names off that Christmas list. Um, Elaine and Susan and Dolores and Jocelyn and sorry, some lovely names shopping with us this morning. Mm. Um, can I ask you a question? Who writes a list, a Chris, like as in recipient name and then what, you, what you've bought them? Do I do that? Do you do that? I used to. I used to. I don't really anymore. Yeah. You should get what you get. <laughs> see, see, so obviously you've got your Santa gifts. Obviously, Santa brings gifts as well. But like, I buy gifts for people as well. So then I'll write their name and then what I've bought them. That's very organised. Where do you keep the list? In your oh. purse? On your, oh, clever. Yeah. Clever. Does anyone even use a purse anymore? I don't think they do, do they? A purse? Yeah. I use a purse. Do you? Yeah. I hardly ever have one with me now. Yeah, so yeah. then I know what I've got people. Good for you. I do know what I've got people. You Organized. can tick in it. It's very satisfying putting a tick next to their name, <laughs> isn't it? That could be a couple of ticks, couldn't it, jewellery makers? No one's going to know it was just twelve ninety nine. No. Um, amazing. Moving on. What should we do now, Roscoe? Have a look at the early bird. Yeah, please. It's gorgeous. Uh, and I can't remember the last time we actually had Labradorite. I'm particularly excited about the fact that these are four mil rounds. Because mm -hmm. they're so versatile, a four mil. I've said it many times before, but I think four mil's the new six. Oh, yeah, definitely. This is going to go absolutely crazy. Look at the quality. Yeah, I do. I, I, yeah, I think you're, you, you, you're saying ten's the new eight. No, eight's the new ten. Six is, oh, I'm so confused. Six is the new eight. Eight is the new ten. Ten's the new twelve. And guess what? Twelve's the new fourteen. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. We are getting confirmation that fourteen's the new sixteen. <laughs> See what it did there, Ross. Legend. Very clever. Very clever. I'm glad you said that to me in my ear because I would have got an all fuddled. <laughs> I'd have got a right fuddle with that. Um, this is your early bird coming up. So um, shop ahead. It's brand new, brand new, double A grade. When you get at home as well, the Labradorite's even more incredible. In person, it literally has those beautiful baby blues, um, magical, magical Labradorescence. So um, we've got, I mean, that with some pearls would be absolutely oh, beautiful course, don't yeah. you think yeah um amazing so um shop ahead on your early bird and also keep an eye on the website all the w's at jewelrymaker.com do be mindful of the fact that they time out so come nine o'clock that website will disappear so make sure you check out your baskets you can always combine your order that's not a problem you can add to your order um still one post and packaging all day jewelry makers so but eight o'clock hours on a curfew that's how we push those prices even lower uh, um, shall we do a closeout deal on Marbay Pearls? Wow. Now we have exactly 10 of these. And you don't just get the one, you get the pair. They are perfect for earrings. Brilliant. Absolutely. Or pendants, actually, if you wanted to make multiples of. Now, if you don't know what a Marbay Pearl is, um, they are very rare and they actually it's where your oyster forms a pearl obviously and you can the pearl will come out won't it so you can actually sort of take what would be the word um you can take the pearl away from the oyster and then that oyster can be used to actually cultivate some more pearls and um, you only get marbe pearls when the oyster comes to the end of its life so um it is actually rarer than the pearls that they culture because you only get them when like i said they they come to the end of their life so a marbe pearl and any oyster can produce a marbe pearl um they're not detached it is actually part of the mother of pearl shell so you get 
amazing luster um, on a Marbe pearl. There's another positive to them. They're actually sometimes referred to as blister pearls, which I don't think is that romantic, so mm -hmm. I try and stay away from that. But um, it's but essentially half a pearl. So if you can imagine, you've got the oyster, say my hand is the oyster shell itself. The Marbe pearl um, doesn't separate, it's literally on top of the shell and, and part of the actual shell itself. Let's read this with you because these aren't my words, but it's an article that describes it far better than, far more eloquently than I am. Um, Marbe pearls um, are a unique and beautiful alternative to a traditional pearl. Also known as blister or half pearls, they grow on the inside of the oyster shell. The pearls are then cut from the shell, uh, filled and their back sealed with mother of pearl caps. They're usually dome shaped with a flat back. So they're fantastic if you don't want the bulk of a whole yeah, spherical yeah. pearl. Um, I'll quickly read forward. They say the Chinese are considered to be the true inventors of blister pearls, which are a type um, of cultural cultured pearl. The earliest finds in China of an aqueous layer of pearl grown around to, um, around a lead image of Buddha have dated as far back as the 12th century. That statement, um, it always puts a, like a question mark above my head because hang mm. on, I thought Mickey Moto was the first person. Mm. So there we go. I'm not, you know, not gonna be. I don't know. It's just saying 12th century there. Um, reading on, uh, Marbe pearls became better known in the 1950s as an affordable, fashionable way to wear large pearls. Um, for the white South Sea culture pearls that we have today were widely unavailable. Japanese companies started to produce blister pearls um, on the. Ryukyu Islands between Japan and Taiwan. The word Marbe possibly comes from the old dialect spoken on those islands. Today, Marbe pearls are still produced in Japan and China, but also in Indonesia, uh, Philippines, uh, Thailand, and also the French Polynesia. Now, yours are from the French Polynesia. Yours are actually from the Tahitian pearl, the black lip mm. oyster, which by the way, we know what's happened with the black lip mm -hmm. oyster with the Tahitian pearls. Um, 10 years future harvests have been bought out. So this is the black lip oyster, and you can see why it's described as such. It literally has sort of a black circumference to it. And you can see a Marbe pearl. So notice how they don't detach from the oyster itself. So incredibly rare, and not every single oyster will actually produce a Marbe pearl. Um, but they're very expensive. I know in that article it said earlier on, originally they were an affordable alternative because they weren't, um, as coveted, I suppose, as they are today. However, if you go on to somewhere like First Dibs, um, you will see the prices that they can command. Um, so this is where you're getting your um, your Marbe pearl from, the 10 offerings that we have. White and cream color pearls were fashion mainstays until the arrival of the Tahitian culture pearl in the mid 1970s. These dark spheres um, with exotic colors were dramatically different to their white and cream colored predecessors and caught the attention of fashionistas. They remain so sought after that designers often create single pearl pendants or mixed them with other pearls to keep them affordable. Um, so the pink tada is native to the island of Polynesia. The mollusk produces uh, pearls in colours sometimes described in the trade with names like aubergine, which is a dark greyish purple body colour, pistachio, which is yellow and green, um, or peacock, which is a dark grey green to blue grey body colour with pink and purple overtones. Um, the size range between 9 and 14 millimetres, um, with the most common diameters being 9 and 11. Um, but with a Marbe pearl, actually, because effectively, if you think about it this way, an oyster, the, the black lip oyster, for example, will live many years many, many years, they'll produce lots of cultured pearls and they'll extract all of those pearls that are obviously sort of detached. They'll extract those. Um, however, the Marbe pearl will continue to grow in the oyster. So you tend to get some of the bigger sizes. So they might be there from the first original harvest that that oyster produces to the very last oh, wow. one. So they can actually be the biggest uh, pearls that you can actually uh, source. But again, they come at quite a considered price tag. They're not affordable anymore, especially given the fact that uh, um, Tahitian pills now are bought out. So First Dibs is a prime example. You can see here now they might be, these are probably South Sea. You can see Marbe pearl earrings there, 1,358. Tiffany's and Co. Marbe pearl earrings, 2,800. Mm -hmm. Um, 5,000, I like those in the top left, 5,208, 
um, and then you've got 2083 but look in the bottom right yeah. um, which is the bluish color which is what you're about to see that means it would have formed in the Tahitian in the Polynesia black lip oyster 9374 they are more expensive because it has formed on the black lip oyster so it is the Tahitian pearl and they've accented with diamonds and sapphires there now I'm going to tell you jewelry makers that your I've got 10 yours are also from that location that one previously yeah again can you see these are white but they've got a blue overtone mm -hmm. they get a, they command a higher price tag when they've got the blue right when they've got that bluer color so you get two of these but i've only got 10. i have literally 10 available and yeah. it's the only pair of marbays that we have ever brought to air we have a message coming through from our customer, Sharon. Hello, Sharon. I bought a, um, a pair of these when Dave introduced them. They are gorgeous with colors like oil and water. Beautiful. Exactly. Um, it was one of Dave's favorite launches, he said, on Jewelry Maker. Yeah, I can see why. I mean, it's absolutely magical, isn't it? And you think about it, you know, you're going to get even more nacre because they've been within the oyster for that length of time. These will have been part of that oyster for the maybe even the entirety of their life, depending on when actually they start to produce the Marbe. Now, jewelry makers, we're gonna start introducing the graphics. I wanna show you the reverse as well, because look, that's the exterior oh. of your black clip oyster. There's that mother of pearl that it was describing. So could you see the oil and water on the interior of, the, um, of this photograph? So they even use that on the reverse so it's beautiful front and back now we could have split these very mm. easily turned it into um 20 opportunities but instead we paired them oh, i'm also thinking as well when uh once upon a time when uh, jake joined us on the show and jake was saying whenever whether it's a, a, a you know a gemstone whether it's sapphire whatever rubies whichever as soon as you start pairing gemstones the price goes up dramatically usually a minimum of 15 yeah. percent because they need to complement one another yeah. let's introduce the graphics jewelry makers i only have 10 available opportunities and we're going to do a massive early bird deal already we've got collectors who've secured theirs well done i'm not surprised it is totally and utterly natural you've got a tahitian marbe pearl offering times two whether you keep them to get uh, together that's entire it's your prerogative obviously um or whether you choose to use them actually as individual pendants as you can see just in the top they are drilled so all you need is a bale oh yeah and I'm fairly sure you had pinch bales recently, didn't you? Um, that would work perfectly. Um, hello to Amanda. Hello to Elaine. Hello to our new customers. Hello, Elizabeth, saying, Morning, everybody. I have these pearls. They are gorgeous. Keeping them for myself. I don't yes. blame you, Liz. I would be doing exactly the same. Um, and they, you know, they are they are expensive you know right now we've got a three-figure price on your screens and i'm not sitting here saying 999 is not um a, a lot of money of course it is but it's not when you'd consider that they are marbe pearls tahitian marbe pearls that's actually a fantastic price 500 pound each i didn't see any in three figures on those websites are you ready because today you're going to get large tahitian marbe pearls for 100 pounds each it's the final seven opportunities that we have within the vault though. So do make sure you check them out. You don't have to be the you know the most established jewelry maker to turn these into fine jewelry. Um, we did say close out, Ross, yeah. You have 21 minutes to get, oh, you're going lower. Okay, in a big way, he says. Oh, okay. I thought this was your closeout deal. This point is us having <coughs> 10 in available. That's, you know, it's not a, a viable quantity. Seven now. It's not a viable quantity for us at Jewelry Maker. It's taken up a location. We've got, obviously, Christmas on the horizon. So we need those locations. So this is a sec effectively clearance on luxury gems. We're at £100 each, which is outrageous. You're right, Ross. Absolutely outrageous. Look at those colours. And we're going even lower. Don't miss out though, because you've got less than 20 minutes on this hour. Yeah, we've, we've only ever, I only recall bringing them to air singly. Yeah. So to be able to get a pair, are you ready? Per Marbe, Tahitian Marbe, no less. This might well be the lowest price we've ever brought to air. 
It, yeah, that is. It's got to be. It's got to be. We've never done a, a, a Tahitian Marbe pearl at £50. What? I mean, a Tahitian pearl at £50 would be amazing, but a Marbe Tahitian? That's unbelievable. Um, you need to check them out though, jewelry makers. Like I said, we only had 10 offerings. Margaret, Amanda, look at the split pay. You know it's low then, don't you? Uh, 33 pounds and 33 pence you can get this home for. I am over allocated. Don't let that put you off though. Um, you can still dial through, speak to our call, to, uh, call center, check out your baskets, tap the app, whichever way you find easiest. Alan, well done. Ida in County Tyrone, Hertfordshire, Margaret and Amanda, you've done it, well done. I've also got Alan Angela, I can see you there, Angela. Stay where you are on the phone lines. Uh, Jean in West Midlands is talking. Maker, Maker, another Margaret. And also I've got Glenda and Elaine there. Um, I only had 10 opportunities. If you're thinking, oh, I've missed it. You haven't. Um, it will be allocated first come, first serve. Um, there's four chances remaining. I'm going to hold this on screen for one more minute, though, and then I have to move on. So, Wendy, you've just got yours. Well done. We all know this is far too low, 50 pounds, for her Tahitian Marbe pearl. I've got two left, well done, Sandra. Sandra, you came in, for example, Sandra, I hope you don't mind me using it as, as an example. Sandra came in at the latter part of that auction and leapfrogged everybody because she checked out. Because she checked out nice and early. Well done, Sandra, you secured one of the, what is there? One left, two left? One, there's one left. Um, so you can do it. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Plus, of course, you've got the opportunity, uh, the option of using your 0% interest split pay, um, if you wish. Massive closeout deal, jewelry makers. The fact that these are Marbe pearls is exciting. The fact that they are Tahitian Marbe pearls is, you know, is amazing. It's an insane saving. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monstrous yeah. discount. You literally, we can't buy Tahitian pearls. No. Charlie Barron can't buy Tahitian pearls. You know? It's a statement, isn't it, that? Unbelievable. Well done, everybody. Congratulations to each and every single one of you. Now, shall we continue with the beautiful iridescence of the gems of the sea? Shall we stick with... Now, not just pearls. Any gem that needs to be harvest, harvested um, really suffered with the pandemic. Yeah. Because obviously you can walk away from any gemstone like diamonds and sapphires and they'll be fine, safe as houses yep. in, uh, where they have been for thousands of years, millions of years. But you can't walk away from something like a pearl or an abalone. They literally just either die or return to the sea, whichever it might be. And the estimate is going to take probably about 10 years, a decade to recover from what on earth? Four strands. <laughs> I didn't see four strands. I thought, oh my goodness me. I've got 12. So, oh my goodness. And they are double sided abalone. Listen, we're not going to hesitate on this, jewelry makers. Um, the Marbe sold out. Abalone is going to sell out for sure. Have you noticed the massive price increase of abalone? Um, we used to be able to bring it to you all the time. We can't do it anymore. And that's because of a pandemic, basically. That's the reason. Um, this is top quality abalone shell. Um, for all of you Disney lovers out there, yeah. then you'll recognize um, abalone, of course, in the necklace um, that they wear. And all those beautiful colors come from where the um, oyster itself or the mollusk itself has actually changed its food. So you get oh. these lovely patterns across the surface of it as well. The more colors, the better the quality of the abalone, basically. You have got different shapes. So I've got rounds, hearts, drops, and also ovals. And just so you know, this is definitely a gemstone for your high-end jewelers. Um, with uh, Katarina Perez recently, uh, I think they're her earrings, actually, aren't they? Katarina Perez. Um, she's got some earrings she calls the capsule collection. And look, little tiny slithers oh, wow. of abalone. They're not massive, are they? Uh, little tiny slithers. Uh, I think they're encased in platinum or 18 karat white gold with your parve diamonds. You know, they're... Um, so on the right-hand side is Caterina Perez, by the way. Um, so, yeah, they're not inexpensive, those, by the way. They... Ooh, what does that... 8,800... What's SGD? I don't know. I don't actually know. But I know they're expensive. Singapore, Singapore dollars, yeah, that would make sense. Make sense. 
Yeah, that would make sense. Um, but again, if Caterina Perez is putting her face to them, you know they're expensive. You know they come at a price tag. We're at £199 for four strands. Four strands. Um, yes, that would be great. So I want to show you this photograph because we've brought you Abalone. We've been lucky to have Abalone on our screens um, for, well, for, for many years, in actual fact. But right now, it's more difficult than ever, um, particularly when you're talking about the top grades. So this is a really simple chart, um, and I'll explain it to you. So two colors, which is nice, the blues, um, the shades of blues, is referred to as double A grade. That makes up 90% of the harvest of Abalone. Right. Um, here we go 90% of the harvest of abalone um, but so if you think about it when you're harvesting abalone they stay stationary don't they so they most likely will only have a couple of colours because they're feeding off the same, same things thing. present yeah, that yeah, are in yeah. the, um, um, actually in its surroundings however then when you jump to three they've got more they've had more changes in their diet that makes up just 15 percent of the harvest the rarest is when you look at three plus colors and you can see that's why i'm holding one of the strands out for you definitely three plus colors makes up just five percent that's referred to as wild because obviously they've had more varied diets yeah yeah you're getting four strands jewelry makers now the only price that this opportunity has been to is what we're about to show you. Twenty pounds per strand. I'm gonna show you a different one actually. Today, look at this. We're gonna do a massive close out deal. And by the way, I could have chosen any. They're all amazing. A massive closeout deal. How many did you say, Ross? 12. 12 available. They have never been lower than the price that is on your screens, jewelry makers. So um, definitely, definitely make sure you are checking out nice and early. I want to show you each and every single one of these. They're beautiful. Um, the qualities of these are in, amazing. See all those three plus colors? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Purples, pinks, greens, and blues. And every single one is of that amazing top grade. Good luck, everyone. The They're not wafer thin, are they? They're no, lovely no. and thick. Nice and, th that. and double sided, too. Yeah. What? It's £10 a strand for abalone. Wild abalone. <laughs> Oh my goodness me, you saw it there, literally three plus colours makes up 5% of the harvest of your abalone, 5% because it's had that varied diet, you're getting double sided abalone for a tenner per strand, that's, so exciting, that's crazy, absolutely crazy, I'm, there you are. You've, you've got to check out, though, I only had 12. Alan, Angela, Jackie, Merseyside, uh, Kent, you're there as well. Well done to each and every single one of you. Um, yeah, look at the quality of these. I can't hold them all at once. I've got to hold them one at a time. Um, good luck. It's only 12, honestly. You're going to lose time just being captivated by these beautiful treasures of the ocean um you can still do it but you need to get a wriggle on well done carol well done denise well done grace i've got three of them left natalie in gloucestershire atia well done we are four auctions four a oh, one sorry one more auction away from your labradorite early bird jewelry makers which actually would go beautifully with these i think um well done what is it Oh, I was eyeing this strand up. It's mm. lovely. It will go gorgeously with your Labradorite in actual fact. But also, yeah, I'm about to show you sapphire, natural sapphire. So, you know, we showed you the 5%. 5% of the harvest in your abalone um, have three plus colours. 5% of your sapphire is natural. Of the world sapphire from all the locations, 5% of it will actually come naturally. Most of it is either heat, diffused, filled, whichever it might be. You're looking at one of those 5% here, jewelry makers. They are faceted to perfection. We're talking about genuine sapphire. Um, oh my goodness me, that rich, beautiful, regal blue, just because I've got them next to me. So I thought, you know, oh. how amazing are they? Now, they would go beautifully with Charlie's projects coming up in the next hour. But also, yes, Ross. 
What months were we in, Charlie? September. Take advantage of September 20, because you get 20% off your birthstone. Amazing. How incredible is that? Even if it's not your birthstone, you still get 20% off it. You don't have to be a September baby, just so you know. Discounted. Yeah. Natural. So you know sometimes like companies <laughs> will go, oh, here's a little birthday discount mm. on your birthday. Yeah. And that's for, for you. Yeah. For you. We give you the, the, the gemstone of that month. And it doesn't have to be your birthstone. For you and all your friends, the quality of the sapphire, it will go beautifully with your early bird, don't you think? Those two together. Oh, nice. Coming up next, both four millimetre rounds, uh, the beautiful surface lustre. You know you're going to get an incredible deal, even without the 20%. With, with that, though, it's the cherry on the cake. Um, 45 carats, anyone? Genuine natural sapphire, anyone? Let's show you a price tag that you're not going to be paying. It's casual, isn't it? It's Friday morning. What do you do today? Bought myself 45 carats of sapphire. Natural. Oh. Natural sapphire. Oh. <laughs> they don't know that you spent 20 pounds. Oh. And don't forget, 20% off that price too. So that's what, four pounds? Yeah? And we're going even lower. And we're going even lower. So wait, 16 pounds for natural blue sapphire, but that's not the price, we're going even lower. It, uh, lost for words. I know I am as well, and I think we become so easily complacent, Very. don't we? Because yeah. it's like you've just bought forty-five carats of natural sapphire, <laughs> and it hasn't cost you twenty pounds. What's that? Eighty one pound eighty times two. What's the maths on that then? It's under fifteen pounds, isn't it? Under oh. fifteen pounds for forty-five <laughs> carats of sapphire. It is almost laughable, really. It is. Um, and you might be thinking, "No, it can't be the real deal." Oh, it is. It is. It's how we fourteen pound forty. There you go. I would be stocking up on these. It's the last weekend where you can take advantage of yeah. your September twenty. <clears throat> Tuesday is it? Yeah. Tuesday is the first of the month, so first of October. Um, you'll be able to buy the sapphire, possibly, if it hasn't sold out. Um, but you won't be able to use that 20% discount. So now is the time to be stocking up on your sapphires, folks. Um, how lovely is that? What did you do today? Just stocked up a sapphire. <laughs> just bought a sapphire. Pardon? You know, just bought myself 45 carats of natural blue sapphire. Or in Pauline's case, just bought myself 90 carats of natural blue sapphire. Casual. You know, you need to be checking out though. Make sure you do. Pauline, Anna, D, Judith, Maker, Neil and Linda, Angela, Tina, Janet, Anna, Northamptonshire. Congratulations, everyone. Make sure you're checking out. Remember, each and every single item that we have brought you so far this morning is on a curfew. Um, so make sure you are checking them out. Oh, it's guest designer Mark. Good morning, everyone. Elle, I'm so looking forward to see you, seeing you Sunday. It's going to be a wonderful show. It's been far too long. It really has. It really has, Mark. I feel, I feel like, like, like sometimes, and you'll be the same, Charlie. Sometimes it's like, and this, I'm trying to word this. It, it's not, we're not sh shared equally, are we? Sometimes it's like, oh, we've got Charlie and I might see us every single week in that month, and then we won't see each other for three. Yeah. Yeah, it's how the cookie crumbles, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. It is. So, Morning, yeah. Mark. Oh, I'm looking forward to it as well, Mark. And apparently, I'm hearing about your nine o'clock projects. Amazing. Oh, absolutely incredible. Well, speaking of amazing projects, Charlie's got some special projects coming up in the next hour. Um, beautiful quality, natural purple baroque pearls and if you're thinking oh i like that but i also like some of the pure whites well we can do that too um both of these projects coming up in the next hour jewelry makers with our lovely charlie but first a gemstone that we used to see on literally on a daily basis unfortunately months can pass now um in between each labradorite offering it's a magical gemstone um that will go lovely with your deal of the day in actual fact can you imagine labradorite with selenite Ooh. those two together yeah. um because it almost seems to have this wonderful spiritual magic that is captured perfectly internally it is natural and it's coming your way as an early bird deal <laughs> now jewelry makers um 
some uh, authors that can far more eloquently, particularly today, because I'm incapable of talking today for some reason, <laughs> um, far more eloquently describe this beautiful gemstone and certainly is one of my go-tos when I'm referencing gems as the jewellery editor. Now, you can absolutely access all of their articles. Um, it's all online, by the way. And they, I just think they're positively poetic in their description of gems. And they put pen to paper um, when describing the beauty that is labradorite. labradorite. That it, I, again, it's a little bit like malachite, not visually, but once you see labradorite for the first time, you never forget it. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I mean? You know straight away that that is labradorite. And they say, with a dark shimmer that changes in the light, it's hard to imagine a more mysteriously beautiful precious stone than labradorite, a gem that legend says has celestial oranges, uh, origins. Europe, uh, Europeans first discovered Labradorite in the 18th century on Canada's Paul Island off the coast of Labrador. However, the coast, coastal Eskimo people have long used a powdered form of the stone called fire rock for healing. Legend tells uh, of the story of a war warrior wandering along the coast and coming across a scintillating piece of aurora borealis trapped among the rocks. Since these northern lights were also the shining spirit of their ancestors, the warrior uh, prized them loose with his sphere um, so they could uh, return to the sky. But some remained and these became labradorites. So they literally believed that this was the souls of their, of their ancestors in a gemstone or the aurora borealis. The unique Schiller effect that has been given its own term, labrescence, uh, it is created when the light enters the stone through its cracks and is then reflected back. If you can imagine, I just want to stop there for a second because I think the word cracks concerns people sometimes mm -hmm. when it comes to gemstones. These aren't visual cracks, by the way. So if you can imagine for one second, almost like uh, um, layers, tiny microscopic layers within the gemstone, and as the light enters and hits each and every single one of those different layers, it gives a different light, a different shiller, a different labradescence. So while iridescence seems to glow on the surface of a color gemstone, labradorescence appears to light up, light up from the stone's interior. When you turn a piece of labradorite jewelry, it flickers in different tones and shades like a candle burning inside. With its unusual depth of color, it's probably not surprising that the metaphysical properties of labradorite are um, in a psychic realm. It is reported to bring good luck, increase lucid dreams, provide clear insight, um, and enhance phys uh, psychic abilities. Um, it also helps dispel negative energy, depression, and anxiety. But perhaps the description that best illustrates both its physical and metaphysical traits is as a, as a rainbow bridge between the conscious and the unconscious mind. Now, high-end jewelers with such a beautiful, such, such sentiment, such history, but also, like I said, just immediately visually a wow gemstone. There are, there's very few gems, I love all gemstones obviously, but there's very few gems out there that I think straight away you have that, you, it gets your brain in this wonderful kind of whirlwind of, of inspiration and colors and stories, quite like Labradorite does. Um, so I guess it comes at no surprise that also your high-end jewelers are more than happy to include it in their jewelry designs. Like this piece, um, which is a large dusty diamonds Labradorite. I'm not keen. Dusty diamonds, mm. um, which uh, is in rose gold uh, and they've got electric blue diamonds um, haloing. That's £2,600, that ring. How about this then? I'm, I, I do like this yeah. piece. Uh, the Aurora Labradorite ring in gold with diamonds, £6,250. That's lovely. I like its simplicity of that yes, one. Yes, definitely. Um, but I don't like the £6,000 price no. tag that goes alongside it. Um, moving on. Um, a pendant, simple pendant like this, uh, blue labradorite drop necklace in yellow gold, £3,750. There's not even any diamonds on there. It's all just uh, um, 18 karat gold and also your gemstone. Uh, moving forward. 
Um, Wolf and Badger, 886 pounds. These are Labradorite Trinity studs with diamonds haloing. All absolutely beautiful, most at four figures. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, I, th I think it's a gentle reminder to us all, uh, to all of our lovely jewelry maker viewers and certainly to ourselves as well, that Labradorite is not an inexpensive gemstone. You know, we're very fortunate to bring you, we just bought you sapphires for less than 15 pounds. We're very fortunate to be able to bring you top quality grade and I have to tell you our lab right now is off the chart whilst yes it's few and far between um, it is off the chart remember tiny microscopic platelets where the light hits whether it's the first platelet whether it's the second the bottom whichever it might be or everyone in between that equates to that magical color that it actually displays now we have 150 of these available I said it at the beginning of the show, four is the new six, isn't it? It's become certainly our most popular, one of our most popular sizes. It is a full length strand. And again, you just get, you can see the grade of this. You're looking for, in the worst possible lighting conditions here in the studio where I've got floodlights, I've literally got hundreds of lights surrounding us in the studio. And yet you still see that phenomena effect. Got some golds in there as golds, well, haven't you? blues, purples, it's all there. Um, I, ha I wish I had more, to be honest. Can you imagine, I'm just gonna just put this one out there. Can you imagine a Capriccio bracelet in Labyrinth? Ooh, very oh. nice. Can you imagine a tassel with Labyrinth? I can imagine that. Oh. Yeah, I can. You know, can you imagine things like, I mean, popping those in between your amazing pearls in the next hour? Oh, yeah, definitely. They'd be stunning, wouldn't they, yeah. with the purple pearls? Um, if you were thinking, what's a Capriccio bracelet, Al? Don't worry, I can show you a picture. This is a Capriccio <laughs> bracelet. Um, and guest designer Deb and Mark actually have done some lovely designs on this as well. Um, yeah, if you, mm. if you go to Mark or Deb's, uh, um, if you research them on YouTube and Capriccio bracelet, I'm sure something will pop up. But this would be absolutely incredible. Look at that quality, jewelry makers. Now, you know we're not going to stop here. Double A graded natural labradorite, a gemstone that we seldom ever see in your four millimeter rounds. And just, you know, just to get things cracking, 19.99. It is not your price. I started here at Jewelry Maker in 2011. And I remember when I first started presenting, filled, oh gosh, anxious times. Because it's like, oh, I've never done it. I've never done live TV before. I was not, I was not a presenter previously. Um, anyway, and Labradorite in particular used to fill me with dread because I was always trying to show you the Labradorescence. I could see it, but it didn't always show down yeah. the TV screens. However, this, I don't even have to try. No. Um, that's that double A grade quality. Our Labradorite has got better and better and better and better, I have to say. How about... £14.99 <laughs> for double A graded Labradorite with all that shiller for all that wonderful Labradorescence that comes naturally. It's not coated. I, I understand when people think that Labradorite is a created stone. Yeah. Because you almost look think of like Swarovski and their Aurora mm. Borealis, which is a very c clever play on words. Um, that's created, that's coated. This is Mother Nature's gemstone. Again, multi buyers getting involved. We're not stopping there, jewelry makers. We're going even lower. I'm going to do this. Mm. That's a Christmas treat, isn't it? Yeah. That bright pearls. Yeah. What? Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence only. So many of you saying, okay, we don't see Labradorite very often. I am going to stock up my Sasha multi buy. Yeah. Um, yeah. And also the fact that this is top grade. You've got double A grade. We should not be anywhere near your price tag of $12.99. And we definitely should not be under £10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine it with the Mozambique as well, the Mozambique oh, Amazonite. Oh, yeah. We want to see you there. There's only 150 opportunities, though, jewellery makers, so make sure you are checking out. Think about it this way. Selenite, would it complement that? Pearls? <laughs> Mozambique Amazonite? Because it's got that wonderful, soft, sensual grey that yeah. literally does work with everything, doesn't yeah, it? Definitely. Soft grey, but with added uh, added colours. Good luck, everyone. There are loads of multi-buyers. Tons of you in the process of checking out your baskets. Lots of you on the phones as well. We've missed Labradorite, haven't we? And we definitely have missed double A grade, this quality. 
under 10 pounds today. I said it out loud and all of a sudden there was a massive reaction on the web and on the phone lines. I'm not surprised at all. 9.99 for Labradorite of this quality. I can't emphasize enough. Just remember, do it like, remember I met, spoke about Charlie earlier on. He used to hate our studio lighting. Yeah. Like literally yeah. vocally would say how much he hated our studio lighting which is which is um, fair because our studio lighting is dreadful um, it's great but you need to see us obviously you need to see the demonstration so that's why we've got floodlights but if we were in a fancy if we were in a fancy jewelers they'd have spots yeah they'd have spotlights wouldn't yes. they um, which would just you know just 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 strategically placed in the right place to show mm. off the lab essence. You don't need that spotlight uh, um, angle. You can see it because of the quality of the gemstone. Well done, Hilda, Elaine, Christine. Well done to you, Natalie, Kim getting two, Catherine getting two, Patricia getting two, Georgina getting two, Kate, Dawn, Leslie, West Midlands getting four, Janet, Jacqueline, Amanda, uh, Carolyn, Nicolette's got five, Pauline, Lisa and Jackie, Shelley and Durham, you've just got three. Well done. I have seen fives getting... Uh, getting snapped up as well uh, Northumberland's got two Denise and Dee and Mary well done to each and every single one of you more than half the stock has already gone so we're at that mile uh, milestone jewelry makers and there's loads of you um, oh I can see people coming back <laughs> coming back to sort of up their order quantity over half the stock has gone so if it's sat loitering in your basket it's not guaranteed to you jewelry makers in actual fact it is going to disappear in a few minutes because remember our early bird hour does not stay on the website so make sure you're checking them out d i can see you've opened uh, you've upped your order quantity i love d i love your jewelry so i think this would be absolutely incredible in one of your long line necklaces senga you've got three well done shelly's got three well done uh patricia you've got two well done tracy uh, Sharon, Surrey, Chandy, Zara, Cynthia, Karen, Janet, Julie, I can't keep up with you all now. Uh, make sure you are checking out your basket. You have a minute to close your early bird and everything that I have brought you so far. It will disappear off the web. If it's in your basket, we are not ASOS. We will not go, ooh, you've got something. <laughs> it will literally disappear. Um, so you have to check it out. You can always combine your order. You haven't got to pay poster and packaging again. Yeah. So it, lo it, it literally will, if you say, add another item, say combine order, question mark. So literally tap that and it's four nine, uh, what, the, one poster and packaging all day, jewelry makers. So uh, make sure you are checking those out. Natalie, you've just got six. Well done, every, uh, well done to you. 26 seconds and we are closing everything from this hour. We've got the most amazing project hour coming up with our lovely uh, Charlie in a few moments time beautiful natural purple pearls baroque pearls and also we've got them in the white the elaborate look heavenly with um, so good luck to each and every single one of you do not go anywhere I'm gonna make my way over to lovely Charlie just after this for more inspiration and talent <laughs> It's Mark here. I'm just taking advantage of this tiny window of sunshine to show you what's coming up on Sunday morning. I'm going to be joining L, Ross and the crew. That's Sunday the 29th. My nine o'clock hour, you can tell straight away it's going to be something special. We've got this incredible green velvety gift box. And inside we have got a metre long strand of none less than red jadeite. A metre long strand, three millimetre rounds, and you're also going to be given six incredible earring pendants and earring findings. So we're going to show you how to make this incredible kiss across micro necklace and also look at this a real labour of love but this beautiful netted cuff bracelet and here's two of the little pendants which I've turned into these glorious little earrings. So that's coming up at nine o'clock and then at twelve o'clock we have got two kits that I've put together myself consisting of meter long strands of faceted shell pearls, meter long strands of AB coated glass bicones, 
and these incredible, look at these, incredible range of five different sizes of rivulets. We've got them in this incredible AB coated and this incredible bright neon blue. That's in the 12 o'clock. So nine o'clock, meter long strand of red jadeite, three millimeter rounds, and 12 o'clock, these incredible wintry kits coming up at 12. So that's myself, Eleanor, and Ross and the team this Sunday, 29th of September from eight o'clock. Can't wait to join you. you this Friday, Friday the 27th, we've got some beautiful projects in store for you, some really stunning pieces. So at nine o'clock we have perfection, we have two luscious strands in store for you. Um, natural silver pearls, great size, really easy to work with. Uh, but some, we've also got some natural purple Edison pearls. I've never worked with pearls like this before, so they're a totally different caliber. They're absolutely stunning, can't wait to share them with you. Uh, and then at 12 o'clock, we've got some great Christmas makes for you. So they they come with this beautiful ombre stack of colours. And I'm going to show you how to make them blend into each other seamlessly. Um, and, but they also come with these really cool long bar crimps. That, that, they're so cool. Um, and some lovely clamshells too. And when you work with uh, the new pliers, the new crimping pliers that Jewelry Maker have got in, um, they crimp like butter and leave the perfect indentation on these bars. They're really nifty. Great way of finishing off tail ends and things. Um, so I can't wait to share those with you. I hope you can join me on Friday and I will see you there. Lovely Charlie. I've just learned something from Charlie as well. Well, it's, I don't, it's not guaranteed. No, but it's worth a try. It's worth a go, yeah. I was saying, we were literally talking about the fact, she said, you wouldn't believe it. We've got some foxes that live, well, they're everywhere now, aren't they? Um, and I like foxes. I do like foxes. I don't even mind when they leave their little <laughs> presents. <laughs> don't even mind that. I'll clean that up. What I don't like is when foxes dig up my new winter pots. And I was like... <laughs> I was like, I did. I spent a good couple of hours doing my nice winter pots, put my pansies in, beautiful. putting all my, my my bulbs in for the yeah. spring. Dug them all up, didn't they? And ruined it, was, is it? Ruined it. <laughs> ruined it. And you were saying they they'll eat the bulbs. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know they ate bulbs. Yeah, and some some other things do. Uh, rabbits eat bulbs and things like that. Yeah, and go and badgers. They like digging and looking for bulbs. I would imagine they're quite sweet. Um, yeah. So Charlie was like, try putting some garlic in your pots and spray some garlic. What well, literally? I would just crush down some garlic. You could even roast it if you wanted to be really fly, um, and and turn it into a paste and put it in a water spray bottle and just spray your plants with the garlic, and it'll also dissolve your uh, slugs and snails. So they won't <laughs> so, like it either. So your panzels be great. Ah, right. Where's so I'm going to try that. Try that because they were, it was literally chaos outside the front of my house watch it attract all the foxes and they love garlic oh you delicious thank you it. for seasoning our bowls <laughs> right then jewelry makers you have got an amazing project hour before you um before before we do because it would go perfectly alongside charlie's amazing projects your deal of the day is not just a deal of the day it's actually a close out deal of the day a gem that whenever we bring to air is always an incredibly popular choice um something that we would love to be able to bring you continuously but it's difficult to get hold of especially when something is as pure as textbook as what's on your screens right now we're talking about the absolute serene beauty that is 
selenite. Mm -hmm. um, you know, massively popular metaphysically, hugely popular in jewelry visually, because there's no pure white gem like selenite. It actually has a, an internal chatoyancy and it forms naturally. So much so, I was talking to my husband about it, and I actually, you know, that photograph of the selenite in the caves, um, where you've got the the, the, the uh, people dressed in orange. Um, I showed Tom that photo, yes, he was like, that's not real. I was like, <laughs> Well, it is. He was I don't believe you. I was like, well, no, no, it is. It is real. It's an absolutely amazing gemstone. So that's coming up at 10 o'clock. Um, that will go beautifully with Charlie's amazing projects. And we've got it in different sizes. These are close out deals. You're going to see selenite at prices that we've never done before. We've got massive quantities. So that's obviously helping us push that price even lower, jewelry makers. So that's at 10 o'clock. Um, and also I'll just give you a little bit of a heads up, the Amazonite night that's coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. We've got cups that we've never seen um, in this location and we have rounds back in stock. Very, very exclusive. It was a sellout on the original launch. Um, literally post that launch, a conversation was had and we managed to acquire a very limited quantity. So that's at 11 o'clock today as well, jewelry makers both of which would go amazingly with your nine o'clock hour. Charlie, mm. how beautiful, how beautiful are your pieces of jewelry and ultimately the project? You know, you could literally just knot these, keep them traditional, yep. or you could kind of mix it up, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, that's the thing that I didn't want to go too far and over the top with it like I usually do because I just wanted the pearls to speak for themselves, which is why I teamed it with clear quartz because I thought, especially the, um, the natural purple ones, mm. because they almost act like a, like a window yes. almost, but they amplify the color in between, so they yeah. don't distract away from the from the shape and color of the, those pearls. They're really exceptional. I've never had anything like that before. Wow, what well, a lovely color! It's amazing, isn't Aren't it? Well, it's, it's very rare in the pearl world because only a couple of families can actually harvest natural purple oh, right. pearls. Um, in China, there's literally only a handful huh, of families. I didn't know that. Yeah, so it's not not every pearl harvest will actually produce purple pearls. Um, they're what we call hybridized. Right. Okay. So they've um, almost um, introduced different mollusks to one another oh, okay. um, to clever. actually achieve to achieve that beautiful purple. Because remember, the purple will be hopefully on the inside of the mm. oyster itself. Those are the oysters that can actually produce purple pearls, but it's only a few families that can actually do it. So they are very rare and they do command a very high price tag because, you know, you look at the prices on Yoko of London. Um, we've got a little write up on that, actually. So you've got two projects here. You've got the white um, Baroque cultured pearls and then you've got the, the um, natural purple Baroque cultured pearls, which are, they're both huge mm. in their size. So if you want to talk about the actual rarity of a purple pearl, because these are not bleached and dyed. Look, anybody can get a culture pearl, bleach it, and they will literally bleach it to remove any coloring. Um, and then they submerge it in whatever color they want. That's far more affordable, obviously, but it's not natural. Whereas these are totally natural and obviously are that level of quality and rarity. Um, I was first introduced to Purple Pearls, by the way, in Tucson a few years ago, and I saw it only at four figures and right. they were high, f uh, and that's, that's trade. Right, okay. So, um, oh. so I've got a little write up on the rarity of these pearls and it says these pearls, uh, this is from our supplier who has brought us Purple Pearls previously and they said these pearls won't be offered again uh, for another maybe 10 years because of how rare the actual mollusk is so never mind the oyster the pearl the mollusk itself I bet that made everyone upstairs go oh. yeah it's oh. worrying the situation in pearls is worrying because it's yeah. also you got to think about it this way jewelry makers pearls are our one of our number one sellers yeah. so it's a real concern for yeah. us um, people breed a special kind of mollusk which breed purple pearls they don't have a name but they can distinguish a purple mollusk from the white ones via technical methods when the mollusk is actually tiny small percentage of harvest maybe one percent between peach and purple mollusks harvest affected by covid yes obviously it's hard to reset um for these fancy colors they have just disappeared especially in these sizes so just consider it this way i'm going to stop for one second so consider it this way so you've managed to hybridize oysters that will produce purple pearls covid hits and unfortunately you can't tend to those oysters. Yeah. You can't tend to those mollusks. So the ones that have been hybridized either return to the sea or die because they obviously yeah. live for a, a certain period of time. So 
it, it, it has been massively affected, especially in these rare oysters, mollusks rather. Um, largest and the smallest are the hardest hit. So if you notice that, we haven't seen any seed pills, mm -hmm. no seed pills, and the, these large sizes are incredibly expensive um, to get and have more than doubled in price. Ooh. Natural uh, color of peach and purple are one of the hardest to match because they can go quite pink. So it takes takes much longer to become uh, and becomes very expensive fancy color south seas are actually more affordable right now right that's, that's interesting isn't it that's massive news yeah remember and this was do you know it was so heartbreaking to see yeah, this imagine. was photographs that um that we took when we were at tucson we went they cost thousands those booths mm -hmm. And remember, they won't have been able to do um, any of the shows previously because I went on the first show back after Tucson. Um, so they'd have booked these years in advance, paid for them thousands upon thousands of pounds. But unfortunately, all the pearl ones were empty because they didn't have the pearls. So you've lost investment with the farming because you can't tend to them. Then you're going to lose your investment because you can't display them. You can't, can't sell, sell them. them Literally you can't sell any. them. So actually, uh, pearls whether it was South Sea, Tahitian, freshwater, whatever variety, there was very few pearl sellers um, actually at Tucson because of uh, because of COVID. And you might be thinking, come on, Al, COVID was ages ago. It's going to take them years to actually recover from that. Yeah. Years yeah. and years and years. Especially in these colours, because like I said, they are hybridised pearls. They're very, very rare. Now, don't get me wrong, you can go to... The, I can point you in, in the direction of some other designers that might might actually have the purple pearls um yoko of london have actually reached out to us as well we've they we've we show them quite frequently um they've showed uh they they do some amazing pearls and they're like where are you getting those pearls from um interesting we, they're asking you they're isn't actually it? asking they don't do us that. yeah um can we source them from from you obviously we've said no because that means that there's no show you wouldn't have yeah, today no. for example yeah. you wouldn't have the project today this necklace which is i'm going to say almost exactly the same color as charlie yeah, yeah. Um, granted, these are round. Yours are Brock, but Brock is as popular, I would say, now as uh, as any other shape. If you want to get that necklace, it's not inexpensive. Let's just put it that way. Um, we did apply for the price, and I can tell you it's £22,500. That was then, no. That's quite an old price. I would not be surprised if that's gone up, so, oh. or even if they've got it on their website anymore. Um, because to they've got to, they've got to replace those pearls every time they sell them and can they do uh, they can't get hold of them we no, know that because yeah. they've spoken to us so uh, hopefully i've um, explained why purple pearls in particular are as expensive as they are because firstly the mollusk is rare the mollusk itself is rare hybridized basically a technique that only a few families over in china actually managed to um achieve and then of course covid those uh, those uh, mollusks sadly probably died. Um, so then you've got to start all that over and once again, even a single purple pearl, you're talking four figures. One single purple pearl, 2,300 pounds, and it's not smothered in diamonds. It's not, you know, in, uh, with any other uh, sapphires it's very or simple in its, it's design. really simple yeah. yeah absolutely in 18 it looks like solid 18 karat gold 2000 pounds for that piece and now it's not the gold that's making up that four figure price tag it is the purple pearl so we are talking real rarity and we're very fortunate jewelry makers we really really are to be able to bring you the gems the, the quality of the pearls that we're about to and the size of the pearls now don't forget your five virtues i'll quickly remind you size shape color which we've definitely covered yeah. not dyed natural color then we start talking about nacre and luster now firstly size these are colossal they're huge double figure me uh, millimeters we never we don't um size pearls in a carrot weight because they're an organic gemstone we do it by measurement so these are anything over 10 millimeter is massive in the pearl world i remember asking charlie once upon a time and he said it's like the equivalent to a three carat diamond so anything over 10 millimeter is huge then we start talking about shape round pearls are they they're what the pearl harvesters will aim for 
but not just because they can they command the highest price tag but also that's the only way they know yeah so you can't go oh, i'm going to harvest these ones and i want them to be brock pills because how do you do achieve a brock pill how do you achieve a, a drop pill is they, they pivot the oysters literally on a daily basis um obviously chip off any barnacles so they're feeding happily etc but uh, there's no way of actually saying, well, I want this one to be a Brock pearl. I want this one to be a diff or a fireball pearl. Um, it is like a lottery win. Now, your more organic shapes are hugely popular at the moment. I think we've got a lot to thank Lady Gaga for that. I've got 40 of these projects, by the way. Then we start talking about colour, not dyed. These are totally natural, particularly rare as the purple. Then we start talking about the nacre. Nacre is the rare precious material that builds your pearl. The more nacre leaves to the fifth virtue, the more luster. Um, you can have all other virtues at the, the top grade. If you haven't got luster, then it's not a great pearl. Yeah. So you need luster. Take a little look at these amazing pearls. You've got ticking each and every single one of those virtues. You've got incredible color. They're Baroques. They've got those really gorgeous organic-like shapes. From In my head, they show that they are genuine yeah. pearls. Yeah. Um, you know, because you can be almost too spherical, I think. If they're too spherical, then they look faux. You question, yeah, you question if they're yeah. real or not. Yeah, definitely. They actually look faux. Um, these, and they're graduated as well, jewelry makers, if I just show you this at the neckline, um, they are graduated, so. Can you see that? There you are. Look at the size on them. Yeah, they're great. They're massive. These are some of the biggest pearls. Look at those. Aren't they fab? Mm -hmm. They go up to 13 millimeter. Charlie, I think that is like one of the highest numbers. For natural purple pearls, they might be the biggest. So I was very spoiled, wasn't I? You really were. Yeah. You lucky girl. Now, jewelry makers, you don't just get this strand though. They're, they're insane. Mm -hmm. You also get, and I want to show you, a magnetic clasp in sterling silver. You get two of your wire guardians, which I'm sure Charlie will be able to show you. Yeah, yeah. I think they're coming a little long. And you get your silk to knot them, pre threaded silk. And you get Charlie's instructions as well, oh, sorry, yes. which is yeah. on the knotted cuff bracelet, this one here, just there. So you also get your written instructions by Charlie, free of charge. This will be available upon dispatch of your order. Wow, Charlie, you really were spoilt with these oh, projects without a doubt yeah definitely and with the um with the half and half cuff there's there's no flame there's no solder there's none of that it's it's just a hammer and a little bit of silver so it's literally a, a project for everyone there's 40 it's a very 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 exclusive opportunity the auction <coughs> is live 40 do not hesitate um, they're, oh, they're Edison pearls as well. I apologize. I literally have missed out that very important fact. The fact that Edison pearls, by the way, sit firmly shoulder to shoulder alongside Tahitian pearls, South Sea pearls, Sequoia pearls. They are widely considered one of the top names. Um, so yeah, I mean, casually here, Charlie, you have got probably one of the most incredible strands of pearls. Purple pearls are very, very rare because the mollusk itself is very, very, very rare. And these will be, I should point out, one pearl per oyster. So it could quite possibly, yeah, like if you go to freshwater pearls, you they usually can pack, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 pearls in one oyster. I was going oyster. to ask you, yeah, yeah. Um, whereas these, an Edison pearl is one pearl per oyster. So um, they oh. take that much longer take that much longer um, and also the likelihood of being able to color match them is that much more challenging because they're totally different mollusks now we showed you one single on yoko of london that novus ring which was at 2300 pounds so you're getting a full graduated strand so ours at 2999 pounds it's more than reasonable absolutely more than reasonable you're not just getting one pearl here um and yours are naturally purple like yoko of london you've got to remember as well this that's the best that's going to look mm -hmm. that's had all the photoshopping oh yeah yeah 
hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, good point. All yeah. the editing. We're in a little studio with floodlights and they still look this epic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are a treat. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. With metallic gold overtones. Yeah, it's like a champagne -y oh, colour. lovely, isn't oh. it? Charlie, you, I'm, these are lovely. They are very yummy, aren't they? The entire strand today, Charlie. Graduated. 13 millimetres. Now we have beaten the price of their one. And you get instructions, and you get silk, and you get the precious metal findings. Massively, will we... Yoko of London, how many people can afford £2,300 for one single pearl? I can't. No, nor me. I can't. We're at £1,999 for a full strand, and we are no way near done. 30 second clock. If you love your pearls, I did hear... Oh, they're stunning. Thank you. I, oh, they're amazing, Charlie. Oh, how have I only just clocked those? Seriously, I... One of the things that Ross just said in my ear, the deal on this is ridiculous. You did say something along those lines, didn't you? Absolutely ridiculous. £1,999, if we're honest, is ridiculous already. For natural purple... Edison Baroque pearls, the largest size we've ever done. I've only got 40 though. This is ridiculous. I can't remember what you've, what it's going to, Ross. £499. You can get hold of it on split pay as well today. That's unbelievable. For the full 38 centimetre strand of natural Edison purple pearls. Oh, there's loads on there. There's yeah. loads on there. And if they're individual mollusks, yeah. that's a lot of tending to do for that one it strand, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it can take years yeah. to actually to gain, uh, to, to gain enough pearls to actually to do a match strand. Yeah. You know, it's not one, one harvest. OK, there's all my purple pearls. I'll stick them together. Mm. It's not that simple. Now, the largest white strand... We took to this next price crash, but purple is rarer than white. It is far rarer than white. Let's match that price though. Yeah, for the largest, I remember vividly, it was a deal of the day, wasn't it? Recently, I bought them. I bought them. We took it to this price. The largest white Edison pearls, and it was a massive auction. They're absolutely incredible. These are rarer because they're naturally colored. And you get the full project and inspiration from Charlie, and we're still not done. I've got 40 available opportunities during Makers. For me, not it. I, I know it comes with silver findings. If you want to keep it traditional, if you, want to, if you want to make profit, as in if you're thinking of buying it to sell it on and make money, that's fine. We've got people that do that, and it's entirely up to you. I would put these on 18 karat gold, personally, mm -hmm. because that's the rarity. Um, but again, beautiful. Oh, I love it. Uh, Charlie, that necklace is absolutely amazing. Using it alongside your other gemstones. We could add zeros to that price tag and it'd still be a reasonable price. Remember, Ross, uh, uh, you know, when you were in Stratford-upon-Avon, you saw two small purple pearls, didn't you? They, those ones, that's it. Two small... No doubt, naturally purple, £535. You've got a full strand, and we're not stopping at £399. Already, can I tell you, jewellery makers, we have serious collectors. Oh, my goodness. Ross, £249 for what, the largest purple. We've not done bigger purples than these, have we? 13 millimetres yeah. is the largest we've done. We've just confirmed. Do you know, I would say the smallest on the uh, strand there are way bigger than the ones that you saw on the high street. Yeah. So that says a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, that, Ross, do you remember what size were they? Eight mil, maybe? Six, eight mil. Oh, About, okay, yeah. yeah, eight to ten mil, he said, at a, ma a maximum. Yeah. £535. Are they wrong, though, do you reckon, jewellery makers? Do you think that's an incorrect price? Their price is actually amazing. It's not bad. 
Our price is ridiculous. We've halved it, better than halved it. I've got collectors up and down the country already yeah. thinking, right, okay, these are the largest purple, naturally purple, not dyed, naturally purple Edison pearls that jewelry makers have ever brought to air and most likely will. Because the reality is, unfortunately, the mollusk itself is what's rare. Mm -hmm. Jewelry makers, not this with silk. Follow Charlie's amazing inspiration. You're making high-end jewelers, jewelry, sorry, rivaling the high-end jewelers. We're gonna do one more price crash, but can I just say, I'm gonna put this one out there. We are already mm -hmm. too low. Mm -hmm. I do get, we've got 40 available. I want, the, they're too beautiful to send back to the vault jewelry makers. They. The only, look, I'll be honest, we still have quantity and I'm surprised to be honest because they're the biggest naturally purple pearls that we have available and have ha ever had. The only thing that we can do, but maybe Ross then, if we, if we are contemplating because this is not what we're meant to do, I'm going to ask for 60 seconds if you want us to go lower and if you want these but maybe we're not at that price point we should be by the way jewelry makers we could have closed these at 399 and that would be amazing you know we could have closed these at 499 and that would be amazing we could close these at 999 and that's amazing a minute clock if you want us to go a little bit lower and we will it will hope what's that okay this is the only thing we can do. I don't want to send these back to the vault. They're too beautiful, to be honest, jewelry makers. This is going to be one of the best deals that you've seen for naturally purple pearls. They, we want all 40 of these to find a home. And um, we have looked through the archives, looked onto our computer system, which Ross has at his fingertips. These are the biggest naturally purple Edison pearls that we've ever brought to air. So I apologize for not opening this auction opportunity with that statement. They are the largest that we've ever brought to air. And you're getting them today and not even paying to 249 pounds um, we only have 40 though folks I've still got 18 seconds you've got to join us on the phone lines the clock is to potentially drop that price we're giving you warning we're giving you warning the clock is not to close a red clock would be the case then natural the largest in jewelry maker history that's ridiculous that is ridiculous in the best possible way. Seriously, a 13 mil, one 13 millimeter natural purple Edison pearl, one of them at one nine line would be amazing. You know, let, let, whichever one. Well, that's the thing. It pays for the full strand, doesn't it? Yeah. Or if you bought two strands, you sell one strand on, which covers the cost of both strands. And then you've also got your full strand for yourself. You know, you? Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's just being business savvy. You We've know, got so many customers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We've got customers who have messaged to us, us and said, "Look, I've bought jewelry maker pearls, whether they're Edison, whether they're whichever, whatever variety, um, and they've approached jewelers, and the jewelers have said, i 'I'll buy them off you for mm -hmm. two thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds.' Yeah. And they've declined. Yeah. And they were right to decline. Yeah. Because that isn't a good enough price. Yeah. The reality is, we bring these to you on air at one hundred ninety nine pounds. That is no reflection of the true value or worth. No reflection whatsoever. Um, I've got about half the stock remaining. So there is still opportunities, jewelry makers. Um, there's 18 left within the vault. Massive congratulations to those of you. I can see Hazel, P Sally, Pamela, Anna, Margaret, Marilyn, Maker and Cumbria, Merseyside, uh, Cheryl, Sandra, Dorothy, London, Lorna. There's loads of you there. Um, we're going to dive into the demonstration. You still have got the classic white to bring you as well. At that price point, I'd be thinking, oh, maybe I'll get both because I was not expecting these projects to go as low as they are. So you can still do it, but make sure you're checking out nice and early. Um, you also get Charlie's instructions on this beautiful, beautiful knotted bracelet. Yeah, it's like a half and half cuff. I love half that, half. giving it a modern twist. Yeah. Um, take it away, darling. Thank you, my love. So um, with these, so it comes with the silk and that, the silk with the, let me pinch this. The silk with the attached needle is a revelation for me. I've never used that before Have until I not? worked here. Yeah, no, never come across it before. But I will give you a little tip. These little needles, if you're anything like me and, you know, thread isn't really your medium and you're not that great with it, the needle being attached is really good. I will put this back. No, you're right. You can use it if you need. Um, but when you take it off, 
after you've used it a few times it gets really curly doesn't it it's like, you can't really see it it gets really curly and it's actually yeah. quite annoying to use isn't it so little tip use two pliers and pull it taut obviously i've not got my pliers with me but if you pull that taut it's in mm. the instructions it'll make it dead straight so it'll be able to stay straight until you finish your full strand of um, pearl knotting. Oh, and then by the time you get to the end, mine's still almost straight. It's not, yes. not quite, but it, it, it'll just help you on your, on your way. And because the, um, the, I don't know what color is that? Is that a natural nude it's sort like of nude. color? Yeah, yeah. I'd say nude. So it's a lovely size, it's like a 0 0.6. So I've managed to get through both the, um, silvery white ones twice so the purple the edison pearls they um come with that lovely purple thread silk is it silk yeah, and natural um, silk. i've gone through that twice as well but on the cuff bracelet rather than using wire guardians or um the french wire i've actually knotted it directly onto the clasp because it's so lovely and thick and goes through the pearls twice. I thought, why not? So on the bracelet, when I've attached it, I'm just gonna show you a nifty little way of making it a little bit different from your norm. So you would attach, you've got um, a toggle clasp. So I've used it almost like a feature. So when I attach it to the, uh, when I attach the silk to the toggle clasp, you would have either that way, so you go backwards or you go the other way and we'll come up and over like this. So you'll have all seen that a million times before, just a standard classic loop, isn't it? Well, if you pull this little loop out a little bit and keep hold of your threads, twist it over so you've created a little knot and you're going to go over and round the back. Does that make sense? I will do it again. And then you put your tail ends through that loop Give it a little wiggle. And once it's all neat and tidy, you've made like a little X marks the spot. It's just ah. something a little bit different. So I'll do that again and I'll do it a little bit slower. Yeah. So it's just a bit, it's just something nice and different. So I'll show you again. So we're going to like normal, just loop over. So that's a lark's head, isn't that's it? That's what it's called. You guys remember the names. I never remember the names of anything. <laughs> um, okay, so you're doing that but you're going to give yourself a bit of room. I see it's all nice and baggy there. Yeah. Stick your finger in it and cross it over. Yeah. So it creates that little knot. That knot is going uh, over the back. Yeah. And you're going to put your tail threads through. I'm sorry, I'm a bit chilly, so I'm shaking. And then, can you see? Yeah, like a double lap, but it's got, if I bag it out a little bit more, and you can cross it over, just a bit wobbly, sorry guys. And it just makes a lovely little cross. Lovely. Super cute. It's just different. It's just something a little yeah, different. Yeah, I like that. And it looks really nice with the, uh, with the silk because it's got that um, twisted rope. So that's that. And now I'm going to show you guys. So I've run out of pearls. I used them all. Um, so with the clear quartz I've used on the necklace, we'll do it with this. So with your wire guardian, you'll use your uh, needle end and you'll go up through your... Guardian, just the one, okay, and you would pull that thread all the way through. Then you would attach that onto your loop. I've used a, one of your lovely little clasps that you've got. Um, I think you have some of those left actually. And then you go back through the thread. So I'm not very good with anything thread based, fabric based, anything like that. It's not my forte at all. It seems to not like me. But this for me is a foolproof way of getting a really tight knot without using a needle or tweezers mm. or any jazz like that. Now, I'm probably gonna make it look really hard to do because I'm not very good at it, but I promise you it's really easy. No, do you know what? I like it when we see um, different designers because uh, do, do different techniques like knotting because obviously, one way might work for one person but yeah. not another person yeah. so it is actually really great to see other people yes like yourself like you said that who this might not be your oh what it's you not my medium yeah however i'm looking at your bracelet and it looks perfect to me so thank you i'm intrigued i'm intrigued to know. just so you know we put the graphics on for the clear quartz if you want to do this oh, combination yes. as well there are only a limited quantity of them by the way um so 
We'll do it in one price crash so we're not interrupting the demonstration jewelry right. makers, but they do compliment beautifully, Charlie, your pearls. Clear quartz is fantastic for amplifying what's next to it. Yeah. So it acts like a window, but it also right. enhances it, doesn't it? And you can see the purple as well yeah, through. Yeah. So it just is, I think it's a really clever way of making your pearls go further without any distractions. You know? 699, Ross. Oh really? For eight mil rounds. That I would be yeah, snapping those up. Mm. I'd be multi buying. There's only thirty because they'd also be great with the deal of the day. And the white pearls oh, and, yeah, the, look and, and the and the Amazonite. Definitely. They would go with everything, wouldn't it? And they're, they're a lovely size as well. They've got a great size drill hole and they'd look even just as a simple stretchy all together on their own. Looks beautiful, yeah, doesn't it? But yeah. they're just so, from a distance, you don't really notice that they're there. It just looks like there's even more pearls there. Yeah, so absolutely. it's a good way of being cost effective. So, right, we're going to get in a tangle. Usually when you, when you put your thread through the bead, everyone seems to pull it out and it looks beautiful and then they don't get in a knot. When I do it, it's like they have a little jazz moment inside and then I can't get it out <laughs> again. So I'm really not very good with threads. So for me, this is actually really good calm make to make when you sat on the yeah. sofa but it's also physiotherapy okay ah. so I quite often I'm like that all day long around my toys my tools and um, I don't often open my hands up so this is actually quite a good one for that so if your hands get stiff at the end of the day this yeah. is quite a good one to do okay right enough waffle let's see how we go so what I would do is thread your pearls on first mm -hmm. And we've gone in twice, so we've gone up through, added the wire guardian on, and then back through again, and all your pearls are down here. So wire guardian, I've done one knot already, and I've pushed one quartz up to the top. So with these two threads, silk. Okay, I'm going to put both fingers, a little bit like cat's cradle. Yeah. Both fingers through the thread, and I'm gonna hold on to the rest of them with my little finger down here. I'll do it again and again and we'll do it slowly so you see. I'm going to cross that over. Can you see? Yeah. And where this space is, I'm going to pop this through, through the hole. Yeah. And whilst holding on to it, I'm going to, yeah, I'm making this look difficult. Pull nice and tight. See. Okay. That's a new technique, Charlie. I've not seen this technique before. Now, if you want a bigger hole, because you may have pearls or beads or whatever that are bigger, you just simply do it again, or you can wrap over twice. Sorry, guys. So you're going to yeah. cross over. Yeah. Slip it through. Yeah. But I want a bigger knot, so I'm going to go through again. Oh, okay. I see. And I'm going to pull this bottom thread nice and tight. And you think, okay, yeah, okay, you've got a knot there, but it's not that beautiful, let's say. But when you add in your next stone or pearl, once you've bumped it up and they've had a little tender nudge together, <laughs> it actually makes quite a neat and tidy knot. Can you see that? Yes. So we'll do it again. So we've got two knots on there and we've got a lovely big knot. We'll do a small one this time, just the one. So if all your pearls are at the bottom or your gemstones or what have you. Let's tighten up that. And you're going to go in between these two threads and hold on to it with your little finger underneath. Stretch it open, cross over, through that gap. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're over the top, one second. And then pull, <laughs> she says, one second and pull it up to the top. Now, did you notice that I've dropped that? It's, it was an absolute nightmare, but I didn't lose my knot. It nope. didn't knot halfway down the thread and it's nope. nice and tight up to the next one. So there's no um, gap, yeah. no, no baggy spacing or anything. So that's, yeah, the, the knot's okay, but it needs a little bit of a budge, a bit of a hug and a kiss, a Christmas cuddle, give it a little pull and you make this perfect little seamless knot. Now what it's doing is it's knotting one side, but then when you come to bunch your gemstone up there and you come to knot it, this, they switch sides. So you should end up with equal amounts of thread. You won't okay. have one side longer than the other. Should we try and do that again? And I'll yes. try and do it with no waffle. I'll yes, tell you please what, do. <laughs> let's, let's do the next project and then we'll go back to this. Cause I'm, I'm gonna really, I wanna try this technique. Good. Now, firstly, essential findings. Mm -hmm. So you get, this is great, Charlie. So you get your toggles, 
And you get your little wire guardians. Can you see them there? No, sorry, not wire guardians. They're clots. Yeah. Can you see? They look like little clamshells. And you get some jump rings. All in that can, that, that box. Yeah, it's a cute so little get, box, isn't it? It is. <laughs> you get that. Here's your nude silk. Yeah, I love that. As you can Absolutely see. Absolutely love that. It's lovely, really complimentary yeah. of all your, um, and six, I think it's one of the most popular silks. So it's a great size. Yeah, which is all pre-threaded as well um, on natural silk. So you get those two components. Then I've also got some gorgeous pearls. Oh, these are lovely. Definitely got a, a blue overtone, they these. They have, haven't they? Definite yeah. blueness to them. Now I've got 50 available opportunities. I love that shape. Um, whilst they don't win awards for the most romantic description, a potato pearl is one of those, I think, heartwarming shapes. It's kind of like a, um, a round, but just a little bit squashed. It's easy on the eye. Yeah, yeah, they are. And again, it goes back to what we were saying about the block pearl. Not having that perfect spherical shape actually showcases that they are a genuine pearl, not mm -hmm. a faux, not a simulant. Um, so pure white, classic white pearls. Do you want to see it up at the next? Oh, look at those. Um, see that blue overtone jewellery makers? So yes, they're white, but can you see that blue? Because with pearls, we talk about an overtone and an undertone. So you've definitely got a blue overtone, which really uh, um, adds to the rarity. Classic white pearls. I've got 50, 50 available. And you get Charlie's instructions, by the way. We don't often see this shape of pearl, do we? We're actually more, co it's more common for us to bring you rounds or baroques don't often see this shape first price crash oh okay that surprised me there's 50 available they're not small either no no do you have the men oh that's lovely charlie thank you do we have the measurements of these because they they look pretty sizable Nine to ten mil. I think they're bigger than that. I think we've definitely underpromised and they're definitely going to over deliver on this one. Um, we're at one four nine as a starting point, jewelry makers. Who hands up if you're a pearl lover? Oh, that's amazing too. That's what you get the instructions for. Hands up if you're a pearl lover. Who wants a um, pearl mega deal? Because I already know that we're going to a mega deal by the fact that Ross has just started at under hundred and fifty pounds. That's unheard of. Ross, they're not small. And you've got your three-way split pay. In 10 seconds, jewelry makers, I've got 50, which might sound like masses, it's not. But we're really fortunate here at Jewelry Makers to be able to bring you pearls. The reality is, and Mark has, you know, guest designer Mark messaged in earlier on, he saw in the, in the jewelers local to him, um, little signs in the window saying, um, pearls are no longer uh, not no longer available because of supply issues. Oh, We're at ninety nine pounds and ninety nine pence. We're seeing the impact, jewelry makers. Um, we're lucky that thankfully we kind of predicted what, what what's going on right now. Granted, we weren't predicting quite so uh, to the extent the global popularity of pearls, the fashion trend. Um, but we did predict the supply dramatically reducing. Yeah. So we knew that was going to be the case. So we bought big and. I'm just going to say it. Gemporia as a partnership has got millions of pounds worth in the bank. So they can. They can buy big. Um, at the moment now, we've got a stockpile of pearls, but that's pretty much it. It's pretty much irreplaceable. Yeah. Um, so what we've got, what we've got, and you are getting those amazing prices. Um, we can't... They're natural. So these aren't even bleached. They're natural silver, so therefore metallic. Sorry, Ross is literally just looking on our on, on on the system. Onto the certificate. These are when do you see white pearls that are natural? Normally they are bleached, and that's fine. These are natural silver pearls. They, that's yeah. the blue that's the blue well they should be called metallic then, really. These are natural silver metallic pearls. Well, yeah, that's why we see such a prominence of blue. Ross is saying, believe it or not, Elle, we were given a prize and this wasn't it. I, we don't believe that the lovely folk upstairs have actually realised that these are natural silver. And we're going to still honour that price tag. A minute clock, because we are going again. It's This is ridiculous, Roscoe. 
If, if I was to sit here at 10 o'clock in the morning, good point, Adam. If yeah. I was to sit here at 10 o'clock in the morning, this was a deal of the day, and I was to talk to you about the rarity of natural pearls, I was to talk to you about the rarity of metallic pearls, I was to talk to you about the fact that when have we ever actually seen white pearls or silver pearls which haven't actually undergone some kind of uh, dyeing process. These are natural. Uh, we've got 50 available. They wouldn't be at 99.99, I can say that for certain. Charlie, I don't think you, all your Christmases have come at once with these have projects. They? I wouldn't have thought they would be a project. They should be a standalone product, shouldn't they? So I was actually really surprised that they were given to me as a project. The well, calibers. you deserve them firstly. Oh, and can I also you. just say, at these prices, if your budget mm -hmm. allows, treat yourself to both. Mm -hmm. Treat yourself to both. How amazing would that be? If this is going lower than 99.99, I have to tell you, these went way lower than I was expecting them to. So if your budget allows, treat yourself to both. You're, yeah, yeah, you're getting both projects for less, that's, oh my goodness me, that's amazing. Both of these strands should have been significantly more those white, well, these silver, natural silver pearls should be three figures. And I'm talking like, what do you reckon? 299 here at Jewelry Maker, if not more? No, probably more, because they're not, they're not bleached. Especially with the changes in the market, the demand, I would have sat and witted on as I do. No. Getting <laughs> all excited about the fact they're naturally metallic, the fact that I've never seen natural, natural pearls. The phone lines have absolutely lit up. I don't think any of us were expecting 69.99. You can get both projects for what? 270. You are, you are so right, Ross. We don't even bring natural purple pearls for that price. This one here, 299, at lowest. But remember that these are the biggest that we've ever done. Edison pearls, 299, that's epic. These are natural silver pearls, 69.99. That's a joke. It's, we're not joking, it is serious, but like that is a ridiculous price. <laughs> what on earth are we doing? What? <laughs> Do you know what I mean though? The guys in the gallery are teasing me now, but it, it, it does sound like a joke price, doesn't it? No, not really. They're not 69 dollars <laughs> like don't be so silly. They're not really that price. No, no, they should be 269. Well, they should be. We don't crash up jewelry makers. They are natural silver cultured pills and they're nine to 10 mil, which I think that we've underestimated as well. Charlie. I just, I don't know what Who's the say. joke here? <laughs> just... Us. That's unbelievable. You can get both projects of Charlie's projects for less than what we should be paying for one, any one of those strands, whichever one you look at. Oh yeah, and you can make them go a, a long way. I mean, what's the five pieces of jewelry? I've still got a few left at home as well. So it's just, they go a really long way. And if you took out the clear quartz and saved that for something else and popped in one of your silvery white pearls in there, mm. it just amplifies what you're offering, doesn't it? It's look at the split just, I know, it's silly. 23 it's, quid? Yeah. Oh, no, 23 pounds on split pay and uh, charlie I can, can i just show knots. your earrings here we've got we'll go back look can i show charlie's earrings because they're absolutely beautiful charlie i love that idea they're more me definitely more me i think with a little bit of pizzazz going on oh, but not everybody's for fuss but no i like those a lot they're yeah. absolutely amazing and they're a good size aren't they those pearls they just can i just say those earrings should be what you oh, what price what price l how much per pearl well, of the white or the purple? Let's do the white. I'll count them, Vera, for you. How much did you sell those earrings for? Me? Oh, definitely over 200, without a doubt. Hang on. Two, I'm four, six, I'm eight, a bit, I'm ten, a bit sad. 12, I'd have to get my little 16, um, 18, spreadsheet 20, out. 22, <laughs> uh, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, oh, yeah. 42, 44, Vera. Yeah, so 69 pounds, 99 pence divided by 44. How much? One pound 60 per natural silver pearl. Woohoo! <laughs> <Okay. laughs> That's what I feel as well, <laughs> Sharon. Amazing pearl paradise. Oh, oh well my done. goodness. Gorgeous, well done, gorgeous, guys. gorgeous. Got mine, says June. 
Oh my goodness me. What pop to Stratford? Look, the white one's 480 yeah. quid. Seriously? Great. No oh, thanks, Jan. <laughs> Great knotting technique and clear demos. Oh, that's our gorgeous Jan. See, that's 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 a compliment. Thank you very much. That oh, is, Jan's is... our knotting queen. Yeah, isn't well, that's she? what I mean. This is not my thing. So when they gave me, it, I thought, oh, I'm starting sweating. So if you to say that, thank you. Oh, bless you. Now, you. sorry, what's that? Quantity remaining on this project, fourteen. I can see. We will go back to your demo. I promise. So. That's fine. Marie, Devon, Julie, Barbara, Maker, Anne, Jay, Barbara, Leslie, Angus, Linda, Carolyn. You need to be checking out your baskets. If you haven't yet dialed through and you're thinking, oh yeah, I might get this kit, do it now. Do See, it now. Faulty um, sounds like a lot, but it's not, is no, it? No, no, it's not, not, not at all. World. Especially that giveaway it's price. It is a giveaway price as well. All right, let's see it again. Yeah, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have a try this. Okay, so pills are on the bottom. And you've got two, you're on, you're on two strands. So you've gone through your, your stones or your pearls twice. You're going to hold the body. Hold the body. Down here in those two fingers. I get that this isn't going to be for everyone. Not everyone's got the dexterity to do this, but I am no good pulling reams and reams of threads through one hole because it just ends up with a big ball mess. Yeah. So fingers through the hole over the top and you're going to open it up. And where you open it, you're going to cross over your thumb thread and there's a hole here. You're going to loop through this one. Yeah. And then you're going to hold on to it and pull that thread nice and tight. Okay, and you've got your pretty little knot there, but it's not quite perfect. But once you slide your gemstone up, it'll pull it nice and taut and it'll be nice and straight. Ah. So we'll do that one more time. I love it. Uh, do you know, I also find pearl knotting really therapeutic. I do until I get in a knot and then I find it really stressful and I don't ever want to see it ever again. Well, I think, <laughs> I think that's why, Charlie, I'm liking this technique because actually I, I'm the same. I knot it if I'm holding, if I'm trying to get the silk through. Yeah. Whereas if I'm trying to put the gemstones through, I mm. feel like I'd be a bit more controlled. Yeah, there's more body to it. Yeah. And it, it seems like I'm making it look really cack handed, but yeah. honestly, it's really simple. And when you've got mo when you've got a longer, so you've done a necklace and it's even longer, it's actually even easier to pull them through because you've got the weight. So they just go whoop yeah. and they come straight out. So it's really straightforward. So we'll do another one through the top and open that strand out. We're going to cross over. We're going to make a little cat's cradle. Come through the hole. Pull it through. And then you're going to pull it tight. And it is just the one, you're just pulling one thread, that bottom thread, and pulling it nice and tight. Lay it out, draw up your bead or your pearl. Give them a little hug and a kiss, and they sit lovely I and like that. neatly. I, I will literally little be saying that. <laughs> hug and a kiss. Hug and a kiss. And we're all good. And you're good to go again. I'm good to go again. Each Should we pearl, do a big one? Each pearl gets a hug and a kiss. Each, each pearl gets a hug and a and kiss. And what if your silk is maybe a little bit finer? I guess your new that that double knot technique yeah, yeah. would bulk it up mm -hmm. even more, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, and you can do that as many times as you like, and they tend to wrap over each other, so it'll get bigger, but it'll still stay neat rather than looking like a big scramble ball of thread. Yeah. You know, it'll actually be a this and a that and a this and a that. So it's actually quite uniform when you look at it really closely. But I just find it really easy and it's quite nice for my hands to stretch them out and open yeah. them because I don't do that often. Because normally you like this. Yeah, oh, everything, everything I do, <laughs> clenched fist. <laughs> Kids, dogs. <laughs> <laughs> machinery as well. All machinery, love a bit of machinery. Oh, Charlie, that was wonderful. Now let's, uh, re let's introduce the purple pearls. Um, because we only had a limited quantity of these as well, jewellery makers. These are, we can confirm, the largest natural purple Edison pearls that we've ever brought to air. Um, and I apologise for not sort of introducing it with that statement. These go up to 13 millimetre. Um, they are not bleached, they are not dyed. Purple pearls are rare because um, the actual mollusk is rare. They're actually a hybridised uh, oyster um, that, yeah, our oh, little oyster, meet this little oyster, and hopefully they get along. It's like flowers, isn't it? Basically, yes. Yeah, so yeah. why not? So, um, and it's that introduction, basically, that has introduced purple pearls. That's why, if you look historically, they didn't have purple pearls. Right, okay. Um, historically, so they're very, very, very rare. Now, we had 
Did you say 40? We've got nine, nine of them left. left now. So that, oh. I have to say, back to back, those are one, some of the best pearl deals we've ever done. Mm -hmm. yeah. you could, you're getting two. Yeah. One, one Edison, one naturally metallic silver pearl um, for the price of one. I think it's a buy one, get one free price tag, basically. Well done, everybody. Now, uh, make sure you're checking out your baskets. We've still got so much to bring you, jewelry makers. Um, we've got the deal of the day, which is on the horizon. Here, Lauren. Don't forget those. Um, there we go. Um, your deal of the day is on the horizon. Your amazing Amazonite night is on the horizon. But first, oh, I need these. We all need these, don't we? Oh, they're as rare as hens to Yeah, please. yeah. We're talking about your wire guardians. If I tip them out, because you've got 50. Oh, that's great. Oh, how quickly are these going to sell out? They were 450. And now oh. there's 61. Okay, so you do need to be quick checking these out. A wire guardian basically looks like a little pair of earphones, effectively. Yeah, you saw Charlie show it, um, show the technique earlier on. You feed your silk through one side, follow the gully, because there's a little gully right up here, um, and down the other side, and it prevents your silk fraying, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very important. Um, but also, I think it gives it that polished look effectively doesn't it i'm just going to pop this down for one second because i can actually show you one on charlie's piece of jewelry perfectly so can you see um the wire guardians will sit alongside the jump ring or your uh, clasp in this case and if you didn't have the wire guardians yet, uh, there that silk eventually would probably fray yeah definitely. um because it could rub against the metal if you're putting it on closed jump rings it definitely mm -hmm. would fray yeah and not last very long so they do protect they add longevity to your jewelry i think they give you they give it that polished look um now you also get three different sizes as well jewelry makers oh. so you're looking at um 1.1 millimeter uh, 0.5 millimeter and 0.8 uh, millimeter Bam. so you get 20 of the 0.8 20 of the 0.5 and 10 of the 1.1 1 .1. that's great you don't get mixed sizes anywhere else do you? you'd have to buy no. individual packs yeah and sometimes you know if you're working with like say the seed pearls you're going to be using the smaller wire yeah, gardens, yeah, aren't you? and so on that's a pound each that is one pound per sterling silver wire guardian they do make such a difference to your jewelry design. How about, you can also crimp those, by the way, if you want to, you can actually crimp, crimp yeah. them down. Um, I don't know, I've got to be honest, I leave them as they are, I think they look quite nice as they are. We had 450 of them, we've halved that price. Pack of 50, how about under 20 quid? And I tell you, that we're gonna put another purple clock on your screens. Stock up your stashes, mm. getting you all ready for our amazing deal of the day. It's a deal of the day and it's also um, close out deals, jewelry makers on your wonderful gemstone seller night. Um, we need wire guardians, jewelry makers. I know that prior to the introduction of wire guardians, which happened, what, a few years ago? Mm -hmm. Quite a few years ago. Um, we used to just basically put the, the silk or the beading thread directly onto a jump ring and that's yep. fine. However, that piece of jewelry won't last as long. Mm. Mm -hmm. it Especially won't. with these finer threads. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know, you think about silk yeah. uh, um, rubbing against metal. It's very fragile. Yeah, material, it, it yeah. will basically fray and break. So um, the alternative to a wire garden is a uh, French wire, but I actually find French wire really difficult to use personally. Um, I prefer a wire garden, but it's all, you know, like I said, personal choice. Um, we're going even lower, jewelry makers. We have 61 available. That's it from the 450 that we started with. Stock up your stashes because we've got a pack of 50 and you get the three different sizes. Renfusia, Gillian, Natalie, well done. Get three janet cheryl uh hertfordshire janet kent angus 17.99 36p oh. per wire guardian and i don't know about you if i've spent all that time knotting yeah i don't want to potentially have to do it again in yeah. however long no you don't you don't want a boomerang piece of jewelry no no not. no you it's oh if you're gifting or you're making to oh yeah that's, to sell yeah you'd be disappointed, wouldn't you? Yeah. If it came back to you quite quickly because you've not used a wire garden, because the thread has worn, yeah, you'd yeah. be devastated. You would. It really does add 
longevity to your piece of jewelry and also safety you know mm -hmm. last thing you want is maybe you know you're wearing a piece of jewelry the thread is actually frayed and come loose and then you lose the necklace yeah that's you it know, when yeah. we're talking about pearls of this quality then i think they absolutely justify that 17.99 for a pack of 50 hello to you ron hello to in kent getting two uh catherine in staffordshire surrey maker in devon patricia aloma mary in nottinghamshire getting two uh buckinghamshire's there yvonne and elaine and Maureen. make sure you check it out everybody absolutely beautiful projects amazing deals there it goes hey, 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 hey. it goes back to what we were saying this morning ross the legendary prices <laughs> <laughs> the legend that is Ross is like I get called it quite frequently and there is more than that of that to come do not go anywhere because you have got wonderful selenite coming up but not just any selenite the lowest prices that we've ever seen um, and just before that your fabulous creations in the wall of fame <laughs> Let's have a little dance. I don't want it. Why not? <laughs> Who doesn't want to dance in the middle of the morning? Why not? Why not? It's Friday. It is. Fr oh, yes, it's Friday. And we're offering. Take it away. That's all Take right. it away, our okay. Carly. So I have number 642, Josephine Green. My offering this week is an autumnal, uh, autumnal study polymer clay leaves with spacer beads. Have I said that right? Auto autumnal, autumnal study? Autumnal study. Is that right? Yes. Po and they're made with polymer clay. Yeah. That's incredible. To wander around your garden is so inspirational. Ah, now I get you. More polymer clay, polymer clay please. I think that's fine, Oh, I'd love that. I'd love that, Josephine. And isn't that perfect for this time of year? Yeah. The Older. conkers are out. Has anyone oh, noticed? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Conkers are out. You don't. <laughs> Ross is excited. <laughs> Conkers are great. Why are Conkers so excited? Why is it such a child? I don't know, but thing? you're not allowed to play with them anymore, are you? Why? Because of the injuries you get. Oh, at what school? in school? Yeah, oh, not. Okay. No. I was going to say, don't do this to me, blank. Charlie. I can <laughs> I can gather Conkers if I want to. Oh, well, where did you get them? Of course, you can fill those bags up. No, I never really did play the game, but I do like to put Conkers in a bowl. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Because <laughs> I like to smash them. Do you? Yeah, okay, old enough. school. Old, old school. school. <laughs> love it, love it. Um, number six hundred and four. Um, again, a very autumnal colour palette. This is from Deborah Davis. Hello, Deborah. Um, here with this week's offering to the Wall of Fame. Oh, that's very it's lovely, eloquently that, isn't put. It? Yeah. Uh, Nan Hong Agate on um, a jewellery set. All components are from Jewellery Maker. Good luck to all waffers, she says. Uh, Deborah, you are number 641. Beautiful. Fabulous. So I have fabulous Lovely. piece. I remember these connectors. They were beautiful. I have 644 Joe Hall. Morning, everybody. Loving the range of glass beads you're showing. Here's some of them using your wire and findings. Very Loving that. that. See, now that in, in contrast, I'd say that's lovely and summery. Yeah, it is. Yeah, when it you is. want to get a bit of summer like back Like a transitional into. piece. Yeah. Love yeah. that. Um, again, I've got an amazing piece of jewellery here from Jackie. Jackie, your number 643. Uh, good morning, jewellery maker. Not had Amazonite before. I get lots of nice moments uh, um, at the craft fairs, so I'm going to look out for more. Well, funny you should say that, Jackie. Liking the shows very much and the good deals. Funny you should say that, Jackie. Jackie, we've got the most incredible Amazonite on today. So um, you've, if you're watching right now, you've tuned in at the right time. So the most incredible Mozambique Amazonite. So you can make plenty of those. Good luck, Jackie, your number 643. It's a lovely piece. Okay, so I have Anna Winter, number 646. Hi, lovely team. I've been busy making some new designs for a craft fair in Crete this Saturday, where she lives is stunning. Oh, oh envious. Oh. And she's got loads of cats too, so we love oh. her. Uh, this set are copper discs that I cut using the round disc cutter, then stamped. You'll see it's catch related. Oh, there we go. Uh, all products from JM, I hope they sell. Good luck to all of you. 
Good luck to you. Beautiful. Yeah. Isn't that cute? That's I, amazing. I imagine it makes a nice sound. Yeah. And you could do a little tinkle as you're and wearing. I want to live in Crete. Yeah, me too. It's it's raining cats and dogs Literally. here today. Oh, yeah. You get, it's where you step out the door and you've got this much of you showing. Yeah. Because it's raining that much. <laughs> and you pull that face. And you step out the car and you're instantly wet. Yeah, instantly. Big puddle. Instantly. Always. Uh, last but by no means least. Oh, what well, I tell you what. Um, this is reminding me of the early bird. Um, Vera Barini. Wow, Vera. You are number 645. And she says, morning. I found this absolutely fabulous Labradorite gemstone. I like that. You just found it. Just there. You just, just, you just found, to be there. Just found this amazing gemstone. Um, was so easy to create with this wire wrapped pendant. The colour of the stone um, enhanced the gold wire perfectly. I've started to create more gold items as gold seems to be trending. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. I agree with you, Vera. Um, after a few years of uh, rose gold popularity. But silver is, uh, silver is still top for a lot of people. Good luck to all other entrants. Well, that's absolutely incredible, Vera. That You're all super. Super, super talented. Make sure you get your entries into the Wall of Fame. A, because we love to show them and we love to see your wonderful creations. You inspire us. Um, it's, yeah, I'd say it's, you know, it's our favourite part of the show. Um, and it's very super, 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 in, uh, I can't talk. Sorry. Neither can I, so that's all right, that's two of them. Super simple to enter. Um, I'll show you how. Every week, send your entries into studio at jewelrymaker.com. If you do that by Tuesday at 12 o'clock, you will be entered in the following Wednesday's draw. Um, and by the way, not just on Tuesday, you can do it all days of the week. Um, but that's the cutoff. If you miss that cutoff point, then obviously you go into the following week's draw. So studio at jewelrymaker.com. So we can actually show your entries on air. Drop us a little message on the reverse as well. Tell us who you are, um, maybe where your inspiration came from as well. Um, and we can obviously show it on live TV. Now, we don't just do it for nothing because also we like to make you a little bit jewelry maker richer so the winner which is announced every week in a good old-fashioned tombola oh yeah we love that oh we love that we love what does that. the winner get charlie 100 pounds credited to their account 100 pounds i know that's a whopping amount isn't that's it? that's a good amount you can make yeah. it you can make a few gemstone pieces oh, with yeah. that can't you what about the runner-up £50 credit. And we do that every single week without fail, jewellery makers, at 10 o'clock. Also, just a little heads up, there might be a little bit of an announcement, just a little addition, just a little addition, a little something to encourage you to get involved, um, to send your entries into the studio. Um, I'm not going to say anything else, but let's just say we're making the Wall of Fame better, oh. bigger. Bigger, bigger and better is better, always oh, a good thing. I know, exactly. Um, so send just your, your entries in, jewelry makers. We would absolutely love to see um, your fabulous creations. Now, we have got so much more to bring you today. The most unbelievable, one of your all time favourites, actually, uh, Deal of the Days. I'm talking about the serene, the tranquil, the angelic, at prices, by the way, that we have not seen previously before. Exactly the wonderful gemstone that my husband actually i showed him a photo last night when i was prepping for the show and he was like that can't be real i say i sure i i assure you it is it's totally and utterly natural and even went down to the gemstone formation he was like okay a simple yes would have done okay. um but the beautiful <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful serenite like, like ross just said in my ear at prices that you would not believe so do not miss out jewelry makers remember also we've got the incredible mozambique amazonite coming your way the two together will just be absolutely yeah. gorgeous it's coming up after this do you have a stunning piece of jewellery you've crafted? Share your masterpiece with us and you might just see your design featured on the Wall of Fame. Every week, the most dazzling entry will win £100 credit to their account, with £50 credit going to the runner-up. To enter, simply send your entries to studio at jewellerymaker.com by Tuesday at 12pm in time for the Wednesday draw. Snap a pic, send it in and let your brilliance light up our wall of fame. And who knows, your creation could be the next to sparkle and win.
Welcome back, jewellery makers. Oh, are you all ready for what is going to be a frenzy? This hour is 100% going to be a frenzy. And I actually remember the first time that we actually introduced selenite in strands. You know, it, it, it was a gem. So we, well, let's just say we really ever saw it, firstly. And if you think back, Alex, um, uh, the mineral man that used to join us on back in our immediate days, um, he used to bring free forms of selenite and sometimes you could put like a, a light source underneath it and it literally glows. They oh. are almost otherworldly and it's, it's, actually, it's an amazing natural genuine gemstone. And as I mentioned earlier before, I do understand when somebody that's maybe new to the gemstone world that looks at selenite for the first time to think that's that's not natural, that's not real. Um, like my husband did last yeah. night. I was like, no, 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 it, it, it is. It's a natural, genuine gemstone. It, for, it forms, um, well, I'll explain to you in a second. And I literally had to read this out to me. It was like, okay, simple yes would have been fine. But, but Zara, well, you opened those floodgates, <laughs> yeah. didn't you? You, you, invited, you invited that conversation by questioning. Um, but selenite is steeped in history. It's certainly not a new gemstone um, to the jewellery world. It dates back literally thousands upon thousands of years. So um, I want to, we'll talk about this. And then I, I but just before I do, I want to mention this is a selenite unlike any other selenite showcase that you've seen here at Jewellery Maker. And what I mean by that is today we have the biggest quantities that we think we've ever had in selenite. Um, the bigger the quantity, the lower the price. Yeah, you know it. So these are, this is not just a deal of the day. This is, these are rock bottom or uh, let's, I almost don't want to call them close out, but they are almost close out prices. The lowest prices that we've ever seen um, because of the quantity. So we've never had selenite quantities like this. By the way, if you if you prefer, whilst I'm talking and you want to guarantee your place, mm. the pre-orders are open. So you can absolutely go onto the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, um, or speak to our call center, whichever way you find uh, um, you prefer to shop and you can shop ahead and pre-order your prices. I will personally guarantee these are some of the best prices that you probably will ever see on Selenite. And it is down to the fact that we've got purchased the biggest quantities yet. So do I do encourage you shopping ahead. So we've got all the, all, all the um, rounds, your classic rounds in, in all your favorite sizes. Now, what is Selenite as a gemstone? Well, like I said, it dates back thousands of years. Selenite is a specific variety of the mineral gypsum, named after the ancient Greek goddess of the moon Selene. Uh, the Greeks especially appreciated the beauty of selenite, even making windows with the stone. The gemstone received its official name from J.G. Wallerius in 1747 when he wrote that book. Um, gypsum as a general material, um, please understand that this is uh, um, the material rather than the gemstone. Yeah. So has been valued since as far back as the Egyptians um, when it was used for decorative purposes. One unique use of selenite is in the Santa Sabrina church in Rome. The large arched windows built in the fifth century are actually made of uh, sheets of selenite, not glass. Um, after amounts of gypsum were found near Paris, uh, Paris, uh, a material known as plaster of Paris was created. Plaster of Paris is gypsum that has been chemically altered to extract water from within. It's also said that French farmers use raw gypsum as a soil additive because mm -hmm. gypsum um, is basically parched. It's one of those gemstones that's completely parched, hence plaster of Paris. So that's why they've named it almost after the actual gem itself. Um, but reading on. Here is that beautiful church that we were just describing in Rome, <clears throat> built in the fifth century. Um, those wonderful arch windows are not glass like you would normally see. And you can really, it comes to oh. light when you look at the inside. Um, it glows a beautiful blue. And that is because they are, they are literally selenite windows. So how amazing is oh. that? I mean, what an ethereal look to a, to a church. Um, but yeah, that's how it used to be, uh, used to be actually incorporated historically. Um, the metaphysical side of this gemstone, it has 
huge significance. Well, the gemstone selenite is most closely associated with the crown chakra, which represents wisdom and spirituality, as well as the third eye chakra. The colorless beauty and translucency of selenite is often attributed to purity and peace in both metaphysical beliefs and also in color theory. Selenite is excellent to use when meditating or trying to achieve mental clarity, as it is believed to compel the person holding it to be honest with themselves. So apparently, this is a gemstone that if you speak to any of our uh, um, jewelers that are really, uh, or designers that are really passionate about mm. the metaphysical side, certainly the likes of Debs, um, they really believe in this gemstone. Um, but also, I want to quite tell you a quick story that I had some years ago, actually. It was with Gemma, Gemma Crow, and she was saying that her son was studying during school, and she was like, I'm really, I'm really he said, I'm really struggling to concentrate. And Gemma said, you know, put, put a piece of selenite on your desk, because that will help you focus. Right. And after that, he said, you know, mental settled clarity. And yeah, settled, wow. and he could really focus on what he was huh. doing. So a lot of people really do believe in this gemstone. But words that are associated to selenite, words like, and I love this slide, serenity, purification, peace, meditation, universal consciousness, mm. clarity of thought, purity of heart, universal love, integrity, spirituality, psychic development, forgiveness, and positive thoughts. You know, they're all wonderful words, yeah. aren't they? And yeah. wonderful meanings behind them that you immediately recognize when you look at selenite. Yeah. You know, isn't it funny? One pure white gemstone can actually have such, conjure up such emotions. And I think selenite is exactly that. Now, this is the photograph that my husband didn't believe. He was like, that's not real. <laughs> I was like, yes, it is. It's not. They've CGI'd that. And I was going, no, that literally, that is a real photograph. A real photograph. Those are vast underground caves where selenite literally grew at. And granted, this is not the norm. Selenite does not normally grow, uh, um, sort of form in such scale. But yeah, this does exist. The little orange dots, by the way, are people. It's like journey to the center of the earth, isn't it? I know, that's, it's amazing. Yeah, I can see why your husband didn't believe the He picture. didn't believe me. He was yeah. like, that's not real. I was like, it is real. 100% it is real. Uh, moving forward, they say, and I, this is very pretty, that with a coloring as pale as the flutter of angel wings, the selenite stone is awash in otherworldly wonder. Instantly soothing, selenite has a long history of being a beloved goddess stone and is said to bring protection, harmony and soul healing to your body, mind and home. Selenite is said to be a crystallized form of gypsum. It comes from hydrous calcium sulfate and is a soft stone that seems almost malleable in nature. More feather than rock. As one of the soft, softer stones, it can be a wonderful and vivid reminder that we should move through this world with a sense of gentleness and that we should bring sacred space to our practices. Isn't that a lovely, lovely write-up? Yeah. Definitely. Again, there's those emotions that are conjured up. Selene, the goddess of the moon powers. Selene is the titan goddess of Greek mythology. mythology, And this is who Selenite is literally consequently named after. Selene is the daughter of titans. I can't quite read that from there. Sorry, it's a bit too far away. Um, is that... Oh, thank you. Here oh. you are. Um, of titans. Is that Hyperion and Thea, her brother Helios is the god of the sun and her sister Eos is the goddess of the dawn. Uh, during the night, Selene would drive her chariot with the moon across the sky. As the night was ending and the day was beginning, Eos would make his, her appearance sorry, in the sky as the goddess of the dawn. And, and there you can see the power of Selene uh, in her chariot. So this is literally the goddess that this, ooh, that this gemstone is uh, named after. It's fascinating. And like I said, it's steeped in history. But when you think about different gemstones, which are often named after different uh, sort of histories, beliefs, individuals. Um, this one is probably, the, has one of the longest histories that stretches back. We'll read on. Selene uh, was worshipped in uh, Greek mythology because of her ability to pull the moon across the sky with her chariot to provide a bright light. 
in the otherwise dark sky. Selene was considered the all-seeing eye of the night because the moon would always be visible in the night sky and no one could run from it. Selene also had the power to give sleep to mortals by allowing them to have a period of the day with no sun. Selene represents constant change. As the moon would go through different phases each month, Selene uh, personified life's constant changes. And all of that is captured in this beautiful gemstone. Now, jewelry makers, this is going to be a selenite showcase unlike any other. And what I mean by that is not necessarily that they're different cuts or they're colors or shapes or anything like that. To be honest, selenite is going to always be one of those gemstones that you see in a traditional round cut because it's very challenging to actually mm. cut this gemstone because um, it has a certain gentleness to it, I guess, a, a fragility that we need to nurture in the same way that we would actually do with your fluorites, for example. So rounds are going to be the traditional cut, but it's going to be a different showcase because of the volumes that we are launching today. Now already people are shopping ahead on pre-order. It's quite simple. We're going to start with the eight mil and they're full length strands. Then we're going to go to the six and then we're going to go to the four. We have the biggest quantity that we've ever had of selenite. I remember us launching selenite strands and they were that long. Do you remember that? They were like 20, 25 centimeters. You have full 38 centimeter strands. Look at that white, even from distances away. That is totally natural. If I hold it up to the neckline, it's a nice lightweight stone as well. So for those of you that are mindful of the weight of your pieces, selenite is, yeah. Because it has, it, like I said, there's absolutely no water content to this gemstone. That's totally natural mesmerically beautiful and as the goddess Selene literally moved across the night sky you see that chatoyancy internally are you ready because this auction is now live we are going to bring you historically the lowest prices on this beautiful gemstone and literally repeatedly time after time whenever it comes to air it sells out super super fast there are very few natural pure white gemstones out there aren't there mm. you know yeah, very few very 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 few mm. we've seen what sorry we've seen what's happened with projects in selenite how popular it is and um, because the colors that we've now started introducing um today that is not happening we have what, what we're not bringing you what sorry oh that's we're not matching what is a usual great price for for the colored selenites and the different varieties we've brought you three strands of selenite in projects and they've been three figures and listen they're not bad prices don't get me wrong today we are literally breaking the mold please understand though moving forward that this is not the price that we can normally buy selenite for it is down to the fact that this parcel we got a big quantity we are starting at 49.99 and i can tell you two years ago when we launched selenite they were here they stopped here yeah absolutely ross is saying i don't remember anything going lower than this next price Please know that moving, I agree. I agree, Ross, 29.99 was complete rock bottom, wasn't it? So these are one-off prices. So listen, if anybody comes back to us, if and when we bring you selenite again, which we will, we won't have this quantity and we won't be doing these prices. So please know that it's a one-off showcase. That's why we've said this is deal of the day, but also close out. It's a bit of a contradiction of terms. However, you get, catch the gist. It's basically down to the fact that we got the biggest quantities that we ever had, but I need to make it absolutely crystal clear that these are one-off opportunity prices. We start, yeah, we did. We had like 50 of each, I remember. I remember that, Roscoe. 200 is massive in selenite. Oh my goodness me. Selene falls it on. Oh, this is everything about this gemstone. The stories behind this gemstone. Take advantage of these deals like so many already have multi buying. Eight millimeter, the largest we've got. And starting the showcase with an under £20 price tag. If you are more than happy 
at that price tag. Yeah, def. Oh, the phone lines have gone crazy, haven't they? Oh yeah, it would be amazing with a torch. Selenite, because look, look. If you think about, if you think about, um, we used to put tea lights underneath it, didn't we? Looks incredible. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. It glows, doesn't it? It's magical. You can see that, if I move my hand back and forth, you can see that cat's eye that occurs totally and utterly naturally. We all know that this is not a 1999 no. gemstone. If I had 50, we wouldn't be closing here. Would have been at least 29.99, maybe even more. Um, good luck to each and every single one of you. The phone lines, the web have gone crazy. Lots of people stocking up their stash. I've got 200 available. And for that reason, yeah. lovely jewelry makers and selenite lovers, we go lower. <laughs> like I said, this is not a usual selenite show. Oh my goodness me. Oh. Make hay while the sun shines, though, because Selenite, moving forward, would not be anywhere near the price that's on your screens. Mm -hmm. We bring you the best deals we do. Mm -hmm. Selenite is not an inexpensive gemstone, and also it's very difficult to buy big yeah. quantities. This is a one-time deal. So if you want to get, if you want to get multiples, crack on. Absolutely. Today is the day to do it. And by the way, it's one of those gemstones that looks even better in person. It's 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 yeah. it's one of those gems that I think straight away. Remember, as we were saying, uh, when we launched this opportunity, it conjures up emotions. Mm -hmm. I think, you know what I mean. You get a reaction emotionally, yeah. even if you think, oh, I don't believe in metaphysical side. It will still conjure up an emotion, yeah. and it will complement absolutely everything. Oh, it will go yeah. with your pills. It will go with your amazonite. It's going to go with your labradorite. It's going to go with. I rubies, don't know, strong rubies, colours as well. Everything, yeah. black yeah. spinel, whatever. Ooh. Never mind 1999. Crazy hey. low. It's unheard of for eight millimeter selenites. I remember us having like 25 centimeter strands when we first launched it. Do you remember? Do you remember? You're now getting full 38 centimeter strands. Yeah. We used to bring them like, yeah, little prisms and points. Didn't have it in strands. So I do remember the original launch of the strands and everyone went crazy like you are now. We still absolutely love it. Yeah. But we, like I said, it's normally 50s that we managed to purchase. So it's on and gone. I've got 200 for you today, jewelry makers, but I did. I did. Loads of you getting multiples. Of course, screens have our chocker blocker. Um, hello to Conway, Wiltshire, Anna, Margaret, Deborah, Geraldine, Sharon, Aberdeenshire, Susan, uh, Suzanne, sorry, Ted, June, uh, Northumberland, Angela's getting two, Rita, Joyce. Ross says, do you know how special this is? Yesterday, Ross got offered a deal, uh, offered a deal of the day, a jadeite carving, or selenite, and he went with selenite. I think that was a good choice. I, I'd agree, yeah. Ross. Yeah. Good call. I could have been. I could have been bringing you. I'm going to tell you what is one of the rarest gemstones. Jadeite is one of the world's yeah, rarest yeah. gemstones. But we're mm. more excited about the selenite because of the deal. Because <laughs> the what? Sorry, is me. Ross says, once he heard the prices, he's like, no, no, Jadeite can be on another day. Put that on the shelf. Give me the selenite. Because that's not your price. What? I told you that this was a selenite showcase unlike any other that you have seen and will see. As long as we are crystal clear and know that Moving forward, our selenite is not going to be at these prices because you can't get, we, we struggle to get big quantities. We achieved it on this occasion, jewelry makers. That is why, yeah, Ross literally parked one of the world's rarest gemstones and said, no, 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 no. It was what? 
There was a red jadeite carving, oh. by the way. And he was like, no, 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 give me the selenite, please. And because we knew it was going to go crazy mm. with our call center, and we knew that these prices were completely unbeatable. In 10 seconds, jewelry makers, we go even lower. I wasn't expecting this, I have to say. Look at the magic that you see, that beautiful chantoyancy, that transition of light that occurs naturally. This is not dyed, it's not treated, it's not coated. Um, has what ever happened before? Has selenite ever been under 15 pounds before? For eight mils? No. No. Simple answer. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, selenite does not go to 14.99. I don't think I've brought any strand, any size mm -mm. at 14.99. Mm -mm. Let alone the biggest ones we've got. Ross, it's got a knock on effect. He's like, I'm aware. What are you doing? Cool as a cucumber. Because <laughs> he's a legend. Oh my goodness me. All <laughs> the metaphysical beliefs attached to this gemstones, the emotions and feelings that it conjures up, the beauty that is selenite. Um, and you know, I remember speaking to our colleagues on our sister channel about selenite because they actually don't have it a lot in jewellery. Um, but um, some of the presenters were like, oh, I wish we had that as jewellery. Um, it would absolutely fly and i think it's something that's maybe in the pipeline yeah, for yeah. them but they another challenge that our sister channel will have is that they'll need big quantities mm. um it, it's huge for us to have 200 that being said we've got 238 centimeter strands that could be 38 uh, that could be 200 pieces of jewelry couldn't it oh yeah that's the reality yeah, course, yeah. you've got 38 centimeter strand make sure you check it out especially if you want the big quantities i had 200 how many do we have right now roscoe 84 um. left, but there's 119 in baskets and 45 people on the phone lines, 47, that number's going up. So, no. <laughs> I love this, I love it, because Adam just went, yeah. <laughs> With the clock. One time only. When have we ever, right, a few questions. When have we ever brought you 200 quantity of selenite? Even on the big multicolor projects, we didn't have, we didn't have 200. And the price was three figures. When have we ever taken selenite, eight millimeter selenite, never mind under 15, under 20 pounds? and we go lower. I've still got two strands to go. They are on pre-order, so shop ahead on those. It does have a knock-on effect, jewelry makers. Named after the goddess of the moon, the beautiful Sel uh, uh, Selene. There is a what, 90 second wait on the phone lines, jewelry makers. You can tap the app, you can shop with us on the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. And by the way, as far as I'm aware, there's no cap on quantity, is that right? So if you wanna get, if you wanna get uh, 10 of these, yeah. Crack on. Yeah. Today's the day to do it. You'll never find it more affordable than what's on our screens today. And it is down to the volumes that we've bought. This is how Jewelry Maker does it. We will go direct to the, the, the mine or um, the suppliers where possible. And we will say, okay, we want the best grade. Show us. Um, obviously, we'll quality assess it. How many have you got available of that quantity? Usually, we'll come back with maybe 50. Mm. Okay, we'll have that. Um, and there's a price. If we can buy their entire offering, obviously we've got a little bit of a negotiation. Um, that's how we secure these savings for you. We're not like most jewelers who'll go, we got a great price, so you know, all the more profit. We pass those savings on to you. Just so you know, just to, clear, to be clear, please, please, please know that selenite moving forward is not gonna be 12.99 because I, I've heard it before, people have said, yeah, but back, back in at the end of, uh, end of September, sorry, in 2024, you bought selenite eight millimeter rounds for 12.99. Yeah, we're doing it today because we negotiated that best price point. We're, we're so transparent here at Jewelry Maker and that can sometimes bite us on the bottom. Wow. You know, it's like, well, you did it at this price back then. Yeah, because we bought different quantities. Know that selenite is not a twelve ninety nine gemstone. No. Um, so stock up your stashes whilst you get the opportunity. As so many of you are, look at the call screens. Um, 
we have 30 left. I've got 30 left available. Once they're gone, they're gone, jewelry makers. If you are in the process of checking out your basket, I would get a wriggle on. Um, if you've got a phone in your hand, stay where you are. Make sure you press your option one. Um, our call center are working uh, through the volume of selenite lovers out there. Um, and shop ahead as well on your six mil and your four mil. You know it's gonna be an unbelievable price tag. If the eight mils are 12.99, if you are, Francis, stay where you are. Elizabeth, Lockerbie is that, stay where you are. It's hard because this call screen keeps jumping Yvonne uh, stay where you are Jean check out your basket Maker stay where you are Pauline Debbie check out your basket Maker Lancaster Mary check out your basket Angela stay where you are Teresa check out your basket uh, Anne I can't count see every time see what I mean every time it jumps the, moon, <laughs> the, the names move you know that it's a popular gemstone and um, when the call screen is literally ramo jammo isn't it um, out of 200 <laughs> I've got <tw> I've <laughs> got 20 left meaning 90% of the stock is gone <laughs> I don't know where that came from <laughs> uh, your 6 mils and your 4 mils are coming up shop ahead hold those phone lines Bridget Elaine, April, check out. Anne, Dolores, Francis, um, you are getting answered. Our call centre are amazing. Um, they're earning their crust right now. We've got the final 19 available opportunities. Take advantage of the pre-orders whilst you're there. Um, obviously, you know these aren't closing at £99 and 99 pence. You, your 8 mils, which is the largest size, has gone to 12 99 So, um, epic. And I'm just going to load up the back of my hand if that's okay. Is that all right with yeah, everybody? do it, yeah. Why not at these prices? Yeah. It's the most affordable showcase of selenite we've ever done. Are you ready for the six and the four? Yeah. They are coming up. They're on the horizon, jewelry makers. Well done, those of you that have taken the initiative to jump ahead. More than 50 of each have gone on pre-order. Have we got the same quantities? You betcha. <laughs> 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 I'm excited that's Very. why Adam six mil the auction is live oh seriously there's the six mil again six <laughs> is, an, it, is the new eight yeah four is the new six remember six is the new eight eight is the new ten 10's the new 12, 12's the new 14. You get the idea. Does that mean that two's the new four? Oh, I uh, yeah. Hang on a minute. Look, I'm just, I'm just. Oh, Winter Bride. Yes. Yeah. This was, this was your early bird. Oh. Selenite and Labradorite together. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. One sec. Yeah, I'm do doing it. I'm gonna do, do it. it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Sit yourself down, lads, because this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna sweep you off your feet. Ready? Uh, oh. oh that's your Mo that's your Mozambique amethyst, everyone. Is there anything more beautiful than what's on your screens right now? No. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Are you ready? We need to stagger the auction. Sorry, Adam's really funny this morning. He's entertaining He's really today, funny. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, the call screen's gone crazy. You know that if the eight mils were twelve ninety nine, just saying. Um, we've got two hundred, or rather, we had. Um, shop ahead. I would strongly encourage that. It's going to be busy on the phone lines and the web. Nineteen ninety nine. The only reason we're doing this is we have to stagger the calls. We had all the IT issues, web issues the other day, and I don't want another repeat of that. It's not much fun. I know it's not for you, and it's definitely not much fun for us either here in the studio. <laughs> it's infuriating. Um, so we stagger the auction, obviously, to manage the traffic on the website and the app, but also manage the traffic into our call center team. So if you can shop ahead, that would be absolutely fantastic. We are not stopping here, hence the purple clock. 
going even lower. We're talking about the six mils right now. Oh, what a perfect opportunity to make a, like a, a selenite graduated Three long row. line. What? Yeah, Ooh, anything nice. like a that. triple row. Yeah. Yes. Triple row, yeah. Because the four mils are coming up. Six mils are still your most popular size here at Jewelry Maker, aren't they? Still the most popular size. I love selenite and pearls. I think that they literally are perfection together. What's this one? I would have never have put them together. Just want to cross my mind. What a stunning duo. Lovely, isn't yeah, it? love it. They're gorgeous together. Yeah. Twelve ninety nine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know it's not your price. That's why so many of you have already shopped ahead. You know we're not stopping there. The eight mils are twelve ninety nine, which is insanity, isn't it? Yep. Absolute insanity. My head tells me that eight millimeter selenite, I'm thinking twenty nine ninety nine. That's our ballpark figure, and that's epic, by the mm. way. Please know our previous price for eight millimeter, around about twenty nine ninety nine. That's epic. Yeah, yeah. Today is just unbelievable and um, that's why i was saying make the most of it know that this is no reflection of the true value or worth know that even we can't sustain prices like this for selenite it is down to the quantity that we are able to negotiate for you today that being said it's not going to see another show is it no, no. they're going to sell out today yeah. for sure mm -hmm. for sure i've already got three full rows of names there's already li already a little uh, queue on the phone lines how long's that wait roscoe about a minute, okay. Eleven pounds and ninety nine pence for six millimeter natural selenite. How 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 are either of these strands twenty pounds each? <laughs> you know, we're normally we're normally like round about. Well, I'm going to say like forty pounds. Per strand, that's what I've got in my head. 29 at a push, at a push. And you're basically, get, basically getting both for less than what one strand should be. Significantly so. That's why there's such a reaction on the phone lines. Yeah. It has gone completely crazy. And remember, six mil is your, your go-to size, isn't it? Um, hello, Janice, hello, my lovely. I have just bought over two meters of selenite. Thank you. Well done, well Janice. Done. How nice is that? Yeah. And I bet, I bet you it's one of those gemstones. Do you know I don't have an abundance of selenite because the reality is when we launch it, I'm usually here, so I don't get the chance to buy it because it sells out. Mm -hmm. I don't have, I think I've got maybe one piece of selenite. Um, but whenever you do wear it, people comment, don't they? Sorry, Sean, I can't see your name now, uh, your message. Hiya, Sean, sorry about that. Sean in beautiful Cardiff, um, I had to have these. I want to make those gorgeous earrings Charlie has made. Oh. Um, <laughs> love to you all, Mwah. love to you, Sean, as well. Yeah, they'd be nice. amazing in selenite. Yeah, they would, they would look great, they'd wouldn't move. they? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, well, that's it. You need something with a bit of movement to really show off that gemstone. Yeah. Yeah, selenite, that's a toy. Wall of Fame. Wall yeah. of Fame. And so you're going to take, what, two? Two of your selenite mm. rounds. Amazing. Well done. Um, so many of you are clearly loving this beautiful gemstone. And even if, this is why I said earlier on, even if you don't, if you're not sort of into the metaphysical side mm -hmm. of your gemstones, even if it's, uh, you know, okay, I don't believe that gemstones will be able to give you mental clarity or whatnot. Um, you get emotions. It, it conjures up emotions. It's a physical thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I, I do. I, I like... To say that, I wouldn't sit here and say I am massive, massively into the mes metaphysical side of things. However, it interests me, and I do get it. Yes, I do it's get fascinating, it. Fascinating, isn't it? And it's deep. and you and you go, yeah, I can understand why. Yeah, totally. why those totally. emotions, those Might not feelings. Be for me, but you appreciate the beauty and the totally. Yeah, of course, I'm totally. On that one. I do think gems have got some kind of physical power yeah. to them. Yeah. Um, which is absolutely amazing, and selenite, I think as well, is one of the most obvious. Yes. Um, look at the call screens, jewelry makers. Yeah. No surprise here. Um, if you see your name in among, and by the way, you disappear off the call screen. We've actually got two TV monitors and beyond, um, full of lovely jewelry maker customers. Um, lots of multi buyers. Loads of multi buyers on the Gem Studio. You can put the names on both, can't you? I don't know if that's possible with ours. Um, but yeah, you they, you basically disappear off the bottom of the TV screen. It's like rolling, if isn't it? You, yeah, yeah, if you see your name this side, 
you're on the wrong side of the line you need to be checking them out <laughs> well done everybody stay where you are how many have you got update on those roughly about 46 left loads in the process okay the finale of selenite there are 200 uh, yeah 12 no well actually that doesn't make sense 12.99 11.99 10.99 but it's your finale genuine question have we ever brought you selenite in a full 38 centimeter strand of this quality at under 10 pounds i can answer it in a heartbeat no <laughs> in a strand no are you ready i've got to bring those labradorite back i've got to bring those pearls back I'm just going back, reliving my kit days. And I'd add some of those. Or maybe even silver. Mm. Look how lovely it is. It complements everything. Yeah, definitely. It's a fabulous palette. Yeah, it is, I like yeah. that. Yeah. If I sent you this kit, would you be happy? Very happy. Gosh, yeah. Yeah. Jewelry makers, are you ready? Because 200, four mils. Four mil is the new six. I've said mm -hmm. it again. Perfect for tassels. Imagine a Capriccio bracelet. Perfect in amongst your uh, your pearls. Four mils again. Uh, um, you can loom them. You can weave them. I quite like the fact that they are that little bit smaller yeah. for something quite elegant. Lovely in a long line necklace as well. 200 of these. I've said it out loud, jewelry makers. These are going under £10. Historically, that is a first, jewelry makers. Um, just so you know, and, and, and I know I keep repeating it, but it is so important. Moving forward, we will bring you selenite again. Of course we will. But please know that they will not be as as priced like we have done today yeah. um and probably by the way the quantities won't be the same either yeah. if we only had 50 of these three we'd have sold out on pre-orders before they before they even came live that's how popular selenite is yeah and by the way you might think well why don't you bring it more why don't you bring more on a, on a more frequent basis it, we try we really do try if a gemstone, you've seen the call screens, is yeah. as popular as this, believe me, as a business, we would want to repeat it. Mm -hmm. However, it's not always easy to get hold of. Any other day of the week for four millimeter rounds, that would be an absolutely unbelievable deal. I agree, that sits very comfortably with me, Roscoe. We're doing it, I've said it out loud. Under 10 pounds for your four millimeter selenite. We're doing it. Make sure you're checking them out. Oh, yeah. Yes, Adam. <laughs> yes, Adam. Let me just move my hand a minute. Because I'm going to do this. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Should I try a different light source? Ready? Just this is a little bit softer, that's all. Oh my goodness, look at that. How amazing is this? All totally and utterly natural. Absolute magical. Are you ready? Today, we said it, first time, probably, quite probably the only time, under £10, jewellery makers for beautiful selenite, um, it is positively angelic, and I'm going to ask Roscoe, whilst everybody literally strives to secure theirs, because the call screen has gone nuts, um, can I have that list of names, the names that we associate with this beautiful gemstone once more? Um, can we talk about, can we have the one which is all positively poetic, talking about angel's wings? Um, because those are the emotions that I think yeah. are conjured up when we're talking yeah. about this amazing gemstone. Um, 
Yeah, I'll read those out to you. So serenity, would we agree? Purification, peace, meditation, universal consciousness, clarity of thought, purity of heart, universal love, integrity, spirituality, psychic development, forgiveness and positive thoughts. You feel each and every single one of those sentiments, stroke yeah. emotions, don't yeah, you? You do. Definitely. You do. And then that write-up which talks about angel wings, as soft as angel yeah. wings. Or if you imagine, imagine like the purest white feather literally floating to the ground, you can see that captured in a gemstone. I had 200. I definitely do not have 200 anymore, jewelry makers. Selenite under 10 pounds. Let's do a little tally, shall we, Roscoe? Oh, he's done it already, says uh, 35 pounds, <laughs> L. There you go, had that, literally. You can get the entire parcel 35 pounds today that's incredible keep on dialing through because i mentioned it and if there's an opportunity we'll definitely play it because what also looks amazing and still has that beautiful chatoyancy that yeah. amazing movement of light oh it's incredible now these are i remember lovely Lindsay from gems she saw the colored selenite for the first time and she was like wow that's amazing look at this it's color but with a softness behind it so on this opportunity let me just rearrange you're getting five strands there's only 10 available you also get instructions by mark Yeah, instructions by Mark. Full 38 centimeter strand. These are your rice bead shape. And you get a cord. Oh, yeah. There's the cord. I didn't oh, see amazing. that. Tucked away. Little sneaky bonus. I've got 10 available. Um, they're not small in their size as well, jewelry makers. You've got big measurements here. I'm going to say at least. Are they 12? 12 by, 12 by 8? Um, I'm so happy. Two strands of each. Well done, Irene. <laughs> Is that well right? Done. 12 by 8 millimetres, look at those. Hello Janice, selenite is so difficult to get in rounds elsewhere. Yeah. Make the most of these, I love them. She says, yeah, well done. Exactly, make hay while the sun shines, Janice, mm -hmm. I totally agree. So difficult to get. And like I said, it was, we've been what broadcasting for 14 years. It's only recently that mm -hmm. we started introducing strands yeah. of selenite. Very, very recent. Um, right now you're getting into your, in your gorgeous rice bead shape. You also get this cord alongside it. Um, I've only got 10 available. Margaret's there, Diane's there, Manchester's there, and there's a telephone caller. You've got um, your split payments there as well. Absolutely beautiful. Still that magic, but again, with that lovely color, which I don't, I don't know if I've seen anywhere else. Um, I think it was Mark that was saying that he was watching this morning or something like that, and he saw somebody wearing a colored okay. selenite piece of jewelry. I oh, never know, might have bought it from one of our lovely jewelry maker audience. Um, but look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? It's not dilly dally. Five strands and the cord. Let's go straight down to that price tag. Wait a minute, look at this. That roll of light. It's like fantastical, isn't it? Something from, yeah. <sighs> Look at that. $69.99. Can I just, how long have we got left? Two hours. Can we just do this for two hours? <laughs> I got, I, I'm sorry, I'm totally hypnotized. Yeah, definitely. There are seven <laughs> available opportunities. I even promise I won't say anything. We'll just sit quietly watching this. It's like special effects, isn't it? It's just so magical. Ah. Oh. That's amazing. There's only 10. No, there's not. There's seven available opportunities. Um, make sure you're checking out 69.99 for all five strands. It is five, isn't it? Yeah, 
That's amazing. That's an unbelievable price. Oh, you're 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 literally on the coattails of the previous deal of the day opportunity. Um, but then I suppose it is clearance when we've only got ten of them. Well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out. Look at those. They're like sweeties, aren't they? There's, there's, you can't describe them if someone if you like want dolly to mixture. Yeah. Yeah pastel palettes well done to each and every single one of you um needless to say that deal of the day um has absolutely flown but it does not stop there i'm just going to quickly move that tea bar out the way and just whet your appetite for this gorgeous opportunity we've got brand new cots as well jewelry makers today so we have for the first time ever amazon night in bamboo shapes first time ever in your beautiful um, rice bead shapes and we have a very limited opportunity for your beautiful rounds as well um, the finest quality that we've ever seen we've it sold out on the launch um, spoke to the supplier is there any chance that you can bring back some more they're like you, yes but there's only a limited quantity so this is going to be fleeting and it's not actually going to be me that's launching them because I was on holiday when these launched um, and they sold out Ross did you do the launch of the previous one you did the launch of the previous one um, he's coming back on air to tell us because I don't know this story either, either so tell us a story about this amazing parcel do not go anywhere jewelry makers the finest quality um, Amazonite one of the gemstones of the moment is coming on the screens after this <laughs> Hello, my name is Rachel Norris. I'm really excited to be able to tell you all I'm on Jewelry Maker on Saturday the 28th of September. And in the 9am hour, I've made some sort of Scandinavian inspired um, Christmas decorations, um, cut out a copper sheet and um, embellished with um, some lovely hemicircular punches, chain nosed and uh, flat nosed punches to make these lovely designs. I've made all sorts of things with them, um, sort of Christmas trees, um, reindeer, reindeer things like that and um, there will be some blanks in the show for you to, to work on as well if you're a bit worried about cutting out copper sheets but um, things like this little gingerbread man will be very easy to do you can also use um, these same punches to uh, make um, fishes and um, flowers and um, other designs they're all very 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 versatile punches they're fantastic in the 12 p.m. hour, um, I've got two different sort of things to show you. I've got some um, beautiful little um, silver discs um, that you can use to make um, um, designs on with the punches. And they come with these lovely twisted tubes. Um, I've made them into sort of quite delicate earrings. We can also put them on um, stretchy bracelets and chainmail bracelets and all of those um, designs and um, how to make them will be in the booklets. I'm also going to be showing you pearl drilling and then at 12 p.m. hour I'm going to show you how to drill a pearl, attach um, some peg bales which we've got some lovely peg details um, in the statement necklace for example um, and there's also a dolphin um, template in the booklet. You can see how this little dolphin has a beautiful drill pearl um, hanging from its tail. Um, and there's some lovely designs in that booklet and in the show. So I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 20th of September, 28th of September in the 9 a.m., the 12 p.m. hour and everything in between. I look forward to seeing you then. It's Mark here. I'm just taking advantage of this tiny window of sunshine to show you what's coming up on Sunday morning. I'm going to be joining L, Ross and the crew. That's Sunday the 29th. My nine o'clock hour, you can tell straight away it's going to be something special. We've got this incredible green velvety gift box. And inside we have got a metre long strand of none less than red 
J-Guide, a meter long strand, three millimeter rounds, and you're also going to be given six incredible earring pendants and earring findings. So we're going to show you how to make this incredible Kiss Cross micro necklace, and also, look at this, a real labor of love, but this beautiful netted cuff bracelet. And here's two of the little pendants, which I've turned into these glorious little earrings. So that's coming up at nine o'clock. And then at 12 o'clock, we have got two kits that I've put together myself, consisting of meter long strands of faceted shell pearls, meter long strands of AB coated glass bicones, and these incredible, look at these, incredible range of five different sizes of rivulets. We've got them in this incredible AB coated and this incredible bright neon blue. That's in the 12 o'clock. So nine o'clock, meter long strand of red jadeite, three millimeter rounds, and 12 o'clock, these incredible wintry kits coming up at 12. So that's myself, Eleanor, and Ross and the team this Sunday, 29th of September from eight o'clock. Can't wait to join you. I'm excited look at that seriously just look at the glow from from what is what four meters away possibly this is a parcel that is with every single person that has seen it that's the best I've seen and it is down to one person um, a name that you hear me frequently shout well calling not shouting um, <laughs> but someone I have the privilege of working with on a daily basis but you don't always see on screen but Ross welcome this is Thank all you. down to you uh, yeah, well, oh, well it's just yeah, a Come on, effort, just you know. take it. Take I, had big, it. I had big, big input on it, yeah. Oh, when we had we had one strand of a Mozambique about a year ago, randomly. You and did? It, no, we did, me and you. We, yeah. we, we, had, we didn't know anything about it. It just came on as Amazonite. That's right, and we I played, remember. Well, wow, what's this? So then I spoke to the powers that be and got put in... Um, I think you should just say, you should just own it. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah just say right. Because if it wasn't for you, Ross, championing this gemstone, and to be honest... Really seeing that, hang on a minute, something's different. Definitely. You recognised it, it, didn't for a while, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and this this Mozambique parcel is amazing. It is. It is the, the best that we've seen. One of the best gemstones, I think, full stop yeah. that we bring at jewelry maker now. I think it's absolutely amazing. Totally um, agree. The fact that it's completely natural. It just no treatment. Boggles well, me, yeah. you've got um, a, a beautiful presentation that really informs us all the more. And I have to say, I'm looking at this and I've got Louis Vuitton's piece in exactly, the distance. Exactly, yeah, well. The quality really I'm not gonna go volumes. into it too much as like, because it isn't a full launch. Like we launched this when you were in Cape Verde a couple yeah. of weeks ago. It was me, uh, it was Vicky and it was Mark. Uh, and everyone loved it. Uh, we brought it to air, complete sellouts. We had uh, eight sixes and tens. Right. But the tens on a short strand so we can bring the price down on the 10. Okay. So more people are now available to get the, the 10 mil strand because if we brought a third, what we were finding is we were bringing full length, uh, 38 centimetre strands in 10 mils and 12 mils, selling a small quantity of it and then being stuck with the rest of them. Uh -huh. But people did have a demand for them sizes. So what we've done is we've cut the strands down to a smaller strand so we can bring the price down so everyone can get it into their collection. Yeah, it's a great idea. So we did that and it completely flew out in one show, absolutely gone. No idea that we were, uh, we were able to get any more because th that, this, these particular rounds are from a particular parcel. Now, I'm going to be completely transparent with everyone. Uh, I don't come out on air very often. I don't want anyone to think that I'm you know, trying to pull a fast one or anything. But the new shapes we've got today, the bamboo and the uh, rice beads, they're not the same parcel as the rounds. And you'll be able to see that. It is quite evident. Yeah, I don't want anyone it's a to different think. Colour. Yeah, mm -hmm. anyone who bought the rounds originally um, is thinking, oh, we've got I'm the sorry. same Mozambique uh, Amazonite in again. It's not the same parcel. And one thing I said while you were away, Al, 
um because all the things me and you have predicted with amazon i oh, yeah um, they have actually started to it's happening come isn't to it? true like yeah, yeah they've come to fruition we've seen it with louis vuitton we've seen it with um uh, pomelato we've seen it with um tiffany tiffany's and co yeah, cartier using it yeah. all these different designers all of a sudden starting to use it um and another thing that i think is going to happen and you'll be able to tell with these pieces we're bringing you today is um i think that for amazonite uh grading scale will be introduced ah. that's my my next prediction so you think it's going to go like tanzanite i think yeah. event, well, well it, 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 I the browns here yeah uh, are amazonite and then yeah. the bamboo and the rice beads are amazonite as well they're all beautiful but there's a very distinct difference i think we can all agree yeah one's so, more one i would describe as more pastel yeah and one is much more uh, this is l like the color pop this yeah. is like the e yeah. electric this one this the rounds so when you're away i told the story about uh what happened with this parcel uh, it's from mozambique uh going forward um we're bringing yeah three locations of amazonite we're bringing you uh, Colorado, mm -hmm. which was a big success. Amazing, We've still yeah. got rough of that in the factory that we're working on now to uh, have cut into particular shapes. Please let us know if there's anything particularly you want to see uh, in them, in that, in, in this gemstone. We can uh, hopefully get it cut into them shapes. Um, we've, we've got Peruvian, yeah. which we did quite recently with Lindsay, which was very popular again. And then we've got uh, Mozambique. Uh, and I said as well, the, the, uh, Mozambique is the only one that has the prefix natural in front of it. I'm going to get rid of that going forward because all Amazonite that we're going to be bringing you going forward is going to be completely good, natural, natural. Yeah, so I just want it to be completely assumed. We we only bring natural Amazonite. I know it's hard to believe, especially when you look at the um, rounds. Yeah. But. Um, Hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, it um it's completely natural. That's what that's what's going to be going forward. Uh, so Mozambique was a lot of people's uh, most most uh, most favorite uh, favorite of the locations, and you can see why. Um, but what happened is. Uh, with that parcel of rounds, um, when they were mining for it, they um, there you go. Look at that. It's amazing. That's natural. I, I honestly, I, I, you, I sound like a broken record because every time I come out, I just say it's not. I can't believe that that's actually. It's too good not to be. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. Perfect. You'd almost you almost think it's it created. Has to be created. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the colour pops. It is electric. Well, you look at the the one in Louis Vuitton. Sorry to interrupt yep. you, Roscoe. You know, I would have initially thought, okay, I was like, had had that headline not have been there, I'd have said, okay, there's enamel. There's some lovely enamel. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Definitely. Yeah. Um, it's glowing. You can see the glow from the picture, and that's yeah. the same as us in here. We can see the glow. Sorry. Yeah. So carry yeah, on. Th this was mined in Mozambique. This this particular parcel, and um, when they found it. Uh, they were at the mine and uh, it was a really really hot day as you can probably imagine in Mozambique the yeah. sun was big, clear skies beaming they were digging uh, well the thing and the, 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 the boulder was covered in, in quartz it forms with quartz and they uh, banged on the, on, the, on the piece of rough and it split perfectly in half and the sun was beaming straight directly on top of the rough that it illuminated it glowed in the wow. day as well like it was like so so glowing so luminous they couldn't believe it that they didn't actually believe it was Amazonite. Amazonite. What other famous gemstone N comes from? Pareva tourmaline. Pareva tourmaline. Now, in my I experience in the jewellery industry, um, the top gemstone, the one that's like the, the most desirable, yeah. we all know, like as people who, uh, who, uh, who are inside of it, but that you've got Grand Didier, right? You've got your Tafai and all these other ones. But the yeah. obvious one, the one that everyone is sort of like accepts as the top one is... Pareva. Pareva tourmaline. Sure. You've got the ones, maybe Alexandrite. Yeah. You know, but the, the the one that everyone talks about, the one that's, when I first started, oh, if you get that, it's like, oh, Papracha Sapphire might be another one. Yeah. But Pareva tourmaline is the top, top I'd gemstone. I agree. Yeah. Totally agree. So when they first saw this piece of rough and the uh, luminosity from the sun, the glow, the uh, electricity, I yes. think, uh, from, from the sunlight, they thought, this is too good. Like, I, I don't want to do a disservice to Amazonite, but you can understand why. Yeah, you've got to do it out when we, we get to it. Um, the, the, the glow, um, they thought this is too good to be an Amazonite. You know, I know that sounds like a disservice to Amazonite, and they thought they'd found a new variety mm. of Pareva tourmaline. Um, uh, a, more, a more opaque, because obviously Pareva's a lot more uh, translucent yeah, than that. But yeah. they thought, oh, wow, you know, we, we, we've hit the jackpot here. We've found a new Pareva, you know, because obviously it's the one that everyone raves about, and that's what they thought they had. Um, but anyway, it did turn out to be Amazonite. Luckily for us, because we'd already uh, told them we'll have whatever you've got of that. Because remember that one everything. strand we had, whatever you can get of that again, this is way superior to that first strand we ever had in. And so that was a full length uh, 
uh, 38 10 millimeter strand it was so I, I remember this we launched it and there was literally one it wasn't even a launch it was no, just like in the, one in the strand. we just had it in the show and we pulled it in and we were like oh wow we just thought it was we didn't know yeah. anything about the location we just thought yeah. how amazing it is so then as time's gone on you've you've really yeah. back to the miners if you find anything, anything else we'll like have that, it all we want it again like, right definitely and yeah. uh, well you know what happened with um uh, icy amazon like the, the peruvian variety mm -hmm. Uh, David Yermi come and bought it all, so we're not making that mistake again straight away. Once we brought that one strand, anything you can get, and the next parcel was this. way better. Like it's amazing. So yeah, they thought they found Pareto Tourmaline. Turns out it's Amazonite, which is lucky for us. It's lucky for you because now we've got access to this amazing gemstone. Um, and just to prove point, I did this on the show last time, um, two years ago, even never mind five, ten years ago. We would never. If someone had told you that you were going to do this you would never have ever believed them. You would have left them out the door. Hmm. But I've actually got a Pareva Tourmaline here no. from Mozambique. And we're going to show you how good this Amazonite is. So you're going to put a Pareva Tourmaline next yeah. to the Can Amazonite? Can you imagine, a bit, if I told you that 10 years ago, <laughs> five yeah, years ago, been like... even two years ago, you'd been like, that's absolutely, that's stupid, really. Yeah. It's a stupid thing to do. But let's have a look. There, there was a Mozambique. Do you want me to slide it to you? Uh, or do you want me to No, no, it? you do it. You have a look. Yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, thanks, Al. Oh my goodness. And it it's, it's be, nice. It's lovely. It's nice. a nice private tourmaline. I'm not going to lie, it blows it out of the water. Okay, let's do it. It is nice. Oh. So we're comparing a Pareba tourmaline to Amazonite. Because of yeah. the quality of the Amazonite we can get now. This is what's happening. I think the Amazonite... It's the best colour. Completely, yeah. It, it 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 it's so 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 much better than the um, Pareto tourmaline, 100%. which is absolutely crazy thing to say. Yeah. Now what happened is when we had our last showcase and everything completely sold out, had no more of it. We asked her if we can get anything more. We've been saying for ages and ages and ages that we want to bring you other shapes. Let us know what you want. Bamboo shapes, extremely popular at jewelry maker. Yeah. Uh, rice beads in these types of gemstones, drums, very popular. So. Um, We've got the uh, bamboo and the rice beads coming up, but when we got offered that parcel um, of the gemstone, which isn't the same as the rounds, mm -hmm. the, the um, gem dealer told us, um, I've actually got some more of the rounds that I can give you. Again, straight away, we're like, yeah, we'll have them as well. If we're gonna take the bamboo and the uh, rice beads, we want the rounds again. The bad news is we had um, around 100 or more on the launch, sold out one show, uh, we've only got 20 of each. Of the rounds? Of the rounds, that's it. That's why you can see the, the uh, quality of the gem is so difficult to get. All they could bring, get, bring us, obviously there's other people buying it up as well. Yeah. You saw what happened with the icy variety. David Yeoman bought the lot. So we've got 20 of the eight mils, 20 of the six mils, and 20 of the 10 millimeters. It's nothing really. And if, if, if you've seen the popularity of the Colorado, you've yeah. seen the popularity of the Mozambique, and the popularity of the Peruvian. 20 is absolutely nothing. So I'll have, I'll, I'll, I haven't mentioned anything about pre-orders, not gonna put anything on pre-order. It's not fair, everyone has to have the same chance because 20, the way the last shows have gone, that could go to three, four bidders, by uh, five, six, seven, as well. exactly. Um, so yeah, um, the parcel of bamboo is not the same and the rice is not, it's, it's from a different, same location, different parcel. But if you want this, if, I mean, when I said about the grading scale, Al, if, if the, the bamboo and the rice beads are gonna be an A grade, the rounds are quad quad easily quad, I mean, it, it is like a once yeah. in a lifetime they opportunity are, on Amazon it, these are like your Larique strands yeah. aren't they yeah. you know to use sort of a, a, they a are, gemism definitely. they're like yeah. your Larique strands yeah. but, and, and again Ross just you we've, we've been talking about this for probably about two years now the best part two years we? Say, where yeah. we were saying there's something going on with yeah. Amazon night. like and basically we you, you predicted and like I said I think it was you that said this first it was like Amazon, I think it's going to be the next big colour gemstone. Yeah. Well, um, we've seen what happened with in April this year, Louis Vuitton, first mm -hmm. time in their history, uh, introduced Amazonite into their Colour uh, color Blossom collection. That was reported by m multiple outlets. Uh, very popular. Uh, it was even, yeah, there you go, five best, <coughs> five at best fine jewellery collections of 2024. Uh, there is the introduction of Amazonite to the Colour Blossom collection marks a significant milestone in Louis Vuitton's legacy, showcasing the Maison's ability to embrace innovation while honouring tradition. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Another one, high-end jewel. Well, there, sorry, there's the price, thirty-one thousand. Thirty-one and a half thousand. Barely any, any Amazon. We know like, yeah. that slices. 
yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, six different slices mm. of Mamba's Night. Great colour though, like you said, Al. Yeah, lovely colour. Yeah. Like, like this. Rivals ours, yeah. Masika and Boucherer collaborate on an exclusive new collection. Uh, that's the first time in their 136 year history they've introduced Amazonite all of a sudden. Uh, never been seen before. Um, that's £40,000, so it's high end jewellery. Yeah. Uh, £20,000. Uh, Cartier, which we mentioned, again, the colour that does rival ours. <sighs> Without doubt. Yeah. Yeah. £60,000. Uh, is introduced into the Panthea. How long has that been going for? Oh gosh, hundreds of years. Hundreds of years, at least, of years, isn't it? Yeah. One hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Um, that uh, bracelet is sixty thousand pounds. There you go, one hundred fifty thousand pounds, and they're only using eighteen Amazonites. Yeah, the rest is actually made up of lapis, lapis. lazuli, like one hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. But again, that that photo in particular, Roscoe, you can really see the quality of of, yeah. of this parcel. But the prices we're doing, you'd be able to make that necklace full. Amazon, yeah. your own version of it you know you can take inspiration yeah and what is it 43 18 uh, and 60 on it yeah so you could you could um you could easily make that with the prices we're doing you yeah could easily definitely. be inspired by that uh there's another one from cartier again re resembles our color quite a, uh, quite a bit yeah twenty thousand to fifty thousand pound uh pomelato i think that is teamed with Pareba tourmaline mm -hmm. again when we're saying we've yeah, compared yeah, yeah. it to Pareba but you would never ever ever put Amazonite Prober together on the No, no, of course in not. In a million years, now all of a sudden it is. Uh, there's another one, a Pomelato price and application, Colette jewellery, $13,000. Um, Irene Newworth carving, I remember the Colorado, the rock hound told me that uh, 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 the East was- Who's the rock hound? The Colorado, the, 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 the oh, guy yes! at the Colorado, they call themselves rock hounds. Rock hounds? He told me that um, he was seeing people at the, the East buy up his Amazonite to um, carve, ca make intricate carving something never seen before. Irene Newworth, that's a carving of an Amazonite there on the outside. Yeah. Uh, of a, f a flower teamed with Colombian emerald. I mean, that speaks Unheard volumes, of. doesn't it? Does, it does, exactly, yeah. Yeah. Um, the candy bracelet we've seen loads of times, £3,000. Uh, Mason and Brooks, I think all of our Amazonite is better than that. Miles one. better? Yeah, I don't think. I, 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 I really, I'm just showing you how good ours is, really. Yeah, that's exactly. Not a comparison. Ours is far better than that. Three thousand uh, pounds. First dibs. Yep. Four and a half thousand. Best part four and a half grand. Uh, David Yerman, the Tusk. Yep. Um, Carolina Bucci, all four figures, high end jeweler, jewelers. That one's interesting as well because that's just on a bit of cord. Yeah. So exactly like, the the eighteen carats, literally that little palm tree. Oh yeah, well, I, I wasn't going to show this, but uh, when when the Obamas met the uh, Queen, she wore Amazonite yep. earrings. Um, and then if I just skip a few, sorry. Um, oh yeah, we've mentioned that before. That's in, uh, worth mentioning as well. The way that uh, Amazonite's going, they're even dying jade to look like Amazonite. <laughs> yeah. So, which is absolutely crazy. Yeah. People when did Amazonite want, overtake jade? Yeah, surely you just want the yeah. jade, but they're dying. So it's better to have a dyed jade to look like Amazonite than just have a jade, which is, again, a year ago, we would have said that was crazy. Uh, but the uh, the gem dealer we got this off uh, sent us an email regarding this parcel. This is regarding the rounds, uh, and he said, mm -hmm. um, due to its beauty, luminosity, and resemblance to Brave Tourmaline, I would set this stone into eighteen carat yeah. white gold. Uh, white gold, I think, because it, it intensifies the yeah. um, the the colour. Uh, but I would go yellow. Um, yeah, I personally it, prefer yellow. It, I guess it, that's personal that's choice. Taste. Exactly. Yeah. So it is very very special. We didn't uh, know we were going to have these rounds in. We had the uh, rice beads and the bamboo uh, scheduled to play to do a big showcase on the two, big promo. Um, but then the, the, the dealer offered us uh, the rounds back, but only 20 of each. So I think they're going to be guaranteed sellouts today. We're going to actually start with the rounds and then we'll bring you the, the new parcel okay. um, from the same location, but a different, uh, diff different parcel uh, afterwards. So we're going to open up with the uh, eight mil rounds. The eight mils. Yeah, eight okay. Mils. So again, this is a full thirty-eight centimeter strand. Full thirty-eight centimeter wow. strand. Yeah. Um, Look at that. And like I said, the ten mils uh, is on a um, is on a uh, short Shorter strand, one, so yeah. it's a more affordable price. Big wow. carrot weight still, but um, yeah, we'll start with the eights. The best that we've seen, really. Without isn't it? You know, there yeah. have been three. Uh, you said like the Colombian sold out, Mozambique. Colorado. Colorado, sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, incredible. Peruvian. Peruvian. And Mozambique. Mozambique. They're yeah. the top three. They've all gone they? absolutely crazy, yeah. Yeah. Um, and you can see why. It's yeah, obvious 100%. to see why. Yeah, it's amazing. 
Did you say we've got 20? 20 of the 8 mils, 20 of the 6 mils, 20 of the 10 mils. Okay. The uh, bamboo and the rice beads, we've got just over 100 on uh, both of them. But even for 20, I mean, even if he had offered us five more yeah. of each, we would, have, taken, we would have took them. Yeah. So 20, it's, it's, we had just over 100 on launch, completely gone. Didn't think we'd be able to get that this quality again. And we've got 20 of each. When you think about it this way, you know, you've got Cartier who are making, um, working with the the, that, the Panther necklace with lapis lazuli and Amazonite, £150,000. I mean, all right, there's maybe a few sort of parve gems in there, but a few, £150,000. And you can literally see the quality is like for like in, in the Amazonite, can't you? Mm -hmm. It you is, know? yeah, it is very, very It's like for it like is. quality. Rob, we're not, uh, no, actually, we'll have a 30 second clock because I want everyone to have the exact same fair chance to get involved because there is only 20. Yeah. I think if we just brought the graphics in, someone could come in and buy all 20. True. You know, yeah, there buy, will be jewelers who will be 10. interested in this, won't yeah. they? So we're going to have a 30 second clock to, the, to open the 8 mils. Everyone gets the same fair chance then. Mm -hmm. Good luck, everyone. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Just 20 opportunities. Don't wait. Yeah, there have been three definite flagship locations in the sourcing of the best grade Amazonite, and you can see it. Um, isn't it interesting to hear Ross's suggestion of maybe a grading system with Amazonite? It makes sense, though, doesn't it? Because there is... You need to... I mean, without the visuality of it, Ross, actually having that grading system is... I think going to be um, the next step. I agree. Definitely. I agree. Well, you, we can see it. We're doing it on our own our own product yeah you can see why a, a grading scale needs to be introduced because like you've just said this is quad a quad a if there was a grain scale this i would have no no problem saying this is quad that's a, the best i've seen yeah yeah it, we're doing it a disservice really not giving it a um grading scale. yeah i agree i agree phone lines have lit up as i expected they would i would multi-buy because we're not guaranteeing that we're going to be able to get this parcel ever again it was a once in a lifetime opportunity uh, mm. the luminosity the glow it's second to none Oh, I tell you what, I did promise, Ross, I would do as well. Let me just move that out of the way. So, I mean, even here, when we compare to what oh, Cartier yes. prices were. Talk, yeah. Look at this. We never used to do this with Amazon. No. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, I think there, in the dark, with the torch on it, that's when it most resembles Praeba. Yeah, If we absolutely. just showed you that recording with no graphics or anything, it, you'd be you'd be struggling to name the gemstone because you'd think it, it, it has to be Praeba, but it can't be Praeba in that size of round. No, no, well, th well we've never seen uh, um, translucency like it's this It's incredible, before. yeah. Do you just to try to taking it off the um Take like it off the, yeah, bus. off the bus, you wanna go through it? Behind. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. sure. Here we is go. It, it is literally glow in the dark. Here we go. Can you see that? Yeah. So Look. you can see it at the ones but just below the torch. Look at that Amazing. translucency. Right, there is only 20 of these, so you are going to have to be fast. Well done to Janet, Susan, Hilary, Fiona, uh, Cumbria, and uh, Greater Manchester. So that's already 25% of the stock. Confirmed. Done. Yeah. I can see Glasgow, London, uh, another bidder in Greater Manchester, Derbyshire, Devon, uh, bidder in Cumbria, uh, Anna, Suzanne, all with it in their basket. Uh, let's open it up, Lauren, at £499, please. This wow. is the largest carat weight, the largest size. Another one's gone now. Um, with every uh, confirmation, it's becoming more and more limited. We only started with 20. Uh, yeah. Anna in Derbyshire, Janet, Susan, Hillary, Fiona, all confirmed. Uh, welcome, Jenny and Marilyn. Uh, four nine nine. Just to open it up, like we always say, how we have to stagger the. Of course, yeah, and, and even when there's only a quantity of twenty. Yeah, well, this is the thing. There is only twenty. You mm -hmm. know, we've. If you think about, you know, our sister channel when they've done Parade Tourmaline, they've probably uh, other than their Larique pieces, they've probably had more than twenty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's a good point actually. I never thought about that. Yeah. Yeah, they've probably so, had yeah, more than twenty, the but then there's Prabha. a huge carrot weight to this. Yeah, exactly. One hundred and fifty carrots. Yeah, <laughs> completely natural. Uh, from that Mozambique location. Complete sellout on launch. We never thought we'd have access to this quality again, uh, but here we are. Uh, and I'm gonna get this down to 99.99, please. Wow. Um, to launch your Quad selection. Quad A grade. Quad A, yeah, exactly. 99.99.
That's unbelievable. You can see the translucency even against the décolletage. There are only 20. Mm -hmm. You do need to be quick well, to guarantee a success. It's one of the most exclusive pieces before ever. Yeah, Never mind. true. You know, it's like, true. Have, like purple pearls or a jadeite carving, and we're, we're talking about Amazonite. That's true. That Because I know you we know? did have 100 originally, but this is essentially a new auction. Yeah, absolutely. And even then, you think we've brought, we've brought, I don't know, think about, I don't know, what, um, oh, I'm trying to think of a, of a really, Granted, you're right. Granted, Granted you're, right, you're right, prime example, mm -hmm. yeah? We have brought you a multitude more Grandid, you're right, than we yeah, have done exactly. at this great Amazonite. Yeah. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I, I'll go out, I, I think this is better than Grandid. And me, yeah. 100%. I think this is better. And Grandid was our top, top gemstone at, at See, one Grand, time. Grandid, you're right, is one of those gemstones that's incredibly rare, incredibly rare. Mm. But in terms of beauty, I think this is far oh, more beautiful. Oh, without a shadow of a doubt, exactly. I do as well. I'm not, I'm not even hesitating in saying now, that. on the launch of this, when I was on with it with... Uh, Vicky and Mark, and we had in excess of a hundred available. Yeah. Um, we didn't close at forty nine at, at ninety nine ninety nine. Okay. Right, forty nine ninety nine on split pay. Um, now with that big quantity, we always say bigger quantity. We just don't on the sell night, lower price. Yeah. Uh, but this small quantity, I'm going to match the launch price, even though we shouldn't. Even though the the, the demand's higher, the quantity's lower. We say it, and we if, if there's if there's a thousand pairs of trainers made. Yes. And they sell for £100 each on, on, and, and they sell out on the first day. But someone then wants to sell the last one pair Straight of trainers. Away. They're not going to sell it for £100. Of course they're not. going to increase the price. Of course not. But we're not about that. We're going to match the launch price, even though we've only got 20. More than half have gone. Uh, there's more than 40 in baskets as well. We're going to have a 30 second clock to the crash. Again, everyone has the same chance. Uh, 30 seconds, and then we'll reveal what your launch price was on this deal. Uh, and you're going to get it again today. Why well don't Fiona, why well don't Hillary, why well don't Susan, Janet, uh, Cumbria, Anna in Derbyshire, Susan and Essex has bought two. Well done. I've just spotted a familiar name on our call screens. No, you didn't. Oh, it's, it's all. Oh, <laughs> uh, is that you, Charlie? That's me. Oh, well, well they done. They are amazing, Thank you. Charlie, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, they're absolutely blown away. That's testament away. to the stone. Oh. Charlie's here in the studio. In the studio and, and said, I need to get that. Yeah. yeah. Right, there are going to be people missing out now. There's way more in baskets than there is. In, available, yeah. Uh, uh, available. So the price on this one, <laughs> $69.99. What? Ross, really? $69.99. I mean, obviously, I didn't know that. I, I wasn't here on the launch. That's amazing. Unbelievable, yeah. It's. I think if we get this quality in again, it's going to be a three-figure uh, gemstone. Of course. I think it's, that's what's going to be happening. And that's where this. our expectations should be as well. Got a message for you from Jane in Lancash Lan Lancashire, sorry, saying I've brought the Amazonite Ross, um, has brought to wear recently. It is all stunning. Thank yeah, you. It is. It is. It is one of them ones. We say it about every single stone that we bring here at Jewel Maker. Once you get, it is one of them ones. You have to get it home, see it for yourself. Yeah, and it, it will. It was like the, the, the one of the moments where you open the the, the parcel and it's gonna. I feel, I feel like it would glow. Yeah, hundred percent. Like light up your face. Yeah, your absolutely. Face, yeah. There's four left. Yeah, that's <clears> gonna <throat> sell out. Jewelry Geraldine, makers. Kent, Sussex, uh, Lisa, Kathy, Jenny, Suzanne. Um, let's move it on there. We'll leave them to bat it out because it is. They're, they're still checking out. I think sure. there's two left now. Well done to everyone who's confirmed. Let's get on to the six millimeters. Oh, okay. Six mils. Okay. Now, <clears throat> shall I do that? <laughs> shall I, I just keep them again, all together? Again, another thing, when we're, <laughs> teaming Amazon with pearls is just ridiculous. A year ago, we would never, never have done it. Like, no, actually, absolutely. There's something as beautiful as pearls. Look at that. Yeah. Amazing. I mean, what a piece of jewellery that yeah. would be. 30 seconds to launch again. Everyone gets the same chance because, again, we've only got 20 of these. 100 carats of 6 mil rounds. Uh, Terry seconds. has actually just said that they'd be amazing with pearls. Yeah, there you go. Well, and you, you're the jewelry makers, not me. Yeah, I don't listen to me. You, you do what no, you no, think. You know, you might. You, you can certainly. Um, you've got the vision. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got <laughs> thank you. A good eye for it. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. I mean, look at the quality, and again, the fact I've got both of these strands alongside one another is like the perfect colour matching, Match, the quality exactly. matching. So you can buy a cross. Yeah. And make it, yeah, and it's yeah. all going to match. It can look beautiful. Look how stunning that is. So again, twenty. Twenty. That's all we were offered. That's all we could get. If we could have got more, we would have. But if we were only offered five of each, then we would have mm. bought the five. Uh, 
phone lines again gone crazy loads of people in baskets oh my um, goodness let's just just to stagger the calls let's start at 499 we'll get 499 straight on screen please um ross something's just dawned on me mm -hmm. and doesn't this speak volumes the strand is better than the colors on our graphics <laughs> yeah uh, than yeah. the actual bugs yeah. that says it's, Amazonite. Amazonite. yeah it is yeah your strand is better than that yeah it is i agree it is yeah it's like there's not any other blue gemstone that comes close the only one that you can slightly compare Maybe, it to yeah. is Pareva. which is the wind but it has to be the crazy. windex, windex blue. blue yeah i which said is that the most launch. Expensive. this is quite it's the closest you're going to get without buying a Pareva to Windex Blue. Windex Blue, yeah. which is a real terminology, by mm -hmm. the way, is the most expensive variety of Prava. Yeah. And that's, it's like this, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Almost half the stock's already gone. Let's get it down to 99.99. Same again. I'm going to match the price of the launch, even though there's only 12, there's only nine left now. Uh, 99.99, and we'll go straight in with a 30 second clock, please, Adam. These are going to fly out. Already, Anton, Cornwall, uh, uh, Anonymous Bidder, Sally, uh, Warwickshire, Hillary, East Sussex, Derbyshire, Maker, Cumbria. A lot of the same bidders coming in and buying. Well done. I think they might be making a uh, graduated long line necklace. Yeah, like totally. Yeah, 100%. And I do this co this combination. We're at 99.99. And what well did you take the previous one to? 69.99. Oh my goodness. These are going to fly out the door when you see the price on this one. Okay. Um, Wild and Swift, that's already confirmed, you've got nothing to worry about. You can sit back and relax because there's going to be a battle to the end now because I think we've got nine left, as if I can gauge it properly. Uh, this one, six mil, the most popular size, only 20 available, 49.99. Goodness me. 100 carats. Again, going forward, if we get this in again, we're not going to be getting these prices. No, no, and, and, and amazing that even, that's the fact that you've said, yeah, we'll have 20. We'll make a big deal, a big showcase of 20, 20 of each exactly. of these sizes. Exactly, But yeah. the quality is incredible, that's yeah. why. Yeah, exactly. That's why, you know, you you put this alongside Cartier's, mm -hmm. it's, it's like for like. It is, yeah. Like for like, the quality. Wild and 12 confirmed. Susan Nessick, Suja, uh, Merseyside, Devon, uh, County Durham, Diane, all need to check out because we are into single figures for this strand now. And we might ne never get this parcel ever again. Yeah, this yeah. quality. This might be a one-time thing because the net the, the the next parcel we've been uh, offered is the bamboo and the rice beads, which we'll see isn't the same. Not quality. the same. Still pretty. So, be still beautiful. I'm just being completely transparent. Yeah. It's not got that luminosity. No. It's a different feel of Amazon. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. So if you want this you. electric, luminous. Pere Tourmaline S quality of Amazonite. I agree. Then this is the uh, parcel for you. I agree. You wouldn't make those comparisons with the one previously. No, exactly. Oh, uh, sorry, the yeah, one the coming, ones up. coming up. No, but you maybe wouldn't. you would but in terms of um, in terms of its colour, mm -hmm. but not necessarily in the luminosity yes, and the transparency. Yes, definitely. That's the that's the great way of putting it. That's exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah. Um, amazing. Well, Ross, they're absolutely flying out the door. Lots of collectors getting involved. We... Charlie's bought again as well. I did. Yeah. Well, what, yeah. are you, what are you going to do with yours, Charlie? I don't know yet. I just had to have them. Is that for you? Yeah. Well, the, I have a soft spot for Amazonite, definitely. Um, but I think the fact that it's limited as well. There yeah. isn't many kicking about. No one else is going to have them. So I just had to have them. I don't blame you. Yep. I don't blame you. I mean, I think, I think now we are seeing places like Louis Vuitton, mm -hmm. Um, as you said earlier on, Roscoe. What was it, uh, 110? What's that, sorry? Set there. Hun oh no, it, didn't, it doesn't specify here, yeah, sorry. I'll keep um, getting it mixed but, up. Yeah, but embracing yeah, innovation time. and honouring tradition there, yeah. but you can see that quality, can't you? That motif as well is the motif they use on their uh, handbags. Yes. I spotted that when I was on the show last yes. time. I was, oh, so it's, it's obviously a very important motif yeah. for Louis Vuitton. And they could have chosen any gemstone, exactly. couldn't they, Louis Vuitton? Of course they could, yeah. Could have chosen any. It doesn't have to be those mm. blues. It's not like Tiffany where that's their branding. Yeah. You know, uh, Louis Vuitton could have chosen any colour. They could have gone red. They could have gone like maybe the terracotta browns yeah. that they use more frequently yeah. in their branding, but no one for that luminosity of this quality of um, um, Amazonite. There's five left there. So let's do a minute to close. Uh, okay. We've got three more strands that we want to bring you. One final strand of this um, parcel. Okay. So this Final is rounds. Last chance. Yeah, last chance, yeah. Right, okay. We were um, very, 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 very lucky to get 20 extra of each, so. And it's unusual it? for jewelry maker to go, okay, yeah, send yeah. us a parcel exactly. of 60. Exactly, yeah. It's, it's, that's, yeah. That's unusual. It is, yeah. Say yeah. 20 of each, it's crazy. 
you know, normally we'd have to quant. You think about how much it costs for us to deliver it. Yeah, yeah. And as yeah, well, is it worth ship it. it. Yeah, yeah. We're so all excited it. by Amazon. I yeah, that um, we had to have it. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. Well done, everybody. It is absolutely epic. Um, we've got one final strand from this location. <coughs> It, uh, would you say this is historic in the in, in the world of gemstones? Because normally, you know, prior to that, Amazonite's been adored for thousands of years, but it's never really been a, um, a maison, high well, no, maison jewelry the, gem. What I was going to say as well is uh, the Colorado variety is getting um, called jade. They want yeah. it to be called jade. Um, the uh, Peruvian variety yeah. it was mistaken for blue opal. You weren't here for that launch either. Oh. Um, that was with... Uh, um, Lindsay. I but missed a lot. They were like, I? oh, amazing. We found some new because it's, it's mined out, isn't it? Peruvian blue opal. Yeah. So they were like, oh, we found some blue opal. And they were like, oh, no, it's Amazonite. But we're, we're changing that that narrative. That now. dynamic. Yeah. Uh, we're like, no, no, no. It's good. That's not Amazonite. We don't want blue opal. We want the Amazonite. Yeah. And then with the Mozambique, they thought they had private only in their cow. I can understand that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Me, but um, we're, we're giving Amazonite the credit after it all deserves. these years that yeah. it finally deserves. Yeah. I agree. Uh, last of the rounds, I think that's sold out. Wild and Turf on the confirmed. Uh, do add it to your wish list um, because who knows if uh, anyone does send one back or cancel their order, yes. then you have got an opportunity to own this amazing gemstone. Um, I'll buy it. Yeah. Because that's, that, that's yeah. the only chance I've got, Roscoe, well, isn't uh, it? Another thing I said, I've, uh, all my years of working, I mean, I've sold pieces of jewellery for like £50,000. Yeah. Like I've sold some really high end pieces of jewellery. I've seen loads of beautiful stones in my uh, career. Career. But, um, uh, I've only bought one piece of jewellery ever, and it was Chloe's engagement ring, and it, so it had to be good. I had to all the gemstones I've seen yeah. through through my time. I had to have one that was good, like you know, I wanted it yeah, to be better than that one or better than this one. And I had loads of people all over the world searching um, for for the perfect emerald, and I got one, and it was amazing. Like, she, she loves it, and I'm really really pleased with the uh, with the um, with the stone. And I've never bought another piece of jewellery. I've bought pieces of jewellery for, for people, like a pair of earrings or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, here yeah, and there, yeah, but yeah. not like a proper, you know, really nice piece of jewellery. Like the, an investment piece. So, yeah, exactly. So the next piece I bought after that uh, em emerald had to be as good or better than that one. Right, so as good or better than my fiancé's engagement ring. And Amazonite was the stone. I've, I've, was it? I've bought a, an Amazonite, yeah, from this parcel, and I'm having it cut into a um into i don't know what shape yet and i'm going to does so she know this yeah by the she way. knows yeah yeah, yeah. that's okay because yeah. i'm just thinking oh i bet i'm pretty sure yeah. coco will be watching gonna, right now i'm gonna have it set into into gold because she wears yellow yeah and then i'm having it teamed with rubelites because oh. oh that was another thing i wanted to say i think uh if you're putting this on cord red red cord i think with the um, amazon i think make it pop wow amazing. so yeah that, that's wow. just another testament to how good this gemstone is it is amazing um yeah, I love that idea. Yeah. I'm actually as well. I want to be. Uh, um, I've inquired about it, but having some of the Amazonite, I want a carving, just one, just to be able to say I've got one of the cap. Because I, I, I've had a look online, I can't find any. Can we keep it floral? Kind of Irene knew it. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so yeah. I just, I just want one. Just, I, yeah. I, 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 I want it for me. Yeah. To own. <laughs> I don't think we'll Same. have enough to yeah, have true. to sell it on air because I can't find any comparisons anywhere. For, yeah. Uh, well, if, a, if, if, Louis, if Louis Vuitton are using tiny pieces, then yeah. a carving might be... Uh... I think eventually the next step, I think that's where it's going to go. Wow, okay. Right, let's get uh, 30 seconds on screen. This is your final one from this uh, really special parcel, the 10 yeah. mil rounds. Uh, short strands, which means we can bring the price uh, down. Strand like this in this size, if it was a 38 centimetre strand, would easily be going 199, I think. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, totally agree. One at least, yeah, uh, amazing. Yeah. The finale opportunity, jewelry makers. Um, I think I've, it's looking like every strand so far is sold out. Yeah, sellouts across the board, and yeah. this one's only going to follow suit. We've jumped up in carat weight here as well. One hundred and twenty carats of uh, natural Mozambique Amazonite. The ten okay. mil rounds, the last, maybe the last ever of this parcel because you saw what happened with the icy variety. Um, David Yerman. David Yerman yeah. came in, snapped up the whole mine, so we never, ever, ever had access to it ever again. We never seen it ever again, anything new, and this might be the same. I, I and I get it. I totally get it. It's the kind of establishment that you think Louis Vuitton and, and Cartier they've got extremely deep pockets. Exactly. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they, they yeah. they're not they they yeah. will buy it all, and they can see how beautiful it is. So yeah. why wouldn't you buy it? Uh, first couple have gone. Well done. Um, Let's start at 499 again for this one. 
Okay. Just to stop off. We won't be here for long. Anna and Davish are the first person to confirm. Well, well done. done, Anna. And then we'll go straight down to 199, which I think this strand, if it was a full length strand, would easily be. Yeah, they're big sizes. You yeah. know, you're talking about, what, 10 millimetre solitaires. Obviously, on a shorter strand to bring that price down. Yep, exactly. So £199, please, on the next crash. 199 Lauren's on it. And then we'll go with a 30 second clock. Straight in with the 30 second clock. Okay, okay, cool. Good luck, everybody. There's only 20 available opportunities. I mean, these are the reason why I'm holding it alongside the pearls. Can you imagine one just like asymmetrically? Easy, yeah. One arm's yeah. night in amongst like your top I quality like the pearls. Idea of that, yeah, because then people are asking straight away, what's that? Yeah. Alongside pearls. It's, yeah. yeah. I, Single I like it out. Idea. Yeah. Because it's Make got it that centerpiece. strength of colour, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It's, I just, I, 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 well, I don't have said it a hundred times again, but it's natural. I just can't believe it's natural. I know. And you think about how, you know, the, just the, it's got to be one of the most beautiful colours as well, because mm. it's almost teal, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, on this one, fi finale of the show, 69.99 on this one. There's only 20, that's all okay. we could get. Yeah, I might have to get this strand. Stop permitting that is, Roscoe. That's an unbelievable deal. Um, and the rarity, as with m most gemstones, the rarity, when the, the bigger they are, exactly the harder they are to the harder they are to source and higher the price tag actually is i think as well another one when you said about putting it on its own like in a single pearl you could do what we see a lot on mason k with jade eye yeah and just put one on a bit of cord yeah and that, absolutely like, and that's going to uh, increase the price by about, uh, yeah definitely on the on the big i price. mean even when this size you're seeing hang on hang on is that torch brighter hang on there you go even with this size you're seeing that translucency that's how you're just saying it. It is. It's amazing. It's crazy. Well done to Joe, Marilyn, Deborah, Devon, Suja, County Durham, Anna, uh, anonymous bidder. You've all confirmed. Uh, this is your finale piece. Um, this was the one we were not supposed to match the original launch price on because of the size. Like you just said, how difficult it is to yeah. get such a bigger size and keep that colour. Yeah. I can see how popular everything's been. Um, we were supposed to hold this one at six sixty nine ninety nine. Oh, were? Yeah, I am going to just match the price from the launch price on this one, even though there is only twenty and it oh, is so Oh, did you take difficult. it lower? Than this six... one went lower, yeah, um, on the launch. Let me just double check. Yeah, we're going to do it. Let's do a thirty second clock again. No, I tell you what. Yeah, go on, start the clock then. It's on. Let's do a thirty <laughs> second. Uh, thirty second. Oh, okay, sixty second warning. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to give them only a minute to check out. But oh, do you hear that? Ad? I don't. Th I don't think it's going to be long enough because I think it's going to sell out before we even get to the price. Anyway. I agree. Uh, <laughs> Kay and Kent has bought two. Anton Adam was here. <laughs> Adam says, "Well, you got a minute now, and you can have a minute afterwards." Okay. I don't want the minute afterwards. Thank you very much. It'll probably sell out. <laughs> it will sell out before then, and we've still got two more strands to bring. That's so. true. That is very, very true. Time's getting on. Good. I think we're over allocated, says our lovely Lauren, who's okay. in the hot seat right now. Great job, Lauren. Check it in. I know, she's doing Brilliant. an awesome job. Yep. This will sell out. Okay, that chance of me getting hold of this is uh, slipping through her fingers. You've got 15 seconds for what could potentially be the last ever... Mozambique. Well, this quality of Mozambique. Yeah. This this uh, parcel. They chopped yeah. that piece of rough in half perfectly. The sunbeam straight down, directly above it, and then illuminated, like magic. Um, Forty nine ninety nine. Oh, guaranteed sellout. Under fifty pounds for the largest. I don't think size. you need the red clock, Ross. No, we're not going to need it because it is looking like it's going to sell out. Yeah, very popular. Well done, stuff on that's already confirmed. But yeah, phone lines gone crazy. Well done. Uh, <laughs> he's done it anyway. Oh, here we go. Do you have to put up with this all? Yeah. Day, I do. yeah. <laughs> yeah. As, oh my goodness me, well done everybody. Um, he's a bit fruity today, isn't yeah, he, Adam? Yeah, I tell you, that, that holiday is done in the world of good, ain't it? Not done us the world of good, it's done in the world of good. He's a bit yeah, fruity. We're the ones having to pay for it. Oh, it's gorgeous, There's well done. Something in the grease, grease water. No, is that what it was, yeah. Adam? The Greek, uh, the Greek water rubbing off on you. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. Well, Valerie, Jay and Surrey, uh, Merseyside, Trace and Cumbria, Lisa, you've got two in your basket you are going to check out because we've got single figures remaining. Yeah, Mark and Cheshire has just joined us. Barbara in West Midlands as well. 
um, don't miss out on this opportunity. Um, the 10 mils, 120 carats of completely natural Mozambique yeah. Amazonite. Quad A grade. I know there's no official grading system, but I think that's on the horizon. I think that's the next step. Well, exactly, yeah. yeah. I, I definitely do. I think it's going to be the next step for Amazon. And Jim Poria invented the Tanzanite grading system, didn't we? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe we can invent this. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, I think we should as well. Yeah, I yeah. think we should. Stick your name on it. Yeah, maybe, yeah. The Ross system. Yeah, the, the, the Ross grading system. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 I like think that. we yeah, should. Got, that's I like a lot that. of good moments. You've got a most scale and you've got a Ross system. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I'm well, all that. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you check it out. Yeah, I'm loads wish and list. I think there's four left there. <laughs> um, Wild and Swivel on that has confirmed. Uh, we'll move on from there because yeah. there's so many people. But there's going to be people disappointed because there's going to be people missing wow. out on that one. Um, right, so we've got two new shapes on this one, and we're going to start with the rice beads. Can I swap the bust? You're starting with the rice bead shape. Starting with the rice beads, yeah. Um, because I love Amazonite against this blue. You said about it's. It, I love it with strong colours as well. We've never had this shape before. No, never had this. Never had the bamboo in uh, in Amazonite. Wow, these are amazing, Ross. Amazing, yeah. So yeah, like I say, I'm going to be complete transparent. It's not the same parcel no. as the rounds. Same location, still amazing, still beautiful, uh, and we've got a hundred of each. Um, so let's get the graphics straight in on the uh, rice beads. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? It's there such it a lovely. It's a it's a really tranquil blue. And actually, when you think about it, you know, think about the best quality aquamarine. Mm -hmm. That's probably as strong a colour as you'll ever yeah, get with that's, aquamarine. That's, yeah, aquamarine. No, no one said that yet, actually. That's a good point. Yeah. You know, it's so probably as strong a colour you can get. And, and again, it, it, it's it's amazing. It's a pastel palette. I love that about Amazonite, that mm -hmm. it's pastels. It complements absolutely everything. Um, and I still think, you know, this is going to be graded Amazonite, yeah. too. Oh, yeah, this is still not a opaque. fine quality. Yeah, it's not opaque. I think uh, for our bidders that have purchased with us before, if if the first if the rounds is a, a, like a um, Olmec, it's mm. got that translucency and that glassy yeah, yeah, feel to yeah. it. This would be like a Burmese. Yes, Do you know I what agree. I mean? Yeah, Can you yeah, sort yeah. of see what, what the similarities. It's got totally, that opacity totally. To see. It. It's that water content yeah, that water almost, content. isn't yeah. it? We're well, almost using jadisms yeah. to actually. To, to actually to, yeah, to, uh, to no, I totally get is, where you're yeah. coming from with this. Um, brand new shape. Massive caraway as well. Uh, we're going to open it up straight away, forty nine ninety nine on screen. That's your first price. That's okay. nowhere near where we're closing. Love it. Such an elegant shape. And you'd effectively have to buy two strands to make this arrangement, obviously. Yeah, yeah of course. Exactly, yeah, because the round's in between, yeah. Yeah. So I open it up forty nine ninety nine. Um This is going to be got? an auction, 100, 100 each. Okay. So brand new shapes. This is going to be uh, an opportunity for everyone to own Amazonite from Mozambique. Um, Lovely. We're going to bring you uh, a price. That um, that matches uh, a great deal. Okay, forty nine ninety nine. Nowhere near enough people no, on the phone lines. No, I'm really surprised. I'm looking at the call screens, kind of thinking, hang on a second. We've never done rice speed shapes. No. Amazonite has always. In fact, wasn't Amazonite named our number one gemstone? Amazonite. Mm. Yeah. Uh, maybe. I'm, I'm sure, sure it got that top spot. Yeah, it might have. Yeah, it, I, I feel like it would have with the way it's gone. It, like uh, maybe last Christmas or the Christmas yeah, before. I feel like it was. Yeah. Um, we've never done this shape before. Imagine no, those at the bottom of a tassel this, or yeah. something like that. The rice beads. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's do uh, a crash and we'll do, go straight in with a clock. So the next price you're going to see is not your final price. Okay. Okay. So the lowest price we've seen so far is forty nine ninety nine. Next crash on this, let's go to twenty nine ninety nine. Wow. Okay, mm. so that's a big jump. It is a big mm. jump. Yeah. Amazing. And and you know, I guess these are more wasteful because they're more marquee shape. Yep. So really, they should be at a higher premium. So we'll go twenty nine ninety nine, and we'll have a minute clock, please, Adam. Okay. That's not where we're closing. Okay. Sorry. And this is a full thirty eight centimetre strand. Yeah. And in the um, last three launches, the Colorado, the Peruvian, and the Mozambique. Twenty nine ninety nine is not a price point we've seen. No, it's it's all, all, all been above that price point. But yeah. we're at twenty nine ninety nine and we're going lower. Why don't we have that's already got involved? 
Good luck, everyone. Again, multi buyers there. I love it. So, you know I mean, beautiful. Imagine this alongside, as you've mentioned it. Imagine this alongside maybe a type A jadeites and your um, mm -hmm. and your old neck jades. I think it looked beautiful with yeah. those. It's brand new. New brand cuts. Brand new first on to yeah. Amazing. I'm loving this, Roscoe. Absolutely loving this. We did say, or uh, um, you know, we believe Amazon is heading for big things, and it is most definitely happening, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go to twenty four ninety nine on this one. We started at forty nine ninety nine. That was the lowest price we've seen on the previous on the rounds. Twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. Abs natural again. I'm going to join you on this. Absolutely going to join you on that opportunity. Good luck to each and every single one of you. There is already a frenzy on the phone lines, already a frenzy um, on the web. People multi-buying. We've never seen this shape previously before. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Um, again, great if you're looking for the Amazonite lovely tropical calming color. You know, I'm not talking about saying the color pop that yeah, you saw yeah. with the previous, but yeah. still, still, you know, you've got that translucency. You've got those pastel shades. Um, I, in, in a small, I don't like say smaller because it's not small, but smaller size because of the actual shape yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, more street, more elegant. You could create more linear like designs. Mm. Um, again, there is so many of you there, and there's a little. Is there a queue on the phone lines? Possibly. There is a big queue. Yeah. yeah. I've just been in to check, uh, just to see what we can do on this one. Okay. So we've got a quantity of a hundred. Right. What we're going to do, uh, we're going to have. A crash and then another clock because the next price you're going to see is not your final price but it's going to show you how low it is when i say that everyone's going to have the opportunity to get amazon into their collection i mean it today so we're going to go to 19.99 on the next crash <laughs> brand new shape uh new location essentially essentially because it's not the same parcels last time but we'll go 19.99 please lauren and we're going to have a minute clock because we're not stopping at 19.99 okay you're so buying big, time now, aren't you, reaction. for people? Yeah, exactly. There's a hundred available. Hundred available. And, and, I'll, and I'll be honest, I was watching the call screens and people were a little bit hesitant, probably because Ross, they couldn't put a, a you know, couldn't guess a price. Yeah. A, we've not had the cut before. No. B, uh, and it's still amazing quality as well. Yeah. So I, the reason you, you know, Here you were we saying earlier on, it's not the same as the previous strand. Still lovely. Don't get me wrong. It's still amazing. Yeah. I'd still put maybe a double A grade on this. Definitely. Yeah. It's still. Yeah. I think we're doing it a disservice, putting it right off the back yeah, of yeah, them yeah. ones a little bit, you know, and that's obviously going to affect the price now. But it is still beautiful. It's just hard to transmit that after you've 100%. seen the, the quad A stuff that we we called it. Hundred percent. Loads of people getting involved. Um, what we're going to do? Still not quite enough people. So I'm going to ask for a one more thirty second clock after this, please, Adam. Give pl a, a, a plenty of warning. Brand new shape. And we're going to go lower. We are definitely going lower, but I want more people on the phone lines. Uh, okay. 30 seconds, and then we'll get to that price. We're okay. already in the 20 pounds. Okay. That's unbelievable. Yeah, this Actually, wasn't planned. Been, I tell you what, it's been a day of deals yeah. today. Yeah. yeah. Put this along the side of the cellar night. How we've, amazing was we've that? We've still got the bamboo to come, and then we've oh, still yeah. got mm -hmm. Charlie's mm -hmm. masterclass as well, which is what an amazing deal. Well. deal. Loads of you with it in your baskets, loads of you in the process of waiting for our call centre team. Brand new cuts. And again, I, I, I would definitely, if you were to ask me personally, if there was such a thing as an Amazon, like a Ross's grading system for Amazon, yeah. I think there should be. Yeah, this, um, would be this would be double. A to double A, definitely, yeah. yeah. Okay, well done, so far, that's confirmed. Today, <laughs> you're going to get the opportunity to earn this gemstone at 14 99 That's amazing. Launch price. I don't think going forward you'll be getting these prices. I don't think any Amazon will be going under twenty pounds going forward. No, I think this is a, um, a one-time one deal. Well, a launch deal, launch almost. Launch deal, yeah. Well, you asked earlier, uh, you know, a, a few a couple of months back, was it Roscoe? You were saying to our audience, and it might not necessarily be from this location, but you were saying, I think that was with the Colorado, wasn't it? Yes. And you were saying, what cuts do you want? Yeah. Rice beads were definitely mentioned, yeah. weren't they? Rice beads, bamboo, uh, drums. Yeah, nice. There was something else. I can't remember what the other one was. Uh, uh, off the top of my head. But there was, there was a. We've had quite a few. Um, uh, clovers requests. clovers that was it yeah there you definitely go clovers. clovers yeah i think colorado the quality of the colorado is a bit more consistent yeah so the, it's always sort of the same whereas the mozambique we, we can see that th there's a bit of a different depending on yeah the mine location and also that might be your preference 
not yeah, exactly, every, you exactly. know, at the end of the day, exactly. some people might per, yeah, prefer, prefer the, the softer pastel, colours. Softer colours, yeah. It's like if you look at a, if, if you look at a Prabor, as we've mentioned Prabor, you can get a green Prabor and you can get quite a blue yeah, or Windex that's blue. Yeah, a great point, yeah. So um, mm. Adam, for example, likes the green mm. Prabor. Mm -hmm. You might prefer the blue. Yeah. So it's all down to personal preference in the eye of the beholder. We had 100, Ross, they're flying out. Yeah, flying out, well done. Well, I can see why 14.99 was unplanned. We, yeah, I was going to say, did yeah. you plan that? No, 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 definitely not, no. I thought twenty four ninety nine at the very lowest. Yeah. I thought, but um, like we always say, we're, we're reactive. We uh, can see what's going on at home when you're uh, watching. Well, we, uh, you say reactive. We get caught up in the excitement, in the moment, which is, yeah. is 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 yeah. We do. Brilliant. Well, we do. We do. We're kind of like, oh yeah, we're all excited, and then we don't listen to our <laughs> our own guide yeah, prices true, and go yeah. even lower. Yeah. And then afterwards, you're like, oh yeah, okay, that's probably a little yeah, bit. Probably yeah, have done that. <laughs> probably, yeah, yeah, I'm already thinking that now about this. <laughs> yeah. Think, this is the launch of the shape that we've never done before. Never why, done it before. We, we just bought it under quid. fifteen pound. Um, amazing, but a great way of whetting our appetite for this cup. Mm. Yeah, we've still got the bamboo to come. Let's have a minute to close. Okay. Uh, we're not going a penny lower than fourteen ninety nine. That's seventy carats. No, I totally of, agree. Um, natural Amazon. That is a price you're not going to be seeing going forward. No. Um, Maker and Fife, uh, Penny, uh, uh, Birch, Berkshire, uh, Monmouthshire, Pamela, Deborah, Cambridgeshire, Monica, uh, Surrey, West Midlands, Devon. You've all got a chance. Oh, we've got three full rows of names there, Roscoe. So, um, and that's soon to be four, actually. I don't know. There's been you put the you've put the clock to close, and everyone's like, ah! yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just 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 to you know. Uh oh, I'm gonna miss out. Highlight, yeah. You know, we you are. Need to that is it. Yeah. We cannot go we any lower. Go that's lower, an absolute yeah. giveaway deal. Um, unbelievable. So there was only a hundred of these, mind. Yeah. So not a big how are we doing really. on quantities? Okay, so yeah, we're extremely Looks limited like, yeah, now. Two thirds of the stock are gone by the looks of it. Yeah, easily. Lots we're... of multi buyers again there. Uh, Lena and Tracy, well done. Uh, people still dialing through as well. Um, stay where you are on those phone lines, jewelry makers, and make sure you check out your baskets. The launch, uh, this I think is going to sell out I in, do in as a heartbeat. Well. Let's get the graphic straight in, Lauren. The bamboo. I think this is going to go. Ooh. We're going to do um, two price crashes on the uh, on the bamboo. Two price so, I think this is going to go a heartbeat, Roscoe. Straight away, Lauren. Let's open it up. Let's show you how serious we are. We've jumped up 10 carats as well. Yeah. Let's go to 19.99 on the first price crash. What? 19.99. <laughs> Sorry, I was a bit late then. Yeah, let's get on all, all home today. Again, completely unplanned. Before we came on air today, we weren't planning to do this. Uh, so we'll start 19.99. They're crash, gorgeous. Straight in with a minute clock. They're gorgeous, aren't yeah, they? I like, I like the bamboo. The bamboo. Yeah. I want to see the bamboo in the Colorado and the uh, Peruvian. I think this is a, definitely a shape going forward for Amazon. Uh, no, 19.99, Lauren. I, I get it, Lauren. I totally get <laughs> yeah. it. I understand why you thought 99.99. First under 20 quid. No, so look at got... Lauren. She's going, no, but let's show what it should be. Yeah. <laughs> no, Ross, let's just do this. Show what it should be. 20 quid, minute clock. Thank you. Oh, yeah, she said what to the 99.99, by the way. Oh, wow. There you go. Yes, just shows how ridiculous we are at 19.99. A um, hundred available. I think this is going to go in a heartbeat. Yeah, phone lines have gone crazy, haven't they? Loads of multi buyers again as well. Yeah, Last I would too. This is it. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it could be one of our new, uh, our most popular cups, the bamboo. You know. I think bamboo and drums. Yeah. And clovers, I think yeah. that's what we need to do in Amazon. They're the hottest cuts, the aren't ones. they? Yeah, definitely. And the rounds, keep the oh, rounds. Oh, the rounds, obviously, that goes without saying. Yeah, yeah. But just, it, just anything else, if you've got any other ideas, <laughs> please message in and let us know. Um, what what shapes? What shapes you want, yeah, what cuts. Uh, or would you want loose stones? Would you yeah. want loose faceted stones? Well, we haven't seen cabochons in a while, have we? No. Mm. To be fair. Mm. That'd be nice. Uh, that would be lovely. And we're just saying this, like, you know, Ross can literally get every single cut. It's not a guarantee you can. No, exactly, you can't, yeah, not necessarily. Ross? 14 99 will match the rice beads. Oh, be a bigger me. carrot weight, but we'll match it. Just because it's the final auction. A rapidly approaching on. half the stock, says Lauren. Brilliant. Well done, everyone. Very happy for you all. It doesn't sound sincere, but I am. I'm very happy. No, 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 no. Are they laughing? Yeah. 
yeah. I wasn't laughing at you then, Roscoe. Uh, um, it's Adam being fruity once yeah, again. It, yeah. Maybe I'm going to have to start wearing a top like uh, they, <laughs> It's Greece. He's back from Greece. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we had a hundred of these available. Well done. Jewelry makers, we do not have that quantity anymore. How many do we have? What's the live update, Lauren? Half the site literally on that's the nose brilliant. as we speak. Well so that's what they were laughing at. They were like, oh, that's very presumptive of me, but I was pretty close. Oh, right. There <laughs> you go. Good, yeah. right, I was we'll pretty have, close. We'll have a minute to close. And, um, yeah, because we're not, we're not going to penny lower on this. This is just, No, I agree. I want to ridiculous. buy these, Ross. They're yeah. lovely. And then you can get them on the break. So one minute to close, 49.9. You've been able to get the rice beads and yeah. the bamboos yeah. for the price of what? one of them should have been because 29.99 was the original plan so you've done like a buy one get one free? it's ba basically yeah uh, 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 pretty much oh that's that's amazing mm. yeah they're so beautiful aren't yeah. they so elegant this shape unbelievable it's basically buy one get one free and look at that color 30 All seconds to confirm yeah um it's it's over allocated jewelry makers again there's so many of you with it in your baskets and that's just you know that's assuming everyone just gets one there is a lot of multi buyers that have shopped yeah. this throughout There's the entire collection, yeah. Hasn't there? yeah. Um, and I get it. You know, it's one of those colours and one of those gemstones that I think you, as soon as you see it, you kind of it's it's it's, an, it's a very appealing colour, I think. Yeah. Um, so I totally get why all the big designers are working with it. We kind of pitched this or made this suggestion, Roscoe, about two years ago. Yeah. And it has really come in the into works. fruition. It has, yeah. We've seen you know, it. you know, it's like it's one of those things we can get a little bit smug about, yeah. can't we? <laughs> yeah. And so you yeah. should be. Called it. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, we have been, but I mean, it was pretty easy for us because we saw how nice it was. It's like, yeah. It's obviously going to be. How can it not? How can that not be the next big gemstone? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. When, when that Mozambique, that first Mozambique came when in. Some, yeah, that's true. Do you know true. what I mean? It was yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. like Because we've never seen because, quality like yeah, that so before. Yeah, so I've said this before. We, I always thought that Amazon Art was a one location or gemstone. I only thought you could get it from Russia. Mm. So it, with the current climate and we've been forced to look into the places. Yeah. And we've realised, oh, hold on a minute. Why were we buying that? Like, yeah. this stuff is like... Let's be honest. Way better. Like, I can't believe it. It is better. It's way better. Yeah. So, well, it, it, it's almost a dis. You know, like when we have a topaz and we have a, um, uh, what's the 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 nice uh, topaz, the one location. Um, uh, one location topaz. Yeah, the to imperial. Imperial topaz. Yeah. It's we're doing it a disservice calling it topaz. It should really be called something else because it's, so, separate, it's yeah. hard to highlight how much better it is than your normal topaz. Totally agree. That's almost like this Amazonite, isn't it? Like, yeah. The Russian stuff is Amazonite, and this stuff is Amazonite, but this is re this is like another level of Amazonite. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, Cornwall saying, thank you so much, Ross. Mixed the six millimeters last time, but got them now. See, this, is, this is why we bought the quantity of 20. Ah, we well done, Lynn. For this reason. So there well done, well done, that confirmed. And I, rec and I reckon as well, moving forward, if Ross gets a chance again, even if it's 10, you'd probably buy him, wouldn't oh, you? Without shadow of a doubt. Yeah, I mean, the pro, it, it, this was a one-off because it was so close to the launch. We did it about three, four weeks okay. ago. But in a year's time, if we got these again and there was only 10, I'll tell you now that the price will be much higher than what yeah. it is that you paid now. Okay, if, that, yeah. if we can get hundreds again, hopefully we can bring that price down. But the way it's going, the prices are only going to be going up and the quantities probably is going to be going down. Okay, cool. Um, Ross, it's always a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us thank on you. air. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you for your Amazonite. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ross. We're a very polite bunch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now, coming up, jewellery makers, isn't he wonderful? Lovely Ross, everybody. Hey. Uh, give him a round of applause. <laughs> coming up after the break, you've got Charlie's amazing masterclass. We'll see you after this. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rachel Norris. I'm really excited to be able to tell you all I'm on Jewelry Maker on Saturday the 28th of September. And in the 9am hour, I've made some sort of Scandinavian inspired um, 
Christmas decorations, um, cut out a copper sheet and um, embellished with um, some lovely hemicircular hemi punches, chain nose and uh, flat nose punches to make these lovely designs. I've made all sorts of things with them, um, sort of Christmas trees, um, reindeer, reindeer, things like that. Um, there will be some blanks in the show for you to, to work on as well if you're a bit worried about cutting out copper sheets. But um, things like this little gingerbread man will be very easy to do. You can also use um, these same punches to uh, make um, fishes and um, flowers and um, other designs. They're all very, very, very versatile punches. They're fantastic. In the 12 p.m. hour, um, I've got two different sort of things to show you. I've got some um, beautiful little um, silver discs um, that you can use to make um, um, designs on with the punches. And they come with these lovely twisted tubes. Um, I've made them into sort of quite delicate earrings. We can also put them on um, stretchy bracelets and chainmail bracelets and all of those um, designs and um, how to make them will be in the booklets. I've also going to be showing you pearl drilling and then at 12 p.m. hour I'm going to show you how to drill a pearl, attach um, some peg bales which we've got and some lovely peg details um, in the statement necklace for example um, and there's also a dolphin um, template in the booklet. You can see how this little dolphin has a beautiful drill pearl um, hanging from its tail. Um, and there's some lovely designs in that booklet and in the show. So I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 20th of September, 28th of September in the 9am, the 12pm hour and everything in between. I look forward to seeing you then. It's Mark here. I'm just taking advantage of this tiny window of sunshine to show you what's coming up on Sunday morning. I'm going to be joining L Ross and the crew. That's Sunday the 29th. My nine o'clock hour, you can tell straight away it's going to be something special. We've got this incredible green velvety gift box and inside we have got a meter long strand of none less than red jadeite, a meter long strand, three millimeter rounds, and you're also going to be given six incredible earring pendants and earring findings. So we're going to show you how to make this incredible crisscross micro necklace and also, look at this, a real labour of love but this beautiful netted cuff bracelet and here's two of the little pendants which I've turned into these glorious little earrings. So that's coming up at nine o'clock and then at twelve o'clock we have got two kits that I've put together myself consisting of meter long strands of faceted shell pearls, meter long strands of AB coated glass bicones and these incredible, look at these, incredible range of five different sizes of rivulets. We've got them in this incredible AB coated and this incredible bright neon blue. That's in the 12 o'clock. So nine o'clock, meter long strand of red jadeite, three millimeter rounds and 12 o'clock, these incredible wintry kits coming up at 12. So that's myself, Eleanor and Ross and the team this Sunday 29th of September from 8 o'clock. Can't wait to join you. Ben. If you're wondering about the Christmas packaging, by the way, I don't know why it says Friday, it's tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow and Sunday, just so you know. If you think, what are they doing? Oh, 
Sorry, just literally, <laughs> <laughs> literally just fat bed. Sorry. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> the Christmas packaging is tomorrow. <laughs> uh, that big jingle that you've just played. Christmas, oh, Christmas gifting. Oh no, that is appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas gifting. We did talk about this at the start of the show. Sorry. Time's passed since then. It's been an exciting show. It's been packed it full of stuff, so it's not surprising. It's all right. <laughs> we'll let her off. You can't get the stack, can you, Adam? Oh, my God. I'm joking. Well. <laughs> well, okay, as we're talking Christmas, although packaging is coming up tomorrow. Is it, actually? So, yeah. Oh, exactly. I'm not losing all my marbles. It is coming up tomorrow. Um, so, if you like the lovely little boxes and things. Mm, yeah, they look really cute, the images. They're they nice, got, them. them. Yeah, yeah them. Yeah, yeah, I like them. They look lovely, then. Coming up. Um, but Christmas gifting, now, yes, your masterclass is perfect for. Oh, definitely. And, you know, they're just... They're fun, they're quick, they're good if you're doing stalls as well. So yeah. you can knock them out really fast. And um, they come with sterling silver findings as well, which are lush. They're really good fun. That's epic that yeah. they're silver. So you can, even though that you haven't got a single gemstone, which you can add if you of want course, a gemstone. Yeah. But um, they're sterling silver. To. Yeah, exactly. You pop along to Monica Veneda mm -hmm. where corded bracelets or Astley Clark any of those corded bracelets are still huge yeah very they're big they're one of their top sellers aren't yeah. they um, and I think actually responsible for putting Monica Veneda on the map right the corded bracelet um, you get one cord with one charm oh, on right. a slide and bracelet okay and that's best part of £100 oh seriously Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sometimes you can see them in the sales and things like that yeah, but they're yeah, not inexpensive but no. um so, show, can we show your designs? Because I'm loving that orange one. Perfect. Yeah, now, do you know, that was just a bit of fun just to see if I could get the um, little clamshells on something a bit thicker. So, if you've got some satin cord, actually, I had a nosy, um, and Joe, I've got some lovely satin cords in at the minute. Um, and they slide on beautifully. And then when you team it up with the crimping pliers, you could either crimp either end or in the middle or not at all. They look um, like crackers. Yeah, they little do, Christmas don't crackers. They? Honestly, they crimp like butter. They're really beautiful, but you don't have to use them like that. You can use them. At, are they? I love those. Now, yeah. by the way, the, the the projects are on pre-order. I want to show you um, just quickly the pieces, and then uh, and then we're going to dive straight okay. into the demo, so you can shop ahead on these. Um, so you actually get ten of the of the lovely tubes which is what you were just talking yeah, about, yeah. Charlie. Then you get the clamshells, which are not clots. No. They're not clots, no. they, but they, they close like a clamshell. Yes. Uh, basically. And then you get these lovely cards of colour. Yeah, like ombre sets Beautiful. of colours. Yeah. So you've got a green colourway, you've got a blue colourway, and then you've got a purple colourway, and then the, the sterling silver are all the same. Mm. So. Um, they're all available on pre-order. For the silver alone, I can tell you it's going to be an absolutely epic prize. Oh, yeah, definitely. You also get Charlie's amazing instructions um, for free that become available um, upon dispatch. Now, because I am well aware that people might be looking at particularly the little clams with a bit of like, uh, well, how do you use them then? Yeah, yeah. Because they, I think they're a new, a new finding. So what we're going to do is we're going to let Charlie do the demo if you've got any questions, you can text in and you can be pre-ordering on your projects and then we'll bring your price in. But trust me, it's a great, <laughs> it's a great price. It's going to be a great price. Um, take it away. Right, okay. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you how I did the ombre uh, macrame. Thank you, Flower. Um, and then I'll, we'll go back and do some knots and show you the um, clamshells and the creep tubes in action. Yeah. So have you, I'm going to use satin cord just because it's thicker. Um, and there's a bit of a contrast, so you'll be able to yeah, see it. To demo That's with. it. So with the um, ombre one, the idea is for it to blend in seamlessly. Well, if I show you that here, you, you're not really going to understand what I'm doing. But honestly, it's really straightforward. So it's just a classic macrame knot. And what I found with these um, with these ombre colours, I would take them off the pack one at a time. So. The purple one, I used the darker cord as the base cord and then the four colours to do the ombre. And then with the blue, I 
I used a white leather cord, so used all five colours for the ombre. Yeah. So um, you can, obviously it's open to your own interpretation, you can do whatever you like, but it's just a classic um, macrame knot, so you go all over one side and you make your P and then you make your D. But what, <laughs> but I, what I would say is with these, work in threes. Threes look better for the ombre effect than fours. Um, it almost comes out a little bit blocky. So you yeah. do three knots and okay, then pop yeah. it out the way. Okay. And you got you guys have done you, you guys will be way better at this than me. But when you start adding in different colours, you get such a lovely effect. And I always forget which side I've gone to. So I always look at the last knot. If that's an over, the right side needs an over. So that's that way, isn't it? So you go over that way and to the left, slide that up or on the right side. And then you do the same again. One, two. And then, where did that go? Three. So the last one. Okay. And then you add in your third colour. Now these would be quite cute if you added on these to these um, weaving threads. And I thought they would actually look almost like the um, beads have been woven, like almost braided into the bracelet. I thought it'd be quite nice if you used... Um, crimps little little silver crimp tubes and they would match quite well to your crimp bars oh yeah nice yeah just a cute thing and so spaces you could add all little things oh to these, there's so you? many honestly they are the findings you didn't know you needed until you get them it's, yeah they're a great one so we've got three cards and we'll leave it at that so i'm going to jump from the first color underneath these two following the pattern so i need to go over on the right side that's not that way, is it? It's that way. Is it that way? Oh, it's so confusing. You can tell I don't do this as a day job. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Give like us a flame any day. So, where you draw it up, it's quite hard to see that over under. But when you do the next one, it becomes really obvious. And they almost look like, almost like little squares. And then oh, you yeah. just continue as you go. So if you um, keep doing your threes, so we've done one, two, three, pop it out the way, and then you the draw down, that's right. So if you added some beads here, they would have this lovely swan-like look to them, wouldn't they? So I need to be over that side, looking at my last knot. Okay, and then you would just continue on and on and on until you get to the length that you want to be at so with the purple one I made a shorter one and then with the blue one I made an extra long one so what we will do <laughs> is add on so we've done one two we'll do the third color just because we're here anyway and then I'll show you these lovely crimp bars and the little clamshells um, and with them being sterling silver you could actually solder them and you could also use them with head pins as well, like I've done with the little charm ring. So you go, you've got your one, two, three, and then you keep going until it's the length that you want. Now, when um, you do classic macrame, you may do the overlapping of the finishing. One second, guys. So when you come to overlap, you might do, is it called a Solomon's knot? I think that's the yes. case. Is it? Yeah, okay. Solomon's bar or a sliding knot. Okay, so I've okay, jumbled the two together. Brilliant. Well, I, you I find me. those really hard to put on myself. Okay. I struggle. So what I have done with the purple one, sorry guys, is I've done an up and down one instead. Because then you can use your little bars and your little clams as you tail in. I think ends. that's still a Solomon's bar, but you, instead of having like it one going that kind way and one going that way, yeah. you have them both as a tail. Up and down. I know what you mean. Yeah. I find them easier to put yeah, on as well. Yeah, I just, and, and I quite often, I very, very rarely wear jewellery because of what I do. I'm just always so busy and it's actually quite dangerous for me to have lots of dangly things. Yeah. So, and if my husband's not around, I can't put it on, but that takes seconds, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and you can make them really personal. So with these little bars, with your tail ends, if you, hang on, let's slide it up. So what I've done is when I've come to the end, I've ended up with four, four tails, I suppose. Mm. And I've put 
both tail ends through that one bar and I haven't crimped it because I quite liked it being slidey um, and then with each end I've drawn I'll be able to open it actually maybe so I've literally tied a little knot in the end sorry guys let's see if I can grab it there we go so I'll add the bar to two cords then add the one clamshell and then the other clamshell. Simple little overhand knot. If you want a little dab of glue on there, why not? And you would slide it down. And I didn't actually use the pliers to crimp these shut. I just used my fingers because they mm -hmm. do just pinch shut nicely. But if I were to crimp, I'll, you can do the other one actually, Elle, because they, they do feel lovely. So with Jewelry Maker's new crimping pliers, I had some old ones and they sliced into the metal almost like they cut it but through the center so when you come to roll it over it, it was just too aggressive these that it's a softer indentation so if i hold can you see what i'm doing guys one side has got an indentation which is the bit that's going to crimp it yeah and then the other side is just around so that you can close it all together and make it almost a slimmer tube yeah. but I didn't do that I just left them open so if I crimp like that yeah that's what gives it that Christmas cracker effect. yeah aren't they cute isn't it so you could do like just a bracer just with these and it would look really high end wouldn't it yeah I agree but you could do that all the way up you don't have to do you want to have a crimp at one yes yeah yeah Let you have do. a go honestly they're so soft like butter you don't have to ask, ask Elle twice. She's always game. Yeah. I might not do it very well, but I'll always have a go. Is there any, <laughs> is there any way that you want me to crimp? No, you crimp, crimp away. Crimp, crimp away. away. Just use the, um, there's two, there's two holes. So you would use the one with the dint in first. That's the top one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. There. Yeah. Have I got it in the right yeah, place? Yeah, yeah, I can't see what I'm doing. I haven't got my glasses yeah, you, on, yeah, that's you're why. Good, yeah, you're good. Yeah? Uh, Adam's like, yeah, let's go there. And why not slide? There on? you go, Adam. Do another one. I'll do another one. Slide away. Oh, but wait, forward a little. Forward a little. You oh. actually can't see, can you? I know, I can't see without my glasses. There you go. Try that one. Okay. Straighten it up. Straighten it up. Straighten it up. There? Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> She's so cute. I'll just. I'm just going for it, look. <laughs> I was committed. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. That was so cute. They're amazing. Elle needs glasses to be able to see those Sorry things. Sorry to highlight that. <laughs> it's all good. Right then. Okay. I also want to show you these. So these are your little clamshells. Yeah. Which, if I hold it with my tweezers oops, towards you... It's like something out of Polly Pocket. They're great, aren't they? Yeah. You do have a drill hole for your thread to go you through. Do. Yeah? Yeah. But what, what um, Charlie was talking about, there's no loop at this end. Yeah. So they literally close, so you can almost use them as ends of tassels. Yeah, that's it. And I've used them like as li almost like little snapping clams oh, along so the... so within the cord. Yeah. Snappy, snappy, snappy. Yeah. I like that. I mean, the only thing I did with... On there. Oh, can we start with green? Because it's Christmassy and we love tassels. Look at those. Oh, they're cute. It's got a seaside ring. And there's no solder. That is literally just wrapping around with a pair of pliers. No solder, no heat, not no fancy tools, just a pair of pliers. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, so here it is, jewelry makers. The graphics are live. This is for the green colourway. So you've got basically three different colourways, jewelry makers. How many of these little clams do we get then? I didn't count them with loads. I've got loads left Ten. over. Yeah, yeah ten, 10 of your, um, quite simply described as um, crimp covers. There's so much more than that. Oh, way more than that. So yeah. much and more than that. And you can obviously use them as a classic crimp cover. You don't have to use them in the way I've used them. Open no. interpretation. Yeah, so you are. I've just kind of folded one in the direction so you can get a general idea. Can you see that? Um, so there it is. And then you get all these, which are the tubes that you just saw Charlie those. demoing with. Love them. Ten of those as well. So I'm going to put those and display them behind. Now these co uh, components are all essentially the same silver wise. They are 925 silver. The only difference between Charlie's projects are the colours of the cord. So we've got green, blue and purple. Yes, that's right. Basically. So yep. you can, if you have, uh, you can choose your preference. Um, but for the silver alone, for what is, I think, maybe a new finding? Yeah, it must be. Must be. Maybe. I would say, I would class it as. Yeah. 
not seen them before. No. I might be wrong, of course, but I don't think I've seen those little uh, sort of crimp covers. Um, other than like a really generic one. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. Know what I mean? Stop. Yeah. Right, so these are 925 sterling silver. By the way, um, the tubes, I don't want to call them crimp ends. The tubes are 15 millimetres. Yeah, they're great size. And so, they would make lovely dangly earrings, wouldn't they, if you yeah. had a few on? They're too lovely to be called a crimp. Yeah, I know. They're more than a crimp, aren't they? Way more than a crimp. They I would describe so them more. as a tube, yeah. silver tube. And the shells are so much more than a crimp cover. So, um, sterling silver, you get 20 of the sterling silver components overall. And then you get your cord, which is a lovely ombre green. In total, that's five meters. Uh, well, so it's going to go a long way then. It has. And you know, with the little leftovers from my tail ends from the purple, I made some really short little stubby tassels, yeah, with some long bars on Very some nice. tiny little huggy hoops. They're just fun. Fun Christmas makes, easy to stock up a secret Santa gift or just for a bit of fun for you. They're yeah. giving me definite Coachella vibes, they are. Coachella. Yeah. Boho, like festivals. Oh, yeah, definitely. Festivals. Oh, oh all the You way. know, where somebody would be like, yeah. like, like in the really short shorts, floppy hat like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. That's me, but in without front of a short a, in, front, <laughs> in front of a Ferris wheel. Yeah. You know? I'm there. No, I don't do I'm short there. shorts either. Um, <laughs> 29.99 for the sterling silver components alone. I think that's an amazing price point. If I was to sit here on the early bird, we've said this before, haven't we? Early bird, those uh, those crimp covers, fifteen pounds, they'd fly at the door. Those tubes, they'd fly at the door. But it's been a pretty lovely Friday. Oh, it's been great fun. It's always great fun here. <laughs> but Ross is saying in my ear, "Should we go lower?" Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make the assumption Christmas gifting we need it to bring our audience the most amazing price tags don't we so how about we try and push that price down so that you can potentially get multiple kits oh yeah well that's the thing is it you could literally buy and sell on the kits hmm? or buy and gift on the kits you don't actually have to make anything with them that'd be no. quite a nice little little fun make for someone can you pass they? me that lovely orange um oh. that orange bracelet that's as you can see, probably my favourite. I love that one. Um, you know, if you saw that, if you saw this in any silver boutique jewellers, there's no way, no way it would be 29.99 because they're silver. They are silver components. Yeah, and I went a bit heavy-handed with the with the tubes because they were just so lovely. I just wanted more and more. I don't blame you. <laughs> are you ready? Because we've got three different projects. You get. Ten of each of those lovely components, which I don't think our, our descriptions do them anyway not, near the justice. No. Because they're not just crimp tubes or crimp pens or crimp covers or whatever. No, they're, they're more than that. Yeah, they're yeah. silver tubes, decorative spaces, tubes, tube whatever spaces. You want Let's them call to it be. that at least. Mm. Um, clam shells, decorative clam shells. Nineteen ninety nine jewelry makers, that's an incredibly affordable price tag. So you're talking about a pound per sterling silver component, is that right? That's amazing, but they're not small components. Oh, no, 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 definitely not. And I've actually got quite a lot left over. I didn't, I was only heavy handed with one of them. The rest I was quite tame with. So yeah, they go a long way. Um, do you want to take it away again? Because I know that we haven't, we're very, uh, we haven't yet shown the clamshells, have we? We want to do the clamshells. Right, okay, well, look, am I allowed to pinch some more? You take, <laughs> pinch away. <laughs> pinch. Just They're before doing. we do that, says Ross. Oh, okay. This was not planned. How many have we got? How many have we got? There's a hundred of each of these oh, colourways. Oh, okay, yeah. Ross says I, can, I, I have got a bit of wiggle room. He says I can go a little bit lower. Um, so, he says I'm going to go a little bit lower. There is a little bit of wiggle room. We've got all that sterling silver plus the colours of the cords. 15 seconds, jewellery makers, we're going even lower. I'd pay 19 99 for those um, clams. Oh, yeah, definitely. All the tubes. Do you know, they really make me think of Barbie. I know that's strange, isn't it? But it's, just, it's like a childhood memory. You yeah, know, little know Polly Pockets, mean. just because it's so... Um, I remember Polly Pockets, oh, yeah. Oh, I loved Polly Pockets when I was My a child. My girls play with Polly Pockets. Oh, are they still a thing? They're still a thing. Oh. 14 99 Wow. Okay, seriously, that's £7.50 per sterling silver co component in your cord 
and your, your instructions for free they're flying out the door yeah. um just to just so you know the silver's the same on all three projects which you can pre-order on you can get your green you can get your blue and you can get your pur uh, purple at that price tag they're all going to the same so do shop ahead and if you've got any questions do text in take it away so i've come in from the back so right. I've obviously made my bracelet and I've got these tail ends sticking out. So from the bottom of the clamp. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's right. So you're going in through the bottom or the back, however, and then you flip it over. Do just a simple overhand knot. Just super simple. Like that. And then when you come to draw it down, mm. I didn't actually use any pliers or anything. I just used my thumbnail. I think we all use our nails, don't we? Yeah. And just gently press on the crease. You'll see it. And they're so lovely. Um, they've got such a lovely 3D detail. So you can't really see anything because my fingers are in my But once you've cut off your tail end, obviously you would. And it's just a perfect little dangly little summit summit. Little clamshell. Instead of a knot. Summit, summit. But you could also um, use them with head pins. You could solder them shut if you like, but they'd make really cute little dangly studs, I like studs, the fact that they? you've done that kind of midway through the cord. So like you said, yeah, you're almost chomping. That's it. But if you wanted to close that knot and that be the full stop. Oh, that's it. That you can just add a tiny little dab of glue on your, on your um, knot and then close it round and it'll probably help stick to yeah, it. But yeah, that's true. all it is. And you really, you don't actually need to crimp it with pliers because they're so supple. They close themselves anyway. Yeah. And then obviously the pliers are great with the tubes because you get this really buttery. When you get them out and have a go with them, you'll know exactly what I mean, they just, you, you don't even realise you're doing it, it's just buttery. It's yeah, only, really soft. Yeah. Precious metal. And then with, because you've, you've got quite a lot um, of th excess threads, if you only do a small friendship bracelet, like the purple one, you'll have a lot of leftovers, which you can use as your, what do you call it, Solomon's sliding. Yeah, Solomon's bar. Yeah, yeah. you could use your leftovers for that, or use them for really stubby little fun tassels. You can't go wrong with a tassel, can you? No, you definitely can't. Um, I'm loving each and every single one of these designs. We had a hundred of each of these projects, jewelry makers, so you can shop ahead on your different colorways. Should we swap it yeah. for the blue? Because I think the blue is going to be very lovely. popular. Very, very lovely, lovely choice of colors. <laughs> Let's do that. Is he, is, he's, he's just, woo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's very excitable today. Yeah, oh, that's lovely. gorgeous. Yeah, it's lovely. It, you, do you know they blend seamlessly with the blues more so than any other color which is interesting isn't it but I, I do like I do like the blue very calming very zen and you can literally just buy and sell them on couldn't you could sell them as ready-made kits and just <laughs> go with the flow <laughs> do you like my Christmas trees? I love your little <laughs> Christmas trees and I've used the clamshells as little Christmas tree toppers almost like it's a star why not? I wanted to make lots of tassels, and when I when I put the idea forward, why not forward, put a clamshell on the top no. of your Christmas tree? Why not? Why I put flowers on my Christmas tree? I'm me, but so do I. I Faux flowers yeah. and feathers. Yeah, I mean, if I were loaded, I'd have gemstones all over my tree. So but. would I. <laughs> yeah, no, I put loads of artificial flowers on my Christmas Love tree. Love it. Love that look. Yeah. Looks great, doesn't it? Does it does look really what nice. Color have you got? Um, see, mine never changes because I collect Christmas baubles. Um, I buy one each year. Oh, okay. And Tom's like, you're spending how much on a Christmas bauble? But for me, they are like heirlooms. Did you just say, shut up, you know nothing? Yeah, I'm <laughs> I say no pay, no say. Yeah, I'm buying it. Buying it so no pay no say um yeah so. i'm stealing that yeah no pay, no say. <laughs> it's true though they haven't got to come back have they no no um okay you know what's happening you know what's happening all this beautiful ombre shades of blue um it's an amazing price tag for whether you're looking at the silver tubes or whether you're looking at the clamshells or the cords to be honest that's five pounds each component yeah. And then your instructions for free. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I, I would look at this as the ombre cards are a bonus, you yeah. know, because the um, findings aren't something you can pick up separately elsewhere. Yeah. So I would definitely be stocking up and then keeping hold of my colours for whatever I want. Charlie, you've said this before, actually. It's not that easy to find components like this. No, not unique ones. Not Because you can get the generic off-the-shelf ones, of course. We all yeah. know that. But sometimes you just want that little bit of something extra that's going to set you apart from your seller next door. Because let's face it, a lot of people sell jewellery now. Yeah. So you need a USP. You need something to get you noticed and 
having unique components or yeah. a signature style yeah. makes all the difference. So really for me, what you're doing is buying the findings and the colour, the ombre colours are, are a bonus. I can't believe that they're literally £7.50. If we it's just split just it between the silver to, findings. Yeah, that's exactly it. £7.50 mm -hmm. each for, yeah, um, yeah. for those. That's incredible, isn't it? Make sure you're checking out everybody to guarantee your success. And again, if you have any more questions for Charlie, just give us a shout. Um, yeah, text in because we are actually live here in the studio. Well done. Um, make sure you check out everybody. We only had a hundred of each of these projects and they are very popular. Uh, Nottinghamshire, Beverly, Mariska, good luck. Worcester, good luck. Uh, Natalie Aww. in Worcester. These designs are so creative. Charlie, you're so clever and your work is so versatile. Thanks, Natalie. She's so cute, isn't she? And it's, it's interesting, actually, because this is her medium. She's great with this. She's great with wire. So when something like this gets placed with me, it does make me go, ooh. Is that our Natalie? Yeah, that's our Natalie. OK, oh, you threw it, me with the Worcestershire. Oh, no, it's not our Natalie. Is it a different Natalie? I mean... Oh, oh, it's another She's Natalie. She's Merseyside. Sorry, sorry, Natalie. Other oh, Natalie. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the, what's the show, Natalie? Thank you very much, Natalie. Oh, Thank you. Yeah, so uh, they are so sorry. creative. And the <laughs> fact that you're taking essentially some, you know, tubes, basically, and then you've got that kind of clamshell design. Yeah. They're just, they're just unique, aren't they? And they're, they're, they're um, easy to work with. Sorry, Natalie, thank you. Um, they're, they're, just, they're just really fun, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you want, well, especially when it's Christmas time, you want to make something either quick or mindless. Yeah. You know, and they call it mindful jewelry, but I always think that's the wrong way. I'm empty headed when I make something like this, so I always think it's mindless. Yeah, so um, you can, yeah. And you need a, you need a calm before the storm, and I think with these sorts of projects, it definitely offers that. Now, um, we've got one more project to bring you. This is the purple. You do get, what is it, five colours? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah get, sorry, I've pinched one. No, it's okay. You're allowed. Um, you get five colours. Of course, these are the, this is from the deep purple to the almost lavenders, aren't yeah. they? Again, you get those same tubes as well. Uh, tubes and also clamshells, which I really like that feature. Um, no surprises here. We're going to match the price, jewelry makers. Purple, I should imagine, is going to be one of the fastest sellers. Because uh, it's always a popular colour here at Jewelry Maker. Yeah, that's it. And do you know, if we teamed it up with some of the um, selling night we had earlier oh, today, nice. or the Amazon night, you know, they're going to just, just one bead yeah. in there. It, you can bump up your price tag as well, and you've got your sterling silver findings. So yeah, these ombre colours are going to work really well with all sorts of other gemstones. And yeah. that colour clash, that colour clash is very popular too. And it will glow through, won't it? Yeah. If you're thinking about the selenite, it's going to glow oh, through. That'd be lovely. Um, through yeah, the pick selenite up as well. Subtle hues, won't it? Yeah, definitely. Gorgeous. Matching that price tag for you, jewellery makers. Um, good luck, teacher. So you can get all three. That's a lot of silver. £45. That's very good, isn't it? Very good, because that's a big gram weight of precious metal. Yeah, definitely. If, I mean, really, I would get all kits just because they're so versatile with each one. And you don't even necessarily have to do the ombre look. You could team up your purple with your green, with your blue. You know, you don't actually have to work with the colours that are set. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Yeah, little this tassel, little tassel rings. Oh, look at that. It was a bit of an experiment, really. I didn't know if it was going to work. And it is literally just three coils with two long tail ends and then you wrap them opposite ways so that they link into each other and you add your little clamshells onto a head pin no soldering no heat no faffing it was just bish bash bosh oh, that's quick beautiful. easy make and yeah it looks quite a seasidey holiday it does let's, it does let's and go away for christmas sort of thing why not why not i mean uh, that and those you've turned those crimp covers effectively yeah. into a charm yeah a three-dimensional charm love that Loads of people getting involved on these. Well done, everybody. Do Again, know, make sure you check them out. You could solder them shut and turn them into stud earrings. You know, they, they oh, nice. could be so much more. And same with the bars. Um, I did actually have a go at it, and I didn't bring it with me because I didn't finish it. But you can use those three bars as um, to turn it into a triangle. I'd have to singe this end. I don't think I'd be able to get the um, they're, they're, they're certainly getting sort of... I'm, I'm actually thinking about... What about... It depends how big... What part of the year, I guess, you're putting them on to? I don't know if this is going to work. I'm doing it spontaneously. No. I, I, you probably need a, um, a mirror to do it. But I'm wondering about ear cuffs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Well, cute. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, I must have them as little tiny, little teeny tiny ear cuffs as well. Um, Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence jewelry makers again. So many of you getting involved. Um, we do have some little jewelry maker essentials that we can. Oh no, I like these. These are way better than the ones I think mine came in a set from somewhere else a bazillion years ago. They were rubbish. These are buttery soft smooth that have you done it have you yeah my, my ear is probably bright red now because i've been messing around with it but what does it what's it what say say no if it doesn't oh, i've just knocked it have you knocked it <laughs> no right no problems but you could maybe can you get try. it on your nose and have a maybe. nose maybe. <laughs> i shan't do that though um amazing right let's do some um jewelry maker essentials shall we is it these ross the, the pliers you've just yeah. designed. So, okay. We say crimping pliers. They are not the same as normal pliers, are they? No. No. So they have two uh, little se different sections. So one section has like a V shape um, uh, that rests within a semicircle when you shut them. And what that does is it, is it puts that an indentation. Yes, that's yeah, right. There we go. Can you see like the more almost moon shape? That's what we, you do first to your crimps, That's yeah? That's right, yeah. So that'll um, put an indentation in your uh, metal tube or, or your crimp I'm going to try and do it now. I can yeah, see it on the TV it. monitor. Um, and then your other side, you can use that to roll, um, roll it over so it almost curls it in and tucks it in nicely so you can't actually see. <laughs> I can't. I'm trying to, you know when you're trying to do something in a mirror? There. Is that right? Yeah, that's it. So you've done the first little crimp and what that does is it squishes down onto the fabric, thread, cord, whatever it is that's inside that tube. Yeah. And now it's not going to slip and slide about. Now, if you wanted to, you could crimp all the way up. So it's like like an extended crimp. Yeah. So you could keep going all the way up and then you use the other little area. That's it. And what that'll do is roll the two sides over Hang on, I haven't quite and got seal it, it together. Yeah, I think it might be a bit... A bit a bit tricky is it it's because i'm doing it in the in in the back to front back with, to front with the left on the right and yeah i mean she, she, <laughs> <laughs> anyway oh no it has kind have of have you done worked. it have you done it kind of so you basically kind of roll it around you make it into a tube aren't you obviously yeah. you wouldn't do this on a massive tube like this though you need a little one. That's the thing. I mean, you can you can do it on the long ones. You're just gonna have to crimp, then crimp, then so crimp, you, then crimp, yeah. then roll the edges down. But you, you can it can't you can see where it's folded and then then closes it even tighter. Yeah, there. So it's rolled can over. You see? And if, if you imagine you do that across the whole bar, it would be really neat and tidy. Yeah, it looks Whereas a bit right strange. Now, a little bit like on a, a massive sweetie. crimp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, 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 these are so many people talk about the crimping pliers and say how good they are. They are great fun. I mean, I I don't often use them, but with this project, when they sent me these ones, I was like, oh, why yeah. have I not got some good ones till now? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll be definitely using crimped more in my work. But with these little tubes, you can make all sorts. You know, you could have like a little and have a bead in the center nice. like sterling bead yeah nice you can really um, i actually need some of these i need to stock up on these they're so smooth yeah aren't they really comfortable to wear um nine pounds and 99 pence jewelry makers but we're not stopping there we've got some essentials for you i can't remember the last time i saw some crimping pliers but they give you a f instead of just flattening you know like a normal plier which hang on a minute uh, mm, wait a normal plier would literally just flatten them wouldn't it and it becomes like a square and then that doesn't fit into your crimp covers that's right yeah so actually by folding it it fits into a crimp cover yeah of course so normally without these i would just be flattening a crimp yep, yep. squashing it yeah and it'll become almost like a rectangle like like a flat yep. sheet almost yeah. Yeah. yeah and that doesn't tuck inside a crimp cover so you want it almost folded curved yeah that it will wrap around much yeah. nicer um, i hope that explains it 4.99 that's amazing for a no tool no way for a tool <laughs> brilliant we like tools under a fiver that's in insane as soon as soon as you try these i you will 100 percent use them every single time definitely afterwards. and if you've already got some that you struggle with if you like me um you'll notice the difference is worlds apart when you've got quite a shoddy pair and a really good pair 
Yeah. So it, you'll be using them a lot more. I always used to avoid using mine because they seem to be too aggressive. Right. Um, whereas these leave a lovely soft yeah, indentation. Yeah, they fold it yeah. and then they fold it again. Yeah, it's gentle basically. and, yeah, and it loving to the. That's probably the binding. best way I can describe it. They fold it and then they fold it again. Yeah. Um, and that's what fits nicely into your crimp. If you just squash it, it doesn't necessarily fit into your crimp. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like I said. If I'd have had glasses, I'd have been able to see you, uh, been able to show you a little bit better. A bit um, like a fajita, isn't it? When you tuck oh, yeah. it in and roll it. Yes. Is it kind of, kind of, I mean, I know you don't crimp your fajita. But I, I get what you mean. <laughs> oh, here we go. Can we? Can Charlie show on uh, show with these crimps? Um, Michael, you might have to get in close though because it's going to be. Is that all right, Charlie? Yeah, yeah. I'm just totally. That's all right. You, you do that now. <laughs> <laughs> just totally throwing you in at the deep end. Here you go. Let me pass you one. Thank you. Uh, uh, there he is. Oh, you got two. Amazing. There you go. Um, and I'm going to. Uh, I'll bring the graphics live. So essential crimp tubes. These are only itty bitty, so they're going to tuck beautifully in those little shells. If that's what you're oh, using yeah, them for. Oh yeah, they will look good. Can you see? Um, so you're getting a pack of 100 of them. Mm -hmm. So we'll show you what you do with your crimps. Apart from them being decorative, they can be decorative. A crimp tube is actually effectively for squashing, isn't it? Yes, that's exactly what it is. And it holds your threads in place. Um, if, if you do um, a lot of the tassels like Susie does. No, not overhead yet. <laughs> uh. Oh wait, I'm in, it's all right, we're good. There you go. As long as it don't jump off, we'll be okay. Because I need to... It jumped off. <laughs> it jumped off. It's that law, isn't it? It is that law. Um, that's my fault. I do apologise. And the thing is, you've got cords here. Don't worry. Um, so basically, you take this crimp. Imagine it's on your beading thread or your silk or whatever it might be. Um, you would literally... <laughs> Just squash it, fold it into that, into that, into that rainbow shape. Don't worry, Charlie. You would fold it into that rainbow shape, then you would basically tuck it in again. Fold it and fold it again. I'm going to cheat. We won't do it on the thread because I need to seal the ends because it keeps fraying. So I've got no out. So I'm going to crimp it around a saw blade. Like there you go. Again. Cue Charlie. <laughs> Cue Charlie. When okay. you do that, it makes me go and now sweat. <laughs> oh, sorry. Great, thanks. So I'm coming in with these. Uh, can you see that? So I'm going to come in and I'm going to lay that. Let's flip it over the other way and you might might be better for you. So rest your crimp in that semicircle. Yes, perfect. And then when you close down, you make the little Look, semicircle. Like little, yes. Obviously this isn't going to be great because it is on a saw blade. And then using your other side, it would <laughs> fold it over fold again. Fold it over. <laughs> Like tuck a slice it and of bread. Tuck it again. Or a fajita. Love that. Thank <laughs> you, Charlie. <laughs> no, that's perfect. That, that's my you get fault it, you get for it, you totally get it. yeah, throwing fault. you under the bus here. <laughs> Sorry, right. my darling. I still love you. It's okay. But <laughs> um, well, all that lovely sterling silver. Can't do that. No, honey. Cat, a party trick. Cat, cat wheels. Cat I've wheels. cat wheels since we spoke. Um, by the way, that's not the price. <laughs> no? No, no party trick. <laughs> I think some of my party tricks would have to come after nine o'clock. <laughs> so we'll just leave it there, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> oh no, wait! Don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, right now, I'm swaying. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Seven pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Charlie, amazing. You get a pack of 100, solid 925 sterling silver. It's all good. I spoke about people getting conkers out. It's all good. Um, <laughs> 799. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, congratulations, Natalie, Susan, Trevor. Coming up on tomorrow's show, Jewelry Makers, because it's going to be absolutely amazing tomorrow too. Um, I'm going to be joined by the lovely Rachel Norris, so it's going to be um, a very creative show. Eight o'clock is all about whole punch backing cards, so perfect for your Christmas gifting. At uh, nine o'clock, you've got your steel punch Christmas decorations, which you see in Rachel's promo. 10 o'clock, we have the most beautiful Akoya pearls, which I don't know if you've heard the news about Akoya pearls. If you haven't, then make sure you tune in. 11 o'clock is all about your chain and nugget mania. And then 12 o'clock, Christmas gifting and peg bundles. It's gonna be amazing. Charlie, when you back? 
<laughs> I end it next month. Lovely. Um, have a lovely afternoon, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.